Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I was getting this set up uh, today. I, I, I've been playing Zero Dark Dilemma, like I mentioned before. So I really want to play 999 again. Nine hours, nine versions, nine doors. So um, I got my draw, uh, tablet out and oh, I can't even click. Oh, there we go. Let's see, creating save. Just reselect the save slot. Oh my god, whatever. Wow, it's, it's <laughs> it doesn't click well. This game is fiction. All names, characters, and incidents portrayed in this production are just blah blah blah. Not an adventure. <coughs> but I'll just use my mouse. It's right here anyways. So this game has voice acting. <laughs> The old DS one doesn't though, and this also has like the flow chart that all of the games later on have, which is really awesome. So I don't have to like start from the beginning and play it all over. It's not a long game, so I'm hoping to finish tonight, but that'll be a late stream. So that's a heads up. I remember like pretty much a plot base, I just don't remember the puzzles too exactly. Oh my goodness, it's loud. Uh, loud. Yeah, that's uh, really loud. I mean. Okay. A loud noise startled Junpei awake and his eyes snapped open. What? What the? As they adjusted to the light, he realized that what the heck? Why? Where is? Oh my goodness! With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. What? Whoa! His balance lost, and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down to the cold gray floor. Ow! It's God damn it! Ah, what the hell? A bed? Ah, I fell pretty far. Ah, that really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. Uh, an earthquake. Uh, but it, it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. Where am I? Wait, it... it stopped? What's that sound? That's... five. What's this five mean? Ah, it won't open. What's this? Uh, is this keeping the door shut? Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! <sighs> huh? What the hell is this? A watch? It doesn't look like one. Five. That's... that's the same as the door. What? How do I take this off? Maybe pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. I guess I'll have to force it off. <clears throat> No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Ah, ah, my head. Ah, huh. this is... Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? Ah, I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? What the... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What, what the hell is going on here? What the hell? God damn it! Hey, anyone? Oops, sorry. Oh, come on, if you're there, say something. It's, it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. I need to find a way out, and fast. 
find a way out. <laughs> or seek a way out. Like, we're kind of like... Operation during escape. During escape, you are restricted to an area. Your goal is to search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Click on a location you find suspicious to search the room. Use Q or E to move around the room. What? I got. I mean, like, uh, whatever. Oh, good enough. Once you obtain an eye, you'll be able to gain the clicking eye on top left. We'll take you to item screen. Let's give an item. Item on the lower left is turn in hand. When you close the item screen, the last one is hand. Hold an item while the rescue may trigger reaction. Try switching. Click the item icon, press V to quickly change items. Oh, okay, V. Picture frame. What picture frame? There's a picture of a ship in it. Screws keeping in the back on. Oh, so I'm supposed to click search. If there's anything hidden in the sink, there's only a drain in this room. Oh, the next to the sink. Bulletin board, nothing on it. Alright. Just pouring through the window. Like a water pot, the only thing showing something through the window is going to stop the water. In other words, if I don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. I have to figure this out. Alright. Old stove. Oh, let's see if there's anything in here. Huh, looks like there is. A uh, key? Yep, that's a key, alright. A little blue one. This key's pretty small. Definitely not for a door. What's it for then? I'll put my little pen away. This key is blue. Is it supposed to open something else blue? Oh. No dice locked tight. Let's see if there's anything in this keyhole. Alright, see. It. And nothing. Guess I'm gonna need some sort of clue for the dial. Mini games. During escape, your investigation may trigger one of several mini games. All options for the mini games run by clicking the screen. Some mini games require you to manipulate something, while others will require you to apply the right object or click the right blah blah blah, whatever. Alright, uh. Damn it. Open you stupid thing. I don't think it's gonna open if I whack on the code. Man, it makes me feel tough. better. Not gonna help though. Alright, Junpei, don't freak out. Keep it cool and look around for some more clues. Oh my. Let me leave. Alright. This is the middle bunk of the bunk bed. Oh, I can click escape. Awesome. Pipe on the other end of the bed. There's nothing up top. Keep looking until I'm not gonna find the. So, damn it, is there anything else I can use? Hmm, well, I can reach this bunk. Might as well look through it. Huh, damn, nothing here. I'm open the bed. Oh. Search it. Coats. Spot. Blue. Red. There's an arrow that goes. All the way across the paper, it's red under the red symbols, blue under the blue ones. Uh, I guess keep looking. See if I'm down here, it's the underside of the top, but it's pretty high up there. Five. Huh, what does that mean? Guess that's a lever, huh? Maybe if I pull it. Well, it looks like pulling on the lever just makes every noise great. Light's still red and the display hasn't changed. Damn it, why the hell isn't this thing opening? Small red key. I should probably hold on to this key. Huh. Oh, what's up with my face? I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, 
headed back to my apartment and and I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. Oh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze. Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. What? Who were... <laughs> I... I can't... <sighs> Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. Okay, Jigsaw. You are going to participate in a game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him. Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Just who was that? They said... You have been chosen. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. The nonary game? Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? God, God damn it! Is there anything else? Um... Okay. So, let's see, is there anything else I checked? Oh, there we go. Well, the screwdriver got those screws off easily enough. And here's a picture. The old cruise liner. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And we have... Uh... Zero... Two... Seven four zero two seven four. Whatever. Screwdriver, huh? Wonder why that's here. Totally a stove. Nothing side though. Zero. Uh, all right, let's give it this another zero. Oh, come on. Zero two seven four. Is that not it? Item. Oh, the bed. Oh my god. So, zero. Two. Oh, zero two six four. Oh my god. What? What do you mean that's not it? Am I really this stupid? <laughs> so, this is zero. That's two, six, three. Oh my goodness! I, 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 I did not read carefully. I, oh. All right. Let's see if those numbers work. Turn to the key, and hey, it looks like it's working. Yes. All right. Let's open it up. Yes, it opened. Looks like there's something in here. What is this? A file? File screen, do you find blah blah blah, oh, whatever. 
pressed to open a file screen. Hmm, digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. First, add the numbers in question to one another. If you add up something greater than a single digit number and the digits to one another. For instance, if you have a double digit number, add the number in the tens place to the number in the ones place. Keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single digit answer. That final single digit is your digital root. The digital root is 6, 7, 8 would be 6 plus 7, 3 plus 8, uh, excuse me, 6 plus 7, 13 plus 8, 21, 3. Therefore, digital root 6, 7, 8 is 3. Digital root 1, 2, 3, 4 would be 7, 9, 10, 1. Therefore, digital root 1, 2, 3, 4 is 1. I see. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number. Oh, it looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, a calculator, and a stack of key cards. Huh. Stack of blue key cards. Looks like some key cards. There's a number written on each card. Six, seven, eight. Oh, that we just figured that one out. It's three. Does this mean something? Okay, I'm gonna add to this calculator. Press left to open the calculator. Calculator can also calculate the root, which will be important for us. Sorry, oh, I can do it myself. Alright. Alright, numbers on it. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. Alright, let's slide and see if they work. And. Huh, it's not working. Why? Damn it. Do I need something other cards? Yeah, I need to find some more cards now. Um, 7 plus 8 is 15. It gives you. Okay, 8 plus. Okay, any 8 and 6. So, somebody's painting red door on the. Uh, The number six to eight on them. Can how do I like do it individually? Just, just I want to make sure I need some different cards. But I have it six seven eight. I just need to do eight plus six, and then I get fourteen, which is a digital five. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I was painting big red door. Oh my god! Nothing on the mirror. Find a way out. Nothing on it. I know what the answer is. Just let me do it. Okay, on them. Oh my god. Got it. Right, pull the sheets and shove them. Alright, window, let's see how you like this. Shoot, that's not gonna happen. Just way too much water coming through here. 
Some of these sheets are gonna be enough to plug up that window. I guess there's only one way I'm going to live through this. And that's by getting the hell out of this room. After all, there's not really anything else I can do. I know the answer. I like hearing electricity. Let, let me out of here. Oh my god, I didn't even see this one. It's just like the blue briefcase. Yep, just lock on this one too, and it's not opening. Stick the right key here, it's not opening. In fact, it's not doing anything else. Well, Alright, take the wagon. I guess I can move the dial now. Like, well, then turn the key, I do that. This thing should pop right open. Let's give it a shot. Uh, damn it, it's not opening. Uh, I think it should open if I put the right number to turn to. I need my item menu. So I have seven, four, eight, five. Seven, four, eight, five. Seven, four, eight, five. Yes, I unlocked it. It's opening. Stack of red cards. They look like key cards. There's a number on each one. One, two, three. So that's uh, six. So six, seven, eight. That gives me digital root three. One, two, three. Gives me digital root of six. That's nine. Oh my goodness. Uh, damn it, not again. There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one other hint. Of course, the files. What else is something about digital root? Digital root. The digital root, huh? What am I supposed to do if there's five on the door? Do I have to get a digital root of five? I'm not really sure about this. Uh, whatever, it's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll just slide the cards that give me the digital root of five to the reader. Just pick three cards to select them. The digital root of the selected cards will be displayed. You can reset with the select all currently selected cards. After you select the cards, click on the device. Oh, okay, there we go. So, let's see. 3 plus 6 is 9. Uh, I know 6 plus 8 gives me the number I need. So I can do this. Alright, I think this is going to work. There we go. That's a new noise. Huh. You just unlock? Well, that light was red. Now it's blue. No doubt about it. I think keeping me in here now. Time to go. Alright, we're out of here. Oh my god, it took me 20 minutes. That sucks. You found it. Whoa! Ah! Ow! Ah! My head! Wait, is it. is it over? Whew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. Well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a hallway? Oh. A door. Another door. Damn this water. Ugh. Let me go. Oh, yes, it opened. What? What the hell? This is the inside of a ship? Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Uh... Wait, what the hell? A wave? 
Oh shit! Shit! Okay, I I gotta get out of here. Sea deck. <laughs> B deck. Hurry. Hurry. Uh, A deck's next. What? People. A lot of people. Um. Uh. I guess there's another one of us now. Uh, a, a, a dancer? No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well, okay then. S silver hair? Huh? <laughs> one of us, huh? What? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! That's nine of us, then. All of the cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Huh? Uh, huh. uh. <laughs> ah. What was that all about? Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? Uh. The doors on A deck are no good. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Oh. Hey, man, that was dangerous. Huh? Four? And this one says... Five. They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. M me too! Oh. I get it. Titanic, because the ship's flooding. I never thought of that. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? Ugh. Open! Damn it! Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Oh, you said the F word. <laughs> Out of my way. Body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. There must be some other way. Huh. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. So that means this door is probably locked too. But still. <sighs> Damn it! Are there any other doors? Yes, yeah, scarcely taking a step when. At the top of the stairs, next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Jinpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Jinpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. The girl, too, stared at Jinpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd been she'd seen him before as well. Uh. Huh? Without saying a word, Jinpei walked slowly toward her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. As Jinpei stepped onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. Yeah! The quake caught the girl unprepared and she fell. Watch out! Moving on instinct, Jinpei leapt to catch her. So he thought. Oh. Her face was far closer than it should have been, mere inches from his own. Yeah. He was flat on his back, and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggested she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment, that seemed to stretch for a very long time. They stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, slapping faintly at walls and ceilings. But eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, thick muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? Jumpy. Jumpy. Her words echoed through Jumpy's head, and suddenly his memory returned. Uh, Akane! Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Karashiki. She and Jumpy had been friends in childhood. 
to Hanshu Elementary School together for six years. What was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. He and Aziz thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. <laughs> he could feel his face heating up at that moment. What? What's that voice? This is that guy in the gas mask. Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. What do you mean to do to us? Nonary game. What the hell's that? What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Check hey, this I, out. I <laughs> too. Uh. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. I hear a bell. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. <sighs> hmm. Uh. Whew. Uh, I have way too many questions. Who is Zero? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us? Or does he have some other purpose? Why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others, why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all, why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No, there's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this... this Zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... 
What? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already. Yeah, we were kind of in a rush, though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. Whoa! What the hell? It's completely submerged. Damn. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No. I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. <sighs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. It looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? That's Johnny. Nine 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 Santa VA. Oh, Sean Chiplock. Hi, B. We might find something there. Huh? You're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device, either. Nope. It's locked. This one, too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey, guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. <sighs> this one doesn't open, either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man. Give me a hand. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. <laughs> It won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. <laughs> Idiots. Try using your brain first. Huh? Take a closer look. A keyhole? Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? No, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. Then the mark on the other door... I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on A-deck. We did? I don't remember that. A-deck, huh? huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. We may as well check again since we're talking about it. There. The two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. This is an Earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows, too. Huh. They're all covered, in other words. We're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. 
We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. We can't stay here forever. Yes. I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what'll happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Uh. Hey, shut up! Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious, too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would! We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. All right, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm going to be Santa. Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, sun means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well, then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think ace seems appropriate. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. My bracelet number is two. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. You can't see? I knew it. Me next! I want to be Clover. You know, like a four-leaf clover. Good luck, right? All right, my number's five, so my code name is gonna be... Why well, have one? It's not like there's any point to it now. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> then you should all call me by my name, too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right, then. Uh, why don't we call you June? June? Yeah, you know, it's the it's the sixth month of the year, so you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay, then. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is seven. And eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is... That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? <laughs> what number are you? Mm. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here, and you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? Uh, code? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should, too. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not going to stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah. All right. Let me show you. I'm going to do this. <laughs> hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Stay back. Ah! If you get any closer, I'll cut her open. Uh, yeah, that's right. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you, this is my plan. What are you going to do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. 
I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here, verify. <laughs> the left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it. Do it now. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this. So that's how it worked. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then... Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Door five. But why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. Good. Good. You're done. Next. You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes, I am. So? Th then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> what are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers. Four and one. Four plus one is... It's the same as the number written on the door, but it won't open yet. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Get back. No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. <laughs> Wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine, four plus one plus nine is fourteen, and the digital root of fourteen, one plus four, is five. In other words... <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Good! I don't need you anymore. <gasps> Wait! Here! She's all yours. <laughs> okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye. Clover, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! That bastard! Open, damn it! Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like, what? Like, some sort of beeping. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! You, you lied! Lied? This wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Ah, God damn it! Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Oh my god, oh my god, there's no time left. Listen, I was lied to. He lied to me. He put me in here. It was him. He killed me. It was him. <laughs> A beep? Did that thing just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. 
Well, it registered my bracelet number, but it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. What to do? Ace, Lotus, you think you could give me a hand here? Hmm. Hmm. Five plus one plus eight equals 14. The digital root of 14, one plus four equals five. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. Oh my God. Good. God. Whoa, that's pretty bad. He, he blew up. Ah! Uh, June, uh, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Uh... All right, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. How are you feeling? Are you all right? Why? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <laughs> it's ten o'clock then. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero was going on about is up! Let's get going already! Go! Go! No. I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course. Who else? Blood. Oh. Blood and pieces of flesh. That's no way for a person to die. <clears throat> I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just, uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least, not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Then? He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Huh? You still don't... Ugh. All right. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said. Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Right? And after that? You've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? <sighs> Everyone who verified had to go through. All those who enter must leave. And all who enter must contribute, right? I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. The ninth man, however, broke that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere, making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but that seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Here. A card? What does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Um, he's blind. Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? 
I see. This is Braille. Oh, I get it. Sorry, guys. I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? Wh what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you, and only you, with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. The red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. Beside every number door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, you must use the day to stop the detonator in your bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you, and people who you are about to meet. You swallowed it while you were unconscious. I have no doubt, by the time you read this note, the bomb will have passed your stomach and found its way to your small intestine. In other words, you will be unable to regurgitate it. I suggest you do not try. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a bit more. Think of it as a remote fuse, or timer, for the bomb in your body. There is only one condition which will cause it to detonate. That condition is that you enter a number door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate. No matter who you may be, you will have 81 seconds. If, after my time, the detonator has not been deactivated, it will send a signal to the bomb in your body, instructing it to explode. In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the red must also verify their numbers at the dead. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever at its side, and the countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their number at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. That is to say, if you should pass through a number door without first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds, you will be dead. You must also keep in mind that the numbered doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. So long as the door is open, the dead will not function. You will do well to remember this. Lastly, let us discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the backside of where its heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. If you attempt to force it off or disable the detonator, the bomb within you will immediately explode. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. So it's saying, only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the number doors. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and executioner. Oh, sh shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! Uh, uh, come out, damn it! There's a bomb inside me. Oh, what made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? All right, I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? Actually, I... I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. 
What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like, surprise or something? I saw that too. I did as well. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? Oh, so all of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. So, I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. So, what's the deal with the two of you anyway? We're siblings. Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. That really so hard to understand? She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? Well, yeah, but why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Oh, uh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Wait, you went to school together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims, and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Huh. Ring, ring a bell? Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. A millionaire? Son? Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's gotta be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. I thought we were finished with that topic, but then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! Talking won't solve anything! It can't help us find our way out of here! You really sure you want to just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Well, thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait. I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now. Don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. <sighs> and we were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. Hey, man, I just bought these shoes. If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. What the hell, man? Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah, so doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Fine, I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We may part now. But I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and Snake is two. And if you add Clover's four in my one, the digital root will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is 14. The digital root of 14. One plus four is five. Oh, if we're...
works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital route going to be? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Our bracelet numbers are 8, 3, 6, and 5. 8, 3, 6, 5. What would our digital route be? Should be 4. 11 plus 11, 22, 4. 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 is 22. So, the digital root of 22, 2 plus 2 equals 4. It's 4. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is 4. Then we can go into door 4. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door 5. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door 4. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door 5 is what remains of the Ninth Man. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse, even just a little closer. Of course, if I went through door 5, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door 5, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent and go through door 4? Or should I stop them and insist on door 5? All right then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I... which door? Sorry, the door four will be fine. I'll go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and June. There's nothing to worry about. I just need to stay by her side. This should be fine. <laughs> it's no problem this way. I think this is the one you're supposed to do. I should see the other four off. Looks like Ace and the others are going. Uh. Now then, goodbye. Be careful. Ooh. So horrible. What are you doing? We need to hurry. Snake, your shoes! It's fine. Hurry! Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Sorry, Snake! Let's go! Hey! How is it over there? Did you find anything? Please say something, will you? Something's beeping. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? Uh. <laughs> uh. Hey, there it is. That's got to be that dead thing. Come on, get over here. We got to authenticate. The beeping. Phew. Looks like it stopped. Hey, guys. Are you doing all right over there? Yep, we're fine. Oh, hey, I'm going to tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red, but the color's different. You know how the red was red? Well, the dead is blue. Other than that, it's just like the red. Authenticating is the same, too. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. That helps a lot. Well, we should probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. Ooh. Now it's our turn. I'll go first. Okay, we ready? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. All right, let's go. Uh, it's already been an hour. We haven't even done anything. Are right, just talking? Run! Talking. Oh, it's counting down. We can't go back! We need to hurry and find the device! Hey! Where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap! Start looking! I already am! <sighs> Don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. Oh no! How many rooms do you think there are? Ah, fuck! We don't have time to count. We just need to open them all. <sighs> it, it won't open. Shit, this one's no good. Same here. It's not moving! Oh! There it is, at the end of the hallway. Run! 
Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds! I know that, goddammit! I'm asking you how many seconds we have left! Hurry! It's the dead! Get over here! Come on, everyone! Looks like it stopped. <sighs> There's another door at the end of the hallway. Let's try this one first. And of course it won't open. A keyhole. What's this mark? It mail? No, not exactly. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Well, technically, they are the same symbol, but I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. Oh, th that's right. Nine planets. The sun. Or I guess eight plus one, because Pluto's not a planet anymore. Saturn. And Earth. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars? I think so, yes. I see. Wait, where's Santa? Yeah, so, I looked the place over. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. Then that must mean... We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the room number. The door on the left has a B92, and the one on the right says B93. All right, let's open them. Okay, I'll get B93 then. One, two, three! Hey, it opened. Yeah, it did. I, uh, I didn't expect that. It was so easy. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. Can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. All right. Okay. Sneak a way out. This is such a meme. It's kind of a weird looking picture. Do you think it's an abstract painting or something? It looks kind of like a demon with an elephant like nose. Sucking on a human being's brain. Where the hell did that come from? What's her brain made of? I can't say I mind finding out a little more about what goes on in there. It's kind of a weird looking picture. Some sort of weird black and white design. Looks like this room on the right side of the picture. All looking picture of black and white looks like. Alright. Basically expensive. I wonder how much we could get for it. Are you gonna steal it? <laughs> That's a bathroom wall. There's square tiles all over it. All covered square tiles, they've got geometric shapes on them. So blue platform platform protruding from the shower wall next to the nose for putting soap on. I used to shower once, so I know. Let's shower it off. Let's see if anything happens when we turn it. No water coming out. Let's shower it. There's nothing special about it. B, do you think there might be something on the shower curtain? Hmm? Uh, well, maybe. Wanna try closing it? Doesn't seem to be anything here. Yeah, you're right. Let's put it back. Huh. Let's try closing it. Now I can see the full expanse of the shower curtain and all this water floor and it's nothing. Suspicious. Just a normal shower. Narrow shower. And I'm standing in it with June. This is awkward. Time to open the curtain. What? Alright, I guess. Oh no. Oh, oh I misclicked. Let's check the toilet. Nothing there. Tank's empty too. There isn't even any water in it. Collect them, follow partially depleted rolls of toilet paper. Some of well prepared. That's the two searches about it. But it's completely dry. Alright. 
Oh yeah, why don't we go back to the Okay, go back. Matches. Oh yeah, how's your fever? You feeling better now? Yes, I'm fine. Let me see your forehead. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Guess it really has gone down. Are you <laughs> worried about me? Hey, uh, yeah, I guess I am. I, I guess I am. <laughs> By the way, Jumpy, hmm? how did you end up here? What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, you were on D-Deck. Damn straight. But is that really the truth? What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? No, why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? She is literally gaslighting me. Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Are you hiding something? What would I hide? Well, I, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? You mean, like, the number of men I've dated? <laughs> Do you want to know? <sighs> don't worry. Only 18. <sighs> Time zero. <laughs> yeah, I guess I just haven't met Mr. Wright yet. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D-Deck. Well, you do have a point. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. Hmm, I wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yeah, I do. So? Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. You got any ideas who it might be? No, nothing. Oh. Well, if it had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal. Or the janitor, or the lunch lady. No, I can barely remember any of them. Yeah. Ah, uh, Jumpy, what are you doing? You don't have time to relax on the sofa. Play case, but there's nothing to say. How sad. Looks like drawers are empty too. Just gonna get mad again. And play empty. Bottle with water in it. Bedroom. You probably have it here because your throat always feels dry when you wake up, you know. It was dry, but I think that's because I'm a little nervous right now. Well, you did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, did you want to take a shower together? Oh! Okay, just kidding. I need to take it back. My brain's already working out the picture. So let's try ready. This sure isn't helping. Ball walk. Light. Is it heavy? That's light. Is it a painting? Is it a map? It looks like a map of ship's interior. Oh, this is a great find. I think it'll be really useful. Let's take it with us. Yeah, I got the map now. This ship is bigger than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. Of course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro. Huh. Even if it's just some sort of style choice, there's just too much. Do you remember what Zero said? Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? Hmm, that's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. Hmm. Do you think this boat is... A replica, of the a replica of the Titanic? A replica? Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on earth would make something like that? Fans. Crazy Titanic fans. No way! Do you even know how much money that would take? No idea. But all they've got to do is break even, you know? Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. Climb aboard a piece of history, sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. Hell, with marketing like that, they'd probably have more customers than they'd know what to do with. Do you 
really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past. It's the site of the worst accident in history. Uh, over 1,500 people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. A curse, huh? Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know, curses and stuff? Yeah, well, um, I, I guess so. I, to a certain extent. Uh, what about you? No, nah, I, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. Hmm. Yes, I do believe in curses. In fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. What? A curse sank the Titanic. The curse of the Egyptian mummy. Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra, which was stolen from a pyramid. And they say that the mummy had a history. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Uh, haven't you ever heard that one? So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? That's right! That mummy, the priestess, supposedly, she was special. What do you mean? Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. Pretty? Yes. But she was a mummy. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I, uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax? Yeah? The fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And... Yes, saponification, but that's not what it was. Huh? That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what was it? They say that she was frozen. What? Yeah, frozen? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, all of that water was frozen. says 
that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic. Even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. That's crazy. <laughs> I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. I didn't know? Yep. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. Huh? Th nah, that seems too silly to be. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. Maybe it isn't true. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. But, well, yeah. Ice that doesn't melt even in the desert? Does something like that really exist? Never melt ice? No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Hmm. I put a case, some designs on it, some of it bad that at least that Ron made it. Only wish she's under looking at hiding. Been falling asleep through the dialogue. I'm tired, late. Just want to do some puzzles. Like a valuable waste, empty though. Oh, faith. Machine growing out of the wall. Awesome. So now it's not opening. Oh my god, leave. So just like you can maybe take a look around over there. But it gets hot when I hold it. I wanna put it down. Set it on top of the dresser.
Yep, going back to June. Remember. He's right. I think so too. If that's the case, then he needs to go to his house. Fifth from the top, fifth from the top, third from the right. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, this one. Well, I'll open the candlestick. Hey, Junpei, you got a minute? Hmm? 
Here, take this. A bookmark? What is this for? Uh, do you want me to read a book? I found it in between some of the cushions on the sofa. Pretty sure it ain't gonna be any help to us, but I figured we might as well hang on to it anyway. Then why don't you hold on to it? <laughs> you know what I hate most in the world? I got four things. Hope, faith, love, and hope. Faith, love, and luck? Damn straight. And you hate these things? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Uh, not really, but... So this clicked. What does a bookmark have to do with any of that? Well, Sleeve Clover has a meaning to it, okay? And that meaning is pretty much those four words. It's like a uh, flower language. Well, I guess it's not a flower, is it? So, leaf language, I guess? Yeah, you could call them leaf words. Leaf words. Hope, faith, love, and luck. The meaning of the leaves on a four leaf clover. So, yeah, I want you to take it, okay? Just touching it gives me the creeps. Take the damn thing, all right? Here. All right, sure. I'll take it. Oh, man, I feel a lot better now. That thing was a real pain, you know? Do you really hate those four words that much? Yeah, well, they can all betray you, you know? Hope, faith, 
love, even your destiny. Well, that's not my only reason. What? That's not the only reason I hate the four-leaf clover. I just can't bring myself to like the number four. What, worried about the four horsemen? Nah, come on, man. That's just silly. Maybe back in the Dark Ages, that kind of crap scared people. But this is the 21st century, and I'm a 21st century guy. I'm a little insulted. Then why do you hate four so much? Because it's a half-ass number. Not the best or the worst. That's why. It's like die. You, what? Nine is a way better number. So what if it's last place, right? At least it's not some lame-ass middle number. What are you... You play? Play? You mean like gambling? You mean like gambling? Uh, yeah, of course. What else would I mean? Um, yeah. In Baccarat, the best possible hand totals nine. They call it Le Grand, but the lowest, most worthless cards, the zeros, they call monkey. Just like the guy in charge of this game, huh? <laughs> Zero's a monkey. What? Totally right. The guy who trapped us in here sure is one hell of a monkey. You know, if you think about it, the nonary game is really a lot like Baccarat. And of course, it doesn't use any of that stupid digital root chuck. You just drop the tens digit, and that's it. Still, it does have the same idea of your final number needing to be a single digit. Oh, yeah. I guess you got a point. And in both games, whoever has nine wins. The person who makes nine wins? Wait, did you forget already? Don't you remember what Zero said? It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. So, if we want to get off this boat, we have to make a team whose numbers have the digital root of nine. And only the people in that team are going to make it out alive. Of course. That's why it's called the nonary game. What? Huh? You don't know. Nonary means something derived from nine or base nine. It's derived from the Latin prefix nona, which means nine. While we're at it, the prefix for one is uni. You know, like the unicorn, the horse with one horn. Two is bi, like binary. Binary means composed of two parts. Three is tri. I'm sure you've heard that one probably. Like trio, triple, and triangle. After that, you have quart, quinty, sext, septum, and so on. And of course, the prefix for eight is octo, like octopus. It's called that because it has eight legs. Get it? I see. So then nona means nine. So how many of us are trapped on this ship? That'd be nine. And what are the bracelet numbers we have? They go from one to nine. And our time limit? How many hours did we have? Zero said nine hours. And finally, to get out of this ship. We need to find the door with a nine that's hidden somewhere in the ship. By making a team with the digital root of nine. And there you have it. The number nine is everywhere in this game. He's got a real theme of nines for this whole thing. No wonder it's called the nonary game.
Oh, I have all the pieces. There, picture complete, and it goes to frame. What's this? What do you mean, what's this? Pretty obvious, isn't it? It's a hole in the wall. Like a hidden safe or something, you know? Anyway, let's take a look. I think there's something inside. We got a key. Mars key. What's the deal with this picture, anyway? I... I think I've seen this picture before. Where? In a book. There's a British biochemist named Sheldrake. He has a rather interesting theory. I saw this picture in his book. What's this interesting theory? Morphogenetic fields, which relies on the theory of morphic resonance. Oh no, shut up. You are not talking about morphogenetic fields. Man, I can't deal with this. Just listening to you talk about it is giving me a headache. That's how I feel. It's not a difficult concept to grasp. In essence, he states that the shape of living organisms and their behavioral patterns are transmitted through a field not visible to the eye. Uh, what part of that isn't difficult, exactly? All right, how about this? Theory of the telepathic mech- Telepathy? Yes, telepathy. Well, perhaps not exactly telepathy, but it's close enough for a simple approximation. <laughs> are you serious? Telepathy. Who do you think we are? Kids from the 70s? I can't believe someone would actually do serious research on something like that. Yes, I agree. I read the book, but I can hardly say I understood it. I'm in no position to defend or condemn anything it said. It was probably just someone latching onto a statistical outlier from some study and turning it into a ridiculous theory. There's no scientific merit to any of it, I'm sure. But even so, uh... Um... Yeah. Anyway, I saw a picture like that one in his book. Hey, what do you think this picture looks like? What do you mean? Isn't it just like abstract or something like that? It's just black and white scribbles. There's no meaning there. That's it. What about you, Junpei? Does it look like anything to you? Hmm, I, I guess it looks like... Funyo Reaper. Uh, 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 a Funyo Reaper. See? I, I mean, this totally looks like one. Right here and here. What the hell is a Funyo Reaper? <laughs> that, this is awesome. This stupid meme. So dumb. What? What? What do you mean? What the hell is a Funya Rimpa? <laughs> you mean you, you don't know? How the hell would I know? How could you not know? That's, whew, that's practically blasphemous. Oh, oh, say you're sorry. Apologize to the Funya Rimpa. Goodness, you are such a rude woman. Jinpei, are you just screwing around? <laughs> Forget it. I'm just going to tell you. This is a dog. See? Wow. So, now we know what it's a picture of, but I, I don't see how that helps us. A TV show from Great Britain did an experiment once. They took two similar pictures. Both of them were difficult to identify, initially. But once you figured out the answer, you couldn't see it as anything else. These two pictures. The first was a woman wearing a hat. The other one, well, to make it easier, let's just say it was this picture of a dog. So, their experiment. First, they sent the picture to other parts of the world, outside the reach of British airwaves. To Ireland, the US, Africa, Europe, etc. Then, in each country, they gathered a number of test subjects. Roughly a thousand people. They were shown the two pictures and asked, What does this picture look like to you? The results weren't really interesting on their own. 
Oops, 9.2% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. 3.9% saw the dog in the dog picture. Then, two days later, they aired a new program on their show. During the 30-minute show, they broadcast the dog picture and its solution. The audience was estimated to be 200,000 people. After the broadcast, it was a safe bet that the number of people who knew the solution to the dog picture was at least that many. After another two days passed, they gathered more research subjects from areas outside the reach of British TV and radio. This time, they only found a sample of roughly 850 people. Naturally, none of them had participated in the first test. They were, however, given the same test and the same two pictures. The results were startling. 10% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. The previous test sat at a 9.2% success rate. Not much of a change. To the dog picture, however, produced a very different result. The percentage of people able to successfully find the dog, it went from 3.9% to 6.8%, a very significant increase. So do you understand? Do you realize the significance of this experiment? There was no way the second group could have seen the picture. They lived far away from Britain and couldn't have seen it. But even so, it was only the success rate for the dog picture that went up. Why? How did that happen? What does it mean? Oh, wait, does this have something to do with that field? Or whatever it was that you were talking about earlier? A field not visible to the eye. So, if more people know the answer, then that information will pass through the field. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Psych! <laughs> I was just kidding. You really shouldn't take me seriously. Well, I mean, the things I just told you about are true. They really did happen. But the results of that experiment really aren't anything to go by. They could have easily falsified them. In the end, I'm sure they were just in it for the ratings. They are a TV station, after all. Right! <laughs> Man, I gotta admit, you had me there for a minute. I, uh, really thought you were serious. <laughs> of course not, like I told you before. I'm sure it's all just pseudoscience. Uh, oh, okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough nonsense. We've got the key. Let's get out of here. Word. Huh. A field not visible to the naked eye. Morphogenetic field. Word. All right, I got a key. Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go to the hallway. Go get June. You guys fix the door. Okay, roger that. Yes, it's unlocked. Good job, Junpei. Good, now we can get going. Come on, what are you guys standing around for? Let's get out of here. Come on, Junpei, let's go. Alright, let's go. Oh my god, we did it. it took so long. I was falling asleep during it, my bad. Ah, oh, another hallway. Come on, open! It's not going to open because you rattled it, you know. Word. Damn it! Look over here! Elevators. And the buttons? Uh, of course they don't work. The power must be out here too, just like by the staircase. That leaves this door. Well, looks like we don't have any choice. Yeah. Sure does. Well then, let's open it. All right. Here I go. Oh, so it's a kitchen. What were you expecting? Isn't it obvious? The exit. I was hoping this would be the way out of here. <laughs> you really think it'd be that easy? Yeah, yeah, I know. Still. If we can just get through this door, we should come out on the other side of that grate we saw earlier. Hmm. But don't we need a key for that? <sighs> no good. Sorry, I guess that wasn't very constructive. Anyway, uh, let's take a look. Hey! 
What's that? Huh? Oh yeah, uh, I guess I forgot to tell you. I found this a little while ago. It's a map of the B-Deck. Let me see that. I knew it. See? Look. Yes, yes, hold your horses. What did you figure out? This is handy. See? We came in here. Now if we go out there, then we'll be on the other side of the grate. How about that? She's right. We can get out through there. There we go. Here, you can have it back. Thanks. There's a card reader on the right side of the door. And that means the key card is somewhere in here, right? That seems the most likely. All right, we know what we need to do then. Let's get moving. First off, I say we split up and look for clues. Okay. Stick a way out. All right. Let's start doing the puzzles. Those my plates look pretty expensive. But plates for appetizers. Remember, appetizers usually come on square plates. Okay, okay. Well, excuse me, princess. Yeah, plate's a plate. Looks like a serving table. I imagine food is put to here after it's prepared, so that the waiters and the waitresses can take it out to the customers. But something doesn't seem right here. Why are there so many plates? One, two, three, there's ten of them. If you flip these over, they look like hats. The middle is super deep for a plate. They're soup plates. They're made that way so that soup doesn't spill. If we ever get out of here, you should treat yourself to a nice dinner out. What makes you think a poor college student has some money to do something like that? I think there are 15 of these plates. I'm assuming they're for seafood. How the hell can you tell that? It looks like just like any other plate from the 99 cent store. If you ever take a lady out to dinner, you're going to embarrass yourself. I feel sorry for June. What? 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 Oh, why the hell are you bring him to? The lady don't protest too much, methinks. You're not terribly subtle. The partition. Nothing special about it. A bunch of little wavy ridges on this plate. This place is for serving meat. You really... Ugh, you really are ignorant, aren't you? Come on, it's not like I need to know this crap. Jeez. Countertop. Got rolling pin and colander. Nothing useful, in other words. That's the exit. There is a big old iron plate over there. I don't think we can open it. Hey Santa, could you open that door please? What the hell? There's no way I could open that thing. Guess you're getting to that age where your eyes start to go, huh? Better watch your mouth, boy, or someone will live long enough to see that door open. Got the two of them on edge. I'm gonna get out of here and fast. Can't go pipe coming up, nothing really that special about it. Right here is a pot and frying pan. Oh, and a pressure cooker. Well, I guess we could use some of those as weapons. What kind of idiot are you? Gonna run around holding that thing while you look for some dead? Hey man, that's just a joke. Why so serious? Display area about the buttons. Uh, I don't know the thing for this yet. It's a card reader. Since the light's red, I figured it's probably still locked. Card for it's gotta be around here somewhere. Just gotta find it. Damn it, didn't work. Doesn't matter how many times you try it, the story isn't gonna open until we solve all the puzzles. I'm sure, there's all those cards we both hand. Can't imagine what the slows could be. This is where we came through. Oh, honestly, we could be back, but what's the point, right? Oh, that's the altar is an iron gate in the dead end hallway. Yep. So it'll be locked, but all good going back there, dude. It's a lot of notes. I have a bunch of stuff written on them, but it doesn't look like a code or anything like that. It looks really old fashioned. I mean, this is an old boat. Oh, damn, let me play the top. One of those swinging doors. There's a lot between kitchens and dining rooms and restaurants. Not this door, you need to run all the way around the partition to get to the other side. That'd really be a pain in the ass, huh? Well, I guess not real important, but still. Wow, this pot looks like it's made out of silver. I heard drinking tea from this pot would be really yummy. 
spending a day out of June, you can be such a day we're having for me? Jimpy? Hell nothing. I don't really need hot water, so we should just be moving on. Um, oh, there we go. Cheese. Do the cheese. The most famous Dutch cheese. If you don't cut open the casing, it usually won't go bad. So you can store it in a room temperature for quite a while. So we can eat this? Most likely. Uh, I'm not hungry at all. It's hard to get hungry in a situation like this. Hey, there's something behind the cheese. You're right. I'll only move some of that cheese. Alright, guys, time to move. You and I need to look behind you. So we can bottle back there. Bottle of oil. A rusty knife? I don't think we'll be able to use it while it's like this. It's futile. Futile? You know, a waste. Useless. Pointless. Oh. Um, uh, any particular reason you wanted to bring that up? Oh, no reason, really. I was just thinking about futility. Huh? Why were you thinking about futility? Well, it has something to do with the Titanic. The Titanic? Yep. Have you ever heard the story that the sinking of the Titanic was predicted? Yes, I played this game before. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. There was a novel that had a bunch of stuff in it that described the sinking of the Titanic. Yeah, that's the one. The title of the novel is Futility. It was written 14 years before the Titanic sank. But? I know, I know. I mean, I didn't know the name of the book, but... The story was the same, right? It was just like what happened on the Titanic? Yeah. Well, I heard it was all a hoax. A hoax? I heard that the stuff that matched up to the Titanic so well was actually added after it sank. Apparently, the only thing that was the same originally was that a boat ran into an iceberg and sank. But the novel was published in 1898, 14 years before the accident. Like I said, that was the first print of the book. Fourteen years later, the author heard about what happened to the Titanic. He figured that was his chance, you know? He just went back and changed some stuff in his novel. So that it matched the Titanic exactly. Really? Really. There's no such thing as premonitions or any of that stuff. But, but, but... That wasn't the only book that predicted the Titanic sinking! It, it wasn't? Yep. There were two other similar stories written by a man named William Thomas Stead. Both of them before the accident. One in 1886 and one in 1892. Stead wrote two stories that had striking similarities to the Titanic disaster. In one, two ships collided. Many of the passengers died because there weren't enough lifeboats. In the other, a ship collided with an iceberg and sank. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I'll give you that it seems a little weird, but... I'm pretty sure it wasn't too uncommon for ships to hit icebergs back in the day, or even other ships. Right, I knew you'd say that. Hmm? But, what if Stead had some sort of special powers? To be more specific? What if he had the ability to do automatic writing? What? Uh, automatic writing? Wait, are you... Are you talking about when someone's possessed by a spirit and then they, they write a bunch of stuff without knowing what they're writing? Yes. What do you mean, yes? That stuff's a load of bull. But Jumpy, you said you believe in curses. Come on, that's totally different. Okay, let's say, hypothetically, that automatic writing isn't a total load. These guys still couldn't have predicted the sinking of the Titanic. When this Stead dude wrote his thing, nobody had died on the Titanic yet. So if automatic writing is about being possessed by dead people, who the hell po- Whoa, 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 whoa. What's not it? Stead wasn't possessed by a spirit. He was doing the possessing. Oh. Hmm. What are you smoking? 
William Thomas Stead was a passenger on the Titanic. He just wrote down what he saw with his own eyes 20 years before it happened. Um, well, uh, well, uh, why, why don't we talk about this some other time, okay? Huh? But... Come on, let's get back to it. The rusty knife. Nothing inside. So much stuff in here. A whole lot of cans. Probably a pantry. Look in here. Look in an iron barrel. Something about the rust? It's probably really old. Maybe you shouldn't open it up. I don't think it'd be a pretty sight. So our is bolt keeping us from opening it. Can we open the bolt? Well, oh, it's really rusty. Is this even open? I don't know. Totally try. Let's give it a shot. All right, let's see if you're gonna come out. Damn. No dice. I think it's still got water in it. There's a couple of plates in there, but I don't think they're gonna help us much. Whetstone. Nice. The knife may sharper in a second. Be able to cut something pretty good with this. Alright, it's going. Do you think this was all part of these Zero's plan? Probably. Kind of hard to believe there's a chef on board somewhere. Crash can, there's nothing inside of it. Better be full of rotten food, I suppose. Damn it, there's nothing in here. Hey Santa, digging through trash really suits you. What the hell did you say? Listen, lady, I did you a favor. I need you to just piss and roll one so I did for you. Oh my, I don't want to call it. I didn't do anything. <laughs> How to follow you? Excuse me. So, is there a folder in here? No, you can't. Alright, check the seal shut. I think that's where the coal goes. I know what the drawer is. See a metal grate on top of the grill? They make it while that so the fat and juice can drip off the meat while it cooks. Uh, well, check this thing again. Oh, fudge. Of course, maybe I put some oil on it. Hey, just a little bit of oil, and come on, come on, you little son of a bitch. Whoa. Huh, yes, caught you, little bastard. Did it, Jumpy? So smart. Oh, yeah, it's cold in here. What is this place? Are you blind? It's a freezer. Oh, no way. That's way too cold for me. I'll freeze solid in seconds. Sorry, but I'm afraid I'll have to pass on this one. I'm going to leave the rest to you. Oh, whoa. It's really cold in here. Hey, you don't need to be in here. You had a fever just a little bit ago. You should stay outside. We got this. No, I'm fine. My fever's gone now. But... Huh? Did I you? Yeah, I see. Why is this a No, it's so hot. No! Why did it suddenly close? Ah! The knob's frozen! But why? It looks like the pipe next to it broke. Hey, Lotus! You're out there, right? Open the door! What do you want? What's going on? The door won't open! Try opening it from that side, please! Oh, fine. Look, if you say so, hold on. <sighs> It's no use. It won't budge. Now you've got more people in there. You figure it out. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Anyway, uh, let, let, let's find a way out. Seek a way out. <laughs> if we don't get moving, we're, we're going to be permanent residents. T two heads are b better than none. I I'm sure we'll, we'll figure something out. Yeah, you're right. Let's just take a good look around this room, okay? Right. Some frozen meat up there. Looks like pork. Huh? What's this? Looks like a tag or something. Chunk of meat. Uh, everything's frozen in here. It doesn't look like there's anything else interesting. Shell to cover frozen food. Nothing special about that. Oh, what's up there? Dry ice. Dry ice is oh. just frozen c carbon dioxide right yeah i wonder how warm it has to get for it to turn back into gas again hell if i know how is that going to help us anyway oh well i figured we might be able to use it to get out of here carbon dioxide sublimation point is negative 109 degrees fahrenheit or celsius or kelvins any warmer than that and it'll turn into gas any lower and it becomes a solid oh how do you know that? <laughs> Despite my looks, I'm the queen. <laughs> the queen of random knowledge. Looks bad to mess up when you're showing off. <laughs> oh, you're so cold, your mouth's going numb? Yeah, that's right. You're just doing that on purpose, aren't you? Come on, guys. Don't you think that's kind of weird? I wonder why it doesn't turn into a liquid first. He went out of the freezer. Now! How the hell would I know? And how the hell is that going to help us get out of here? We don't have time for this crap. Oh, but it can turn into a liquid. Oh, carbon dioxide turns to liquid if you put it under high enough pressure. This isn't really a good time for a chat about science. But I was wondering the same thing. Wondering what? Oh, wondering why carbon dioxide doesn't turn into a liquid unless it's under pressure. Right? It just seems dun, dun, weird. Dun, 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 dun. Water's a liquid between 32 degrees and 212 degrees. So why isn't that the case for carbon dioxide? H2O and CO2 are pretty similar. No, they're not. They're totally different substances. Look, guys, if we keep this up, we're just going to freeze to death. You good with that? You want to die talking about sublimation and gases? Because I sure as hell don't. Now let's get back to work. Assuming you don't want to end up like a pair of ice sculptures. Oh, but jumpy. There's a kind of ice that doesn't turn into liquid when it goes above 32 degrees. I heard about it. Its melting point is 96 degrees. Ice with a melting point of 96 degrees? You mean there's water that freezes at 96 degrees? Yeah, well, you could also look at it as ice that won't melt until it's 96 degrees. Nah, yeah, yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Yeah, oh, so yeah. what's this ice with a melting point of 96 degrees called? I heard it's called Ice 9. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> nine. Ice 9? Originally, Ice 9 was a made-up substance invented by a science fiction author. <sighs> but recently, scientists have discovered that such a substance actually exists. Wait, hold up. So is this thing called Ice-9, or is it water? Like I said, if the ice is over 96 degrees, it'll be liquid. If it's under that, it'll solidify. So you could think of it as a polymorph of H2O. Here, think of it like diamonds and graphite. They're both made of carbon, right? But depending on the structure of the crystallization, Oh, the hardness and structure are completely different. So you're saying normal water and this Ice-9 are like that? Yep. Have you heard the story about the crystallization of glycerin? For 150 years after the discovery of glycerin, people cooled it, warmed it. 
They did all sorts of things to it. But whatever they did, it never crystallized. However, one day in 1920, some glycerin on its way to England by ship was discovered to have crystallized during the trip. Scientists around the world wanted to research this new, crystallized form of glycerin and asked for seeds. Oh, a seed is a sample of the original crystallized substance. With a seed crystal, further crystallization of glycerin would be easy. However, something very strange happened. Not only did the glycerin encouraged by seed crystals begin to crystallize, even the samples nearby did, even though they were tightly sealed. And it didn't end there. After that day, it doesn't matter where in the world it is, all glycerin crystallizes naturally when cooled to less than 64 degrees. Before that day, no matter how glycerin was cooled, it refused to crystallize. But once the crystallization had begun, it was almost like... How do I put it? It was almost like all the glycerin in the world was communicating. Or more for genetic field. Yes. Communicating in some way that we can't sense. And now it's happening everywhere. Wow, that's that's pretty interesting. But uh, what does that have to do with Ice-9? What she's saying is that it's a lot like Ice-9. What happened, I mean. A lot like? Oh, that would be bad. If water everywhere started freezing at 96 degrees, man, it'd be the end of the world. At any rate, we're not gonna have to worry about the end of the world unless we can get out of here pretty damn quick. All right, guys, I think that's enough of that. I didn't think we'd get quite this far off topic. I mean, I know I'm kind of at fault here, but we can't be screwing around anymore. So seriously, I might go by the name Santa right now, but I didn't grow up in Iceland. Mm, so let's get cracking, all right? We gotta find a way out of here. Selfish, isn't he? Ice Nine is interesting and all, but we can discuss it more once we get out of this freezer. There's so much stuff in here. Why don't we take some of it out, Jimpy? Rope myself. Anything else here that looks useful? Special. Water dripping from this pipe. Hmm. It's like when the pipe burst, the water hit the doorknob and froze it in place. Oh, it actually seems almost warm. Hey, you just need more of a shock, you know? More of a shock. Hey, Junpei, didn't you find some dry ice earlier? Yeah. Warm water coming out of the pipe. Warm water, dry ice. What do you think will happen if we put that stuff in a sealed container together? Oh, I get it. Alright, dry ice is all in pieces now. I'll put this dry ice in a water bottle. Alright, here's our homemade bomb. Not yet, Jimpy. Oh, okay. Water bottle bomb. More water flowing from the pipe. Put water into the bottle with dry ice and make sure the lid's closed. Now I just have to put this makeshift bomb on the doorknob. All right, that's set. So, uh, what do we do now? We just need to give it a little. Uh, Tap. The bottle's already about to pop. If we just throw a rock or something at it, it'll go off all on its own. A small rock. Huh. A small rock. All right. This ought to do the trick. Ah, some dry ice, huh? Not a bad idea. All right, guys. Stand back. Actually, we should probably hide somewhere. Where exactly do you expect us to hide, genius? There isn't really anywhere big enough. Yeah, there is. Look, right here. We can hide in there. 
Come on, get inside, quick. All right, here I go. Three, four, five. That's You're terrible. counting the wrong way. Oh, oops. <laughs> that is a really sad excuse for a joke, man. Sorry, dude. All right, for real this time. You guys ready? Yes, whenever you're ready. Just throw the damn thing. All right, here I go. Three, two, one. Jumpy, the ice on the door, is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. The blast must have shattered it. Yes, all right, let's see if it opens. Hooray, we're out. Move. Oh, God damn it! Oh, da, 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 da. Fuck! Well, you did just grab the grill. What did you think would happen? Hey, where's Lotus? Ooh, uh, welcome back. I was starting to get tired of waiting for you guys. What were you doing? What do you mean, what was I doing? I was waiting. We were gonna die! Oh, yeah? But you didn't. So everything worked out all right, didn't it? What the hell? <laughs> just kidding. It might not look like it, but I was really worried. Oh, don't give me that crap. Uh, I'm telling the truth. I mean, if you died, then I'd be in trouble too. If you died, then I'd be stuck here, and I'd die too. See? Uh. I did all I could. I even looked around to see if there was anything I could use to pry open the door, but I couldn't find anything. So, all I could do was wait. I mean, what else did you want me to do? Call the cops? Fine, but there's one thing I have to ask you. What's that? You didn't close the door, did you? Uh, what? You think I closed the door on you? Why would I do something like that? It closed on its own. I told you before, if you die, then I die too. Yeah, I guess so. If she really wanted to kill us, all she had to do was bar the door from the outside. But she didn't. Well, she didn't do anything. She's only lazy, or negligent at least. Not an attempted murderer. Well, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you. Hmm? Oh, yes, well that's all right. As long as you understand. Hey, no more screwing around, you two. Break time's over. Especially for you, lady. You've just been sitting on that fat ass of yours while we were freezing to death. How rude. I was plenty busy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about you put all that energy into something besides bitching? Let's go. All right, got to cook that meat. Could be. You could probably get stuff up there, you know, you know, huh? Uh, where's my item? Go put this meat on the grill. Hey, what are you doing? What are you going to do with the paper burns? Come on, it'll be fine. It's not like it's going to burn right away, right? You just got to keep an eye on the paper, it'll be fine. So they can argue all they want. I'm going to keep an eye on this port. Cool, looks like it's all time. I'm going to try taking the paper out. Jimpy, be careful. You don't hurt to care, but I know what I... Ow, see? Told you. What the hell are you doing? Hurry up and take the paper out. It's not coming out. So instead, I can't get it out. Are we going to have to cut the meat? Yeah, it looks that way. Uh, Alright, now that I've sharpened the knife, yes, I cut the pork. Awesome, Jinpei. Now we can cut out the paper. C plus 10 plus F. Apparently, the area where you put the cold seal shut. We stuck, I'm gonna open. Probably what you're supposed to use to enter the password. Maybe if you put the right number, it'll open the open door. Okay, maybe the note you put on Yeah, I know. You want to enter those numbers? I think E is for enter and C is for clearing. So basically, when I'm ready to submit my answer, I press E. So I screw up. I just press F. Uh, C, right? No, it's not it. <coughs> Alright, let's give it a shot. Um, C, so it's 1, 2, 3, plus 10, 13, plus F. A, B, C, D, E, F, so 6, 19, uh, all right, shit, didn't work, do you think the other problem required was a hint, C plus 10 plus F, there aren't any letters on the input device, hmm, maybe we can find a way to convert the letters to numbers, oh, yeah, the voucher we found next to the place had some letters on it, didn't it, maybe they got something to do, the voucher next to the place, all right, gotta go back to the plates, Voucher at the end of the counter. This voucher doesn't match the number of some place on the table. It says appetizer 9, meat dish 10, soup A, C dish, seafood dish F on the voucher. And the plates on the tables are 9 appetizers, 16 meat, 
10 soup, 15 seafood. Maybe they're using hexadecimal here. Oh my god. And hexadecimal is the number system that goes 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, 10, 11. Oh. <laughs> You're familiar with base 10, right? That's the normal system of numbers. The base 10 equivalents for hexadecimal numbers will go like this. A equals 10, B equals 11, C equals 12, F equals 15, so 12 plus 15, 20, uh, 27 plus 10, 37. And 10 equals 16. The 10 becomes 16 base 10. I know it sounds strange, but you can think of it just as uh, 6 letters added onto the normal number system after 9. It's 10, so, so on. I think I get it. Oh, space oh, 16, so 27 plus 16, 33, 40. Where is the thing? There we go. Ah. Damn, you it, Fox. Let me enter the thing. 40. So, right, we're at 50. Maybe. Yep, no, do not enter. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. So, like, metal's falling. Well, I guess that went well. Yeah, the door opened. Good job, Saturn key card. Yes, I think it's unlocked now. Hit it, Jimpy. Let's get out of here. Let's, let's go. Found it. Yeah. I think we've been here before. The elevators are over there, so that means... We went into the kitchen through that door and came out on this side. That means the map was right. Looks like. Then let's use it to plan our next move. Next move? Yeah, we need to decide where to go from here, don't we? He's right. Let's get started. From the looks of it, there are four possible routes. Let's just keep it simple and call them A, B, C, and D. First, A and B. They both seem to connect to a room that looks L-shaped. Yeah, there were two doors. But they were both locked. We couldn't open them. Now, Route C. This goes all the way to the main staircase. That means it's door five, one of the numbered doors. Then do you think we would meet up with the other four after this hallway? No, I don't think we will. Why not? Look, there by the stairs. See how the gate is open? When we went into the kitchen, it was closed, but it's open now. What do you think that means? They opened it. Most likely. Then if we take Route C, we're going backwards. That would be pointless. Then that means... Route D, then. D it is. Yep, Route D. Then we're set. And everything looks okay here. Let's check the next deck just to be sure. Yeah, just like I thought, D-Deck is totally underwater. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. At least the water level hasn't really changed. Small comfort. May as well head back to C-Deck. Hmm, what else is here? There are two elevators over there at the top of the stairs, just like the floor above. Hold on, these are kind of different. See? There's a card reader on the side. Another strange mark. Hey, look, it's Lotus's symbol. Huh? See? It's the woman symbol with horns on it. That seems like... Oh! Ouch! 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 What was that about the mark again? Uh, uh, nothing. This is a Mercury symbol. The horns symbolize the wings on Hermes' staff. Hermes herpes. Whatever. If we can't get this thing to work, these elevators aren't going anywhere. In other words, we need a key card with the Mercury symbol on it. Probably. I guess we can't get on then. Let's just disregard the elevators for now. How about this hallway on the left? Whoa, there's so many doors. Damn it. If we try and search all these, the sun's gonna go down before we've done half of them. I think the sun already set. I have a feeling this ship is the only thing that's going to be going down anytime soon. That's even worse. Well, we can come back to this hallway later. Let's check the hallway on the other side, shall we? <sighs> Time to head back to the stairs. And now the right hallway. Uh, there are doors here, too. Uh, well, I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them. All right. Let's start with this one. Huh. It isn't locked. Oh, 
Why? What the hell is this? This place is huge. Oh, there are beds everywhere. Is is this a hospital? It definitely has the smell. Could be. I see medicine cabinets and surgical tools. Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Why is the second door blank? That seems kind of strange, don't you think? No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Oh, it's no use. Well, of course. If it was that easy to open these doors, what would be the point of the notary game? We have to activate the red, or the numbered doors won't... Wait a minute. What's wrong? Look, the display on the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you remember? The red at the central staircase? If no one was inside, it said vacant. Oh, yeah. You're... But this one... There's nothing on it. Right? I wonder if it's broken. Only one way to find out. It's not responding. How about the red on door seven? And door three? None of them are working. What does it mean? <laughs> I knew it. They're broken. Zero sure sucks at maintenance. No, that's impossible. You really think Zero, who prepared all of this, would make such a stupid, simple mistake? Maybe, but that doesn't explain why this thing ain't working. I believe the bottom of the device has been removed. Snake! Ace, Clover, Seven! How? How did you guys... How did you end up here? That's my line? Perhaps we should exchange information. There you have it, our half of the story. Okay, let me see if I got all this straight. When you guys got here, the bases for the Reds were already gone. And you looked all over this room, but you couldn't find anything. So you figured that there might be something in the hallway with all the doors. So you went and had a look? Yeah. And while you were looking around, you heard voices. Uh-huh. So you followed the voices and came back here. Indeed. And that was how we found you. Why don't we check those three reds again, just in case? You're right. Huh, there's a long, thin gap on the bottom. I think it's a slot or something. Uh, probably electronic. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. Well, uh, what about that hallway over there? Isn't there anywhere else we can go? No. There is. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. Hospital rooms. That's what's behind all those doors? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. There was an astrological symbol engraved near the keyhole, however. I was able to get a good uh, feel of it. I believe it was the symbol of Jupiter. Not again. Those goddamn things are everywhere. I wonder what they all mean. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the Gigantic. The Gigantic? What is this Gigantic? The Gigantic. She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships. They looked exactly the same. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but World War I began soon after the ship launched. The British Navy took her over and made her a hospital ship. 
At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. That trauma turned him into some kind of obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Soon enough, the guy wanted the Titanic itself. Which was impossible, of course. It's stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. But the Gigantic wasn't. So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? Yeah, at least I think I am. That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Pipe down, just pay attention. What, that's it? Well, have you got any proof? Proof? Proof that this ship is really the Gigantic. Well, uh, this ship's got stuff that's like the Titanic and a hospital ship. So, I just figured... Oh, for goodness. Don't tell me that's your only reason. No, I I've got more. Like? Well, uh, I don't know. I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah, sorry about that. Hey, 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 whoa, wait a minute. Memory isn't back? Yeah. Your point being? Wait, was I the only one that didn't know? Why? Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't tell you, huh? I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. What? Huh. A bell. It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Huh. Twelve. It's been three hours. It's midnight. Then we've still got six hours left, right? We don't have any time to screw around. Wow, it's only been three hours and second like streaming. <laughs> Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. Hmm? Uh, wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Don't freak out. We've already searched four of them. Four rooms? We just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. There are 48 other rooms? Uh, maybe? Hmm. All right, so everyone knows which area they're searching? Yeah. Yes! We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah, sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Right. Then let's do this. It's one. I better get back to the others. Huh? What are they doing over there? What happened, guys? Jumpy! Vacant? <sighs> Come on, guys. Who was it? I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Well... What the hell? What, what is... Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but the missing parts were already back in the red. What? Th let me see. You're right. It's in there. What about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. It's just as you said. All right, I, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Correct. None. <sighs> huh. Wait a minute. Where's Snake? Does that mean that he found them? I've no idea. There's nothing to suggest it. But nothing to suggest he didn't either. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. No! That's impossible! Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing! He can get around as well as anyone who can see! So he... He couldn't get lost! That's impossible! <laughs> I'm gonna go look for him! Hey, uh, hold on, Clover. Wait... 
Well, that didn't work. Damn it. What should we do now? Well, the red is working now. No! We're not leaving two people behind! We should go look for them! Oh, man. This ain't good. Oh, yes. What an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. Then remain here if you feel you must, but there's no time. We've only five hours left. Let's split up. All right. I'll take this direction. Then I shall look that way. I'll be over here. See you all later. All right. We should go too. Yes, let but where should we start? Let's see. How about the casino on B deck? Okay, let's go, Jumpy. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Snake. I'm just not seeing it. Really? Maybe you need to look harder. I don't think that's the problem. Oh, by the way, I've got a proposal for you two. Care to hear it? What is it? Well, I don't like to beat around the bush, so I'll get right to it. Why don't we team up? Team up? Yeah. What? You need me to explain? I'm saying, why don't we go through a numbered door? Even if we wanted to, that's in fun. Jumpy's bracelet number is five, mine is six, and yours is eight. Our digital route would be one, but there's no number one door in the large hospital room. The only doors there are three, seven, and eight. Then we add another person. Huh? Who? What, isn't that easy? Seven. Oh, if we add seven, five plus six plus eight plus seven equals 26. The digital root of 26, two plus six equals eight. Wait a minute. What about the other four? Ace, Snake, Santa, and Clover. Well, why don't you add them up? One plus two plus three plus four equals ten. And one plus zero equals... The digital root for those four would be one. That's right. And you know the number one door isn't in the big hall. Of course I know that. No! Are... Are you saying you... Of course not. What kind of woman do you think I am? Once we get off the ship, then we wouldn't really be... Don't try to lie to us. I don't think you do anything of the... Really? Why do you think that? You remember, don't you? We have less than five hours left. Even if we manage to escape, there's no way we could come back to rescue them in less than five hours. Well, you never know until you try. No, no, you're not thinking this through. Even if we brought Seven with us, we wouldn't be able to get off the ship. The four of us couldn't open door nine. It is hidden, hidden but an, an exit, exit can, can be, be found. found. Seek, Seek a way out. out. Seek, Seek a, door a door that carries, that carries a nine. Down. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. The digital root for the four of us would be eight, so we'd have to add ace to make nine. That's right. Unless we bring ace two, we'll be stuck. Oh. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate? That's all you have to say? Well, let's try and find another way, okay? A way to get out of here with all eight of us. <laughs> that's impossible. Are you being serious? And you do know that only five people, at most, can go through one of the numbered doors, right? The number nine? isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Regardless, at least three people will get left behind. Huh? Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. No, wait just a second. You're skipping over a really big detail. Is that really okay? That means three people will die in the end. Are you okay with that? That's... You think I could have a moment alone? There are some things. Didn't turn out to be a very pleasant conversation. Yeah. Well, uh, regardless, let's just focus on finding Snake for now, okay? Yes, you're right. We can think about those other things later. Yeah. All right. Where should we go next? Let's go take a look at the first class cabin. It's really close. Are you all right? <laughs> look, I know you're really worried, but. Hello, hello. Hmm? Um... Why are you still here? Didn't you hear me? <sighs> huh? Fine, forget it. If you aren't gonna leave, then I'll just... All right, let's go, June. Uh, yeah. <sighs> <sighs> we really need to find Snake, for Clover's sake. So, uh, where do you think we should go next? Hey, uh, why don't we go back to Sea Deck? We can take a look at that hallway with all the rooms. Okay, let's get going then. Oh, it's Ace. Hey, Snake! Where are you? Answer me if you're there! 
Let's go. Ah, hello there. Snake is... I assume you haven't found him yet? Yeah, doesn't seem like you're having any luck either. I really wonder where he could have gone. Well, wherever he's disappeared to, we must find him as quickly as we can. For Clover's sake. Right. By the way, um, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Uh, why would you say that? Why? <laughs> well, it's obvious, isn't it? They don't look alike at all. Yes, you know, now that you mention it, they don't. Still, there are a great many siblings who do not look like one another. It certainly isn't rare. At any rate, we really must find Snake as soon as possible. The clock is ticking. We really can't afford to waste any time. <sighs> Very well. Let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. All right. Let's go, Jumpy. Something about that was... <sighs> I'll think on it later. Like Ace said, finding Snake is our top priority. All right. Where should we go next? Why don't we go back to the big hospital room? Okay. Let's go then. Hey, wait. That's... Santa? <laughs> What are you doing? What? You can't tell? I'm checking out the red. Why? Is there something bothering you? What? It's not bothering you? Huh? This... the guts of this red. Why wouldn't you wonder who the hell put it back in here? Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm curious too. Who do you think did it? I don't know. Well, what about you, Junpei? Who do you think fixed this thing for us? I think it was probably Zero. Why? Isn't that obvious? He's the guy who set this whole thing up. You don't think that should mean the opposite? Seems to me like that means he didn't do it. I mean, who do you think took that stuff out in the first place? Probably Zero. Yeah, exactly. Then why the hell would he put him back in after he'd taken them out himself? It just doesn't make sense. Why do all that work? <sighs> yeah. I guess so what happened then? So, and one of us is the person who fixed the rest. Bingo! We have. But if that's true, then the person who did it doesn't want the rest of us to know that they... Yeah, but... No idea. Maybe if they come clean on that, it means we'd find out something else. Something bad? I don't know. But whatever it is, it's gotta be worth hiding. Hmm. Of course, it could have something to do with Snake's disappearance. You think maybe they did something to Snake? Yeah. <sighs> Look, if you trust anybody in this game, you're gonna lose. You gotta be careful. The person you trust the most could turn out to be the one who stabs you in the back. And that's that, I guess. <laughs> that snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. And we can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, we need to get moving. We don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not gonna find Snake. There's a problem, though. We've gotta figure out who's gonna go through which door. Yes. I have a proposal. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? Sacrifice? Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but you've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people, respectively, then three people will be left behind. If we split into two teams of five and two people, respectively, then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. You behind three people, two teams of four and three. She was right. Then you're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind. Yes, given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. If the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. No, that's too cruel. What's so cruel about it? To to just sacrifice someone like that? Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant. We shouldn't sacrifice anyone. I, I told you, that's impossible. Wake up. Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is you should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Exactly. That's how democracy works. And for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? No, that's terrible. I'm not asking you. Shut up. What about you, Santa? Me? Well, I agree, I guess. All right, that's one vote for. Counting mine, that's two. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. We don't do something, we're all gonna die. Oh, glad to see you get it. If I can get one more vote, 
What about you, Clover? Uh, hey, your brother has to be behind one. We've searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Uh. Let's go look for him together, okay? If we sacrifice one person, then we can go look for him. You agree with me, right? Okay. <laughs> the motion carries. Now, let's start a vote to... That won't be necessary. I will stay. That should solve our problem, yes? Uh. Uh. Ace, what are you saying? No, you can't do that. That won't solve anything. June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I never said I would sacrifice myself. Huh? I trust you. Each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them... You won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. True. But that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please, I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we going to find someone to come and rescue you? Then, perhaps you would prefer to stay instead of me? Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? You see, there's no other choice. Then I see we've come to our conclusion. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go, quickly. Uh... <sighs> Good. Let's accept his kind offer, then. Good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. Well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven? Seriously. Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. You too, Santa? I... I have to find my brother. W wait all of you. Let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be. Right, Jumpy? Say something. Yeah, let's think. There's gotta be another way. Fine! Forget about it. I'll figure it out on my own. Ace! Come on, Ace. Please stand up. You can't give up yet. We just have to sit down together and think about this. We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here. <sighs> Ace! What happened? Ace, say something. I'm all right. How are you all right? This. A syringe? Sulfuryl Veda. What does this do? Did, did you use this? Yes. It's just... anesthetic. I'll be... fine. Anesthetic? I found it earlier. While we were searching the... hospital rooms, I thought it might be useful. Later. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be... using it on... myself. Why did you do this? Didn't I... tell you? I'd like to take a... nap. I really am... very tired. Ace! Hmm? Is there something you want to say? I just like to sleep a little. Could you keep it down? Yeah, he's right. June's annoying, so. No, don't, Ace. Don't fall asleep. Ah, you feel warm, so comfortable. I think I'll have a nice dream. Ace, Ace. Uh, let's get him up on a bed. Well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste, right? <sighs> like you even mean that. You say something? No, uh, nothing. Yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Huh? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Oh, yes. Yes, that's true. <sighs> Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. You first, Lotus. Which door do you want? I, um... I want door number eight. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Got it. You're, You're next seven. I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. What? What did you just say? Who, me? I, I didn't say nothing. Oh, you're gonna get it next time. All right, who's next, Junpei? Which door do you want? Okay, let's think. Work. 
Oops. Okay, so All right, I'll take door seven. I, I think, I'm gonna go with door seven. Okay, seven it is. Yeah. All right then. That means June's got to go through eight. What? Why? What? If the six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Have three, five, and eight go through seven, and four, six, and seven go through eight. Four, five, and seven go through seven and three, six, and eight go through eight. Or three, six, and seven go through seven, and four, five, and eight get eight. There are no other combinations. In other words, three and four, and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Oh no, you're saying we aren't gonna see each other again for a long time. <sighs> hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never going to see each other again. We gotta split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, prob probably. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to connect somewhere. Why? Wh what makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. We're, we're gonna see each other again. I promise. Yes. Promise? <sighs> you guys are done, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take eight and Clover can take seven. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go. It's open. Let's do this! Hurry! <sighs> June. Jumpy. What the hell are you doing, Junpei? Only 81 seconds left. No time to waste, guys. Let's get moving. Look, the door on the left. I can see the dead. <sighs> it stopped. It stopped. <laughs> This is the second time we've gone through one of these numbered doors, but, whew, you never really get used to it. I would have thought a guy your size would have bigger balls than that. What? What the hell did you just say? Say it again! I dare you! You have no... <laughs> you little... You wanna die? I'd like to see you try. You fucking brat! All right, let's go! Hey, hey, calm down, guys. This isn't the time for this. It's not gonna do us any good. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, wait here for a minute, all right? I'm gonna go see if there are any other doors. We just came through this door. Ah, and of course it's shut tight. I haven't, like, used this note piece at all so far. There's a short hallway on the left here, and an iron wall. I doubt I can get through it. This door's the only option we've got, right? Yeah, looks like it. Hey, something's written on the door, on that iron plate. It says operating room. I guess zero times one will just so much harder. If this thing's telling the truth, there could be body parts inside here. Well, this is probably not going to be pleasant. Well, there's no point to standing around. Might as well go in and see what's waiting for us. Uh, what's wrong? No, it, it's nothing. Let's just go. Huh? What the hell is this? Why don't we take a look? Hey, Clover. <laughs> what? Clover! Hey, what's wrong? What, what the? Is... Is this a corpse? We should probably take a closer look. Yeah. This is... What the hell? That's just a huge doll or something. A... D doll? <sighs> You're right. It's only a doll. Man, it really scared me. <laughs> well, I guess it would have been weird if you actually had any balls. Shut it! 
Don't you start with me, fatty. Oh, <laughs> what's this? You want a piece of me short stuff? Yeah, bring it on, you whale. Hey, guys, not again, okay? Seriously, knock it off. <sighs> Jeez. Anyway, it looks like he's got something the two of you could stand to have a little more of. I'm talking about a heart. Huh? Uh, oh, this? You mean on his chest? Yeah. Why would there be a heart in a doll? I don't think it's a doll. You think maybe it's like a medical mannequin or something? Or maybe it's got more personal uses. <laughs> anyway, how about we take a look around this place? Let's go. Okay. Sure thing. Seek a way out. All right, let me find this save. Um, I need to check my email really quick. Okay. Also, I'm wondering, are there like any achievements in this game? View my achievements. Oh, I I have gotten nothing. I've gotten no achievements. What? 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 Sigma, Dion, Tenyoji, Jun, Clover, and Lotus, Ace, Seven, and the Knife Man. Those are the cards I've gotten. What do you mean I got no achievements? How do you check the achievement view? Global achievement stats. Okay. Twenty-eight hidden achievements, and then just like a few regular achievements, like ten, I guess. All right. Uh, also, I need to go use the restroom real quick, so I'll be back.
Alright, I am back. Hey, I wonder what this thing is. It says KG on display. Yeah, kilogram. Man, I'm gonna be so embarrassed if this like knife wasn't working this whole time. It's been like three hours. Maybe it's a scale? It's an operating table. Do you think old operating tables look like this? I have no idea. These dolls are really kind of creepy, you know? Okay, it says something here. John? I think that's this doll's name? Maybe? This thing's creepy. I wonder why it's on the bed. His name is John. Medical man, I can't believe his guts showing. Ew, cows. Hey, Junpei. There's a slit in this thing's chest. Yeah, sure is. There's something in there. Maybe we can get it out. <clears throat> Damn it! This stinking thing won't budge. It's stuck. Well, I guess you can't use force on this one then. I need something small that can fit into that little hole. That's a lot of surgery stuff. There's some scalpels and a few pairs of forceps and a couple of syringes. Well, it's too rusty to be useful though. Hey, there's a scalpel over here that looks new. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> None of this other stuff looks useful. Yeah, it's all pretty rusty. Can I use that? This? You can see this thing's internal organs. If you have something that can fit into these cracks, maybe you could take some of the internal organs out. I can't use the scalpel? Whatever. It's locked. Probably find a key, we just look somewhere. Let's look somewhere else. Looks like it's locked. It's gonna be a key for this one. Jimmy, where are you going? That's the door you came through. The only thing out there is the number door. Are you sure I don't need to tell you that the number door is the one we deal? So. You're saying there's no point to go back there, huh? And they're nodding. Awesome. There are a whole bunch of bottles on the shelves. They all look like medicine. They got labels, but they're all big medical words that I don't understand. Maybe you're supposed to heat something like that dust to kill the bacteria? It's a boiling thing over there. There's nothing on the lid or in the drawers. Big chest. Look for boiling things to sterilize them. There's nothing in the drawer. Drawer is empty. Yeah, nothing there. On the lower shelf. That's all in medicine. I wonder if one of these is a laxative. Yeah, it sounds kind of gross, but pretty sure every one of us has had the same idea. If we had some laxative, maybe you could crap out the bombs here put in us. Unfortunately, damn it, I don't know what medicine does what here. What's this thing? It's got these short iron legs. Maybe it's a heater? There's nothing inside it. <clears throat> On our medical man, this is Jane, like Jane Doe. From the looks of it, this one's a chick. She has a name too. Lucy, oh, never mind. Poor thing. Looks like Miss Lucy only has a head and a left arm. Are you supposed to gather all of her parts? This bed doesn't look very comfortable. Head and arms, and maybe something will happen if we gather all of her body parts. Some kind of device attached to the bed. It says kilogram on the panel. Is this a scale? They use these for surgery, right? Let's see. Syringes, cups, a plate. There's a sort of scissory thing here. Kosher forceps. Pipe going outside. White cloth. Huh? Some sort of lid on this thing. I'm gonna try to open it. Can't. There's no handle. Can't get under with my nails either. Organ. We'll combine this with this. Oh, what the heck? The organ thing out of the chest? It's a lung, not an organ thingy. Huh? This part here in the bag, it's all rubbery. You're right. So it's fake organ. Of course it'd be. Wait, what's second grabbing it for? It feels like there's something in there. You can put through the rubber part. 
Let's try cutting this or organ with a scalpel. Organ key, awesome. Cool, it's unlocked. Let's see if, uh, huh? A piece of paper. What's this? Is this some kind of medical record? Here has been added to the file screen, whatever. Uh, what the hell are you doing? Don't you want to get out of here? But I'm tired. The white light on top is glowing. Yeah, but the red, blue, and purple ones still aren't lit. I think the doctors and nurses probably washed their hands here before an operation. Nothing suspicious here. Damn, it's not opening. Locked, of course. The blue plate on here seems a little suspicious, though. Let's put a blue plate on it. It's locked and it won't open. Hmm, it won't open. It looks like it's locked. Put a blue plate on it. Do you think that means something? Damn, it's not opening. It won't even budge. It's got this purple plate on it, too. There are four different lights, each one of a different color white, red, blue, and purple. Can we add something and the lights light up? Only the white light on top is lit. Red, blue, and purple ones are still dark. <coughs> Blocked. It won't even budge. Do you think this is the exit? What's this? A light switch? Hmm, doesn't seem to be working. Awesome, it's unlocked. Iron one, carbon dioxide question mark, salt two, ammonia question mark, water three, ethanol question mark. I'm on top of the table. What do you think this is a hint for? Maybe it's got something to do with the box. Blue liquid, red liquid. This thing won't open. Is it locked? We probably need to put in a passcode. They even got a keypad on there. How much more obvious can you get? I only entered three numbers. E is for entrance, C is clear. Once you put the blah blah blah, let's give it a shot. Hey Junpei, you think there are any slugs on this ship? Huh? Well, if there are, I was thinking we would put salt on them. What's she pointing at? The label states salt. Sodium chloride, right? <laughs> Salt, huh? Do you think Seven will show up if we put it on him? Hey, you say something? Oh, salt on the shelf. Label says salt. Okay, hey, there's a lot of iron powder on the shelf. How do you know it's iron? Label says FE. FE stands for iron, right? Hmm? Something sinks. Is it coming from this bottle? It says sodium hydroxide? I don't remember what that three is. Well, H is hydrogen. Well, that of course stinks. It's ammonia. Hey Junpei, there's dihydrogen monoxide on the shelf. Water. Why don't you say water? What's this? Looks like a can of a spray nozzle. It says CO2. Carbon monoxide. No wait, carbon dioxide. So the can filled with carbon dioxide. All right. No. Number. Iron Fe, water. H two O, salt two elements. Okay, I got it. That's the number of elements. So, I don't remember what ethanol is. Fe is one, salt is two elements. So that's uh, four elements.
Good stuff. Let's go for a drink. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that bottle. It says C2H5OH, right? So that's uh, seven, eight, nine elements. It's ethanol. That's right. It's also known as ethyl alcohol. It's pretty much what booze is made of. So you're gonna drink it? Nah, I won't. Might say that's what's known as, but there could be anything in there. So nine elements, there's a bottle of ammonia's four elements, nine elements. There's three elements. CO2, three elements. Alright. Three four nine, I think that's what it is. Awesome. You think we should go back? Yeah, I think that's probably best. Hmm? Hey, Seven. Oh! Is, is that a medicine bottle? No, oh, it's time for that BS again. I got curious about it. Here. Ethylene diamine tartrate? Yeah, that's right. CDT. What kind of medicine is that? It's not medicine. I think it's an industrial strength detergent. Why would they have something like that here? Well, probably to clean stuff up. Clean what up? Fuck if I know. Still, it looks like it's cleaned my brain up. Wait, you remember something? Yeah. Well, I remember a story about EDT. Happened about 50 years ago. There was this factory somewhere in America making big old EDT crystals. <laughs> they were making it to sell as an industrial strength cleaner, like I told you before. But... A year after the factory started up, Something strange started happening with the crystals they were building. Water molecules started attaching themselves to the EDT crystals. This made them into a sort of mutation of the original crystals, called a hydrate. Once the crystals turn into a hydrate, though, it's useless as a cleaner. The factory had to just dump the crystals. As a hydrate, they were useless. But it didn't end there. After that... Oops. Uh... Factories everywhere, everyone wants nowhere near the first fa American factory. They've been factory. making crystals the same way, with the same materials and the same equipment and environment. But now, all of a sudden, every single crystal they formed turned into a hydrate. In fact, ever since that day, no factory anywhere has been able to make a pure EDT crystal. Even in EDT research done years before, they'd never gotten a hydrate. But after it happened at the first factory, it just spread. It was like, man, how do you say it? Like the molecules were communicating with one another, transmitting information in a way humans couldn't perceive. This phenomena spread throughout the world, right? Yeah, that's... that's it exactly. But how did you know? I heard another story, uh, kind of like that one. When? In the freezer. What? The freezer? Yeah, June told me. Hmm. Ice that doesn't melt at room temperature, huh? That sounds familiar? Yeah, hold up. I, I feel like I can remember something. It's right there. It's got a new item. Do you? Know something about Ice Nine? Do you know about Ice Nine? Ice Nine? Ice Nine. Ice. I That's it. I remember now. That woman, she's on this boat. That woman? Alice! Who's Alice? Come on. The woman who won't melt at room temperature. Huh? You know how the Titanic sank on April 15th, 1912, right? Yeah, more than 1,500 people died. Worst maritime accident in history. What about it? Did you hear about the boat that was sent to collect the dead bodies? Uh, I think that was the RMS Carpathia, right? It was a cruise liner, just like the Titanic. No, that was the ship that picked up the survivors. The ship that collected the dead bodies was the CS McKay Bennett. The McKay Bennett showed up on April 17th, two days after the accident. It set out from Halifax, a port in Canada, and recovered 306 bodies. The Atlantic that far north was really cold. It would have to be for there to be icebergs and stuff. Anyway, the bodies they pulled out of the water were frozen solid. This isn't a very nice story. So, what happened next? Well, they say the McKay Bennett recovered something more than just dead bodies. There were various bits of stuff floating around in the water. Things the drowned had carried with them, or stuff that dislodged as the ship sank. One of the things they found hey. was a coffin. A coffin? 
Yeah, a wooden one. The craftsman who made it must have been pretty skilled. It wasn't just a wooden coffin. It was all wood. No nails, no reinforcements, no gaps in the wood anywhere. The thing the crew got pretty curious about what might be inside it and opened it up. They had to get a wedge and hammer it open. It was so well made. Inside, they found a woman. Or, I guess you should say, they found the dead body of a woman. Her hair was thick and black, and her skin rich brown with no blemishes or signs of decomposition. They say that she looked gorgeous, like a goddess. She was obviously dead, but everyone who looked at her said she just looked like she was sleeping. Her skin was so lifelike, she looked like she might wake up any minute. And she didn't. Like the rest of the bodies they found, she was frozen solid. Eventually, the McKay Bennett finished searching and returned to Halifax. The 306 bodies were unloaded and taken ashore. However, it was warm enough that they began to thaw. They say that the stink was horrible, but there was one body that didn't thaw. And that was... The girl in the coffin. That's right. Everybody thought for sure that she'd melt and start to rot like the rest of them eventually. But weeks passed and nothing happened. Then a month passed, and another. It was summer, and she was still frozen solid. After a while, people started to say she was some sort of miracle. Rumors about her started to spread. People came to visit Halifax from all over. After a while, people started to call her All Ice, Alice. Of course, those rumors didn't last long. Why? Well, she up and disappeared. One day Alice was there, the next day she wasn't. They say someone snuck into where they were keeping her and stole the body. With the body gone, the rumors followed pretty quickly. And after a while, no one remembered her. You might be able to find something about her if you could find a newspaper from back then, but that's about it. Wait. You just said that she was on this boat. Yeah, I did. Alice has got to be somewhere on this ship. Now why the hell would you say something like that? Because I know. And just what is it you know? What happened to Alice after she was stolen? All right. Tell me. What happened to Alice? Well, around that time, the word was that there was a special black market in New York. All millionaires from all over the world. I've heard that Alice went up for auction there. The person who won the auction was Lord Dashiell Gordain. You've heard that name before, right? Lord Gordain. Oh, isn't he the guy who bought the Gigantic? Yeah, that's him. Although, I guess he hadn't done that yet. What do you mean? Gordain bought Alice in 1912. And four years later, in 1916, he bought the Gigantic. And he hit Alice somewhere on the Gigantic, but nobody knows where. He died in 1931, and apparently he died without ever telling anyone where Alice was hidden. However... However... Well, he did have one close friend who asked him, where is Alice? And he said, Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the forest of knowledge beneath the navel of the gigantic. What the hell is that? Is it some kind of riddle? Your guess is as good as mine. So that's it. Whatever you think, I believe it. She's hidden somewhere on the gigantic. In other words, she's hidden somewhere on this ship. Hmm. Hey, what are you two doing over there? Listening to BS. Stop wasting time and get over here. Okay, okay, we're coming. Jeez! Yeah, so, anyway, that's the story. It might be useful someday. Don't forget it. Alice. Huh. That mummy that wasn't, wasn't just, just a normal, normal mummy. mummy. They, they say, say that, that she was, was frozen. frozen. The, story the story says that, that from the, the time, time of its discovery, discovery all the way, way through, through to when, when it got, got put on the Titanic. Titanic. Even, Even though, though it was, it was carried, carried through the, through the desert, desert her body never melted. Then was that Egyptian priestess, Alice? Did the water in her body become Ice Nine? No, that, that's nuts. There's no way somebody like that could exist. Okay. No, I was just lying there. Something on the table looks like it could be a scale next to the operating table. It has something that looks like a lid in front.
show you the blue light turned on. I heard a noise. It sounded like something unlocking. Found a beaker. The red light's on now. I think I heard another noise. I get it. Combine the red liquid and the blue liquid to make a purple one. Good job, Jinpei! Purple light came on and I heard it unlock. I'm sure it's unlocked. Lock where the purple plate has gotta be unlocked. Alright, let's see what has happened. Okay, so we collected six parts of the medical mannequin, so the ones we've- God, must be for Lucy, right? Yeah. Seems like it. Well, I see we give Lucy her parts back. Any rejection? Nope. Agreed. Alright, let's get started. Come by! Hey, nothing happened. That's odd. Hmm. Maybe it's the wrong way. Wait, yeah. Well, you know how there's a scale on the side of the bed. Maybe. We need to get the scale to a specific number. How are we gonna do that? I think it's supposed to swap her body parts with John. Oh, let's give it a shot. Operating instructions, the screen is way too, blah blah blah, whatever. We'll take the heart, the leg, the other, other leg, other leg. Put the heart back, put the arm, put the hearts back, chest, there we go. Hey Junpei, I just heard something, it came from John's operating table, better check it out. Look at the scale. Huh? The lid on the screen. Scale. It open. Oh, I get it. Must have opened because we matched John's weight to what's on the chart. Something part is sticking out. Jupiter key. Do you think John's still John? Even if his parts are, even if parts of his body are switched, it's like the ship of Theseus or whatever. Uh, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. So you might know the answer, but he's not telling. Playing quietly on the bed. Hey, hold on. Oh, uh, what's up? Where's Clover? Huh? Oh, god damn it. Where the hell did she go? Uh, okay, d just hold on a minute. I'll go get her. <clears throat> sure thing. Hey, Clover. What's wrong? Come on. Let's get out of here. Uh what are you doing? Did you want to come back here and say goodbye to John? Hey, Clover, can you hear me? My brother might be dead. Uh, huh? That's why we couldn't find him. If he's dead, I'm going to be next. What, what are you talking about? What's wrong with you? Uh, what do I want to do? Gave it a four-leaf clover. Oh, yeah. It's in my pocket somewhere. Oh, yeah, Santa gave it to me. I a four-leaf clover. Hey, did you know each leaf means something? Hope, faith, love, 
and luck. There's a fifth leaf, the devil, blah blah blah. That's what a four leaf clover stands for. Take it. Use it as a good luck charm. Listen to me, Clover. No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. You have to remember what's most important, and that's to have faith and to have love. If you can remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. <laughs> Snake, I, I mean, your brother, he's not dead. He's alive somewhere. I, I'm sure of it. You've just got to believe in that. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Seven's waiting for us at the exit. Wait. Before we go, there's one thing I want to ask you. What's that? What do you think when you hear the word experiment? Uh, what? Oh, I guess it was just a coincidence that... I mean, that you knew about the four-leaf clover. Uh, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't want to be a jerk, but you are making less than no sense right now. Oh, no, no, no. It's nothing. Just forget about it. Oh, don't don't give me that. Uh, you really think I could just drop this? What is this experiment you were talking about? You promise you won't tell anyone? Cross my heart. Really? Really. I can trust you, right? Of course you can. Okay, then. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what happened on this ship nine years ago. Wait, wait, wait. Y on this ship? Yeah, this ship. It was an experiment to test some sort of psychic thing. More of a genetic field. Communicating through these fields that you can't see. I'm sick and tired of these more genetic fields. Fields that you can't see? Like, think about this. This is John, right? But is he really John? Huh? Isn't this like Locke's socks or the ship of Theseus? Um... You don't know? You haven't heard of those paradoxes? No. Really? Okay, well pay attention then. This is how Locke's socks work. Let's say I've got a pair of socks. They're my favorite socks. One of them gets a hole in it. What would you do if that was your sock, Junpei? Throw it away, but patch up's the right answer. Well, I, I guess I'd patch it up, get some cloth, and close up the hole. But what if another hole opens? I'd add another patch. What if another hole opened after that? Um, another patch, I guess? Well, let's say you just keep adding new patches, until eventually the original cloth of the sock is totally gone. Once you get to that point, can you really say they're the same socks you started with? Hmm, uh, well that, hmm, that's, oh, that, that's tough. So, that's the lock socks thing? Yeah, the ship of Theseus is a lot like it. The ship of Theseus. If you keep fixing the damaged parts of a ship, eventually it ends up with none of the parts it started with. Can you really say that ship is the same one you started with? And what if you took all the old parts from the first ship and built another one somewhere else? Then which ship is the real ship of Theseus? The one you repaired or the one you built with all the original parts? Hmm. Hey, do you think it's the same? What's the same? These guys. Is this John or is it Lucy now? Uh, John's head and heart are both his, but apart from those and a single arm, the rest of his body was once Lucy's. We're just like these mannequins. Think about it. The cells in our body change every day. Old ones die and new ones are born. Maybe part of my arm is made of stuff from a fish I ate once. Or maybe part of your right side is made from a cow you ate. If you take it a little further, those cows and fishes are made from something else too, right? That's how we're all connected. Through fields that can't be seen with the naked eye. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? How long are you going to make me wait? We don't have time to screw around. <sighs> oh, what were you two doing? Was this some sort of secret meeting? No, it wasn't. We were just... Just? Playing. Huh? Let's go, Junpei. Playing with mannequins, huh? Didn't know you were into that kind of thing, Junpei. <sighs> You're a dick. All right, I'm going to open it now. Is that cool? You don't need to keep asking. Just do it, all right? <sighs> Fine, then. All right, let's get going. Hey, man, what's up with you? You're so serious, you know? Can't you sound more happy, you know, get a little excited? <sighs> Not really. <sighs> my brother might be dead. I'm going to be mad. Like hell I can. Not after hearing something like that. 
You found it. Alright, now a lot more talking. Oh my god. There too, huh? Every door in this place is locked up tight. How about that one? May as well give it a try. Jumpy! Huh? June and Santa and Lotus too. Whoa! What the hell is this? What are you doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey, guys! Could you come take a look at this? Look on the wall here. A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor, then? Door 7. Door 8. Yep. They both eventually end up at this hallway. Yeah. Isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. That's how the notary game works. I see. Wait a sec. Hey, could this lead to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I uh, almost forgot. We should keep this. Ready? I'm gonna <clears throat> open it. I knew it. We're back. In the hospital room. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory, and then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Well, we saw each other again, and we ain't dead, so I say that's good enough. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. The key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Right, Junpei? Yeah. Oh, the solar system key. Actually, we found one in the laboratory, too. Here, the Earth key. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. Yeah. Now we have three keys that we haven't used yet. Yeah. The Jupiter key that we found in the operating room. The Saturn key card we found in the kitchen. And the Earth key Lotus just gave me. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Then, next to the stairs... Wait! What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. It just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point. At least there is for me. Yeah. You're right, I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. Very well. I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. So, Seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Damn. Well, <clears throat> I guess that's how it's gotta be. So I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. All right, let's get mo- Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. Okay, we're off. All right, we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving? Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Well, uh, those keys. Well, I get it. We're going to see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei. Open it, if you please. Yeah, on it. Great! Back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Of course there's a reason. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? This. The Saturn key card. And the Earth key? I'm lost. Don't you remember, Santa? On Sea Deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. And on A deck, on the door to the left? 
There was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it. I think. So, the two keys that Jumpy has? Should let us use the elevator and the door on A-deck. Huh. Yes, that's right. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. What do you say we split into two teams? Lotus and I will search the Earth one, so you two can search Saturn, all right? Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. We have no idea what's on the other side of these, so don't go too far. Just search for ten minutes and come back. There's a card reader next to the left elevator. Then let's try out the Saturn key card. Great. It looks like it's working now. All right. Now, how do I call the elevator? Oh, it only has the upside down triangle on it. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. It, it opened. <sighs> Sweet, it opened. Let's get going. W w wait. What? Uh, I'm not really, uh, I just, uh, oh gosh. You was probably afraid of. They could only go down. Huh. <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor, D deck is completely underwater. An elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, take a look inside. <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh, you're right. They are. Well, let's test it. Test it? Yeah, watch this. Now, I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Oh, there's only two, E and C. All right, I'll push E. I, I think I can hear it opening on E deck. Okay, that's done. Now I'll just press the button again. Yep. Not a single drop of water to be seen. See? What does that mean? How can E deck be safe if the D deck is full of water? Well, here's what I think. The elevator shaft and E deck must be watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. Here, uh, let me show you. I see. So is that why the ship hasn't sunk? The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, all right? Um... Come on, just do it, all right? I I'm coming with you! Huh? Hey! Ah, oh, crap. It closed! I can't just let you go alone, you know? Ah, jeez. Looks normal. I'll knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. <sighs> You're right. It's not flooded at all. See? There's a whole lot of water. Yeah. Right on top of us. What's gonna happen if the ceiling breaks? We'd probably die. Oh, no. Don't be so casual about something like that. At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can, once we're done looking around down here. Lotus and Santa might already be back. Okay, good idea. Now then, iron bars. Well, we can't go over there. Right. Then maybe... Well, it looks like there's a long straight hallway down this way. Something's written on the door at the end. Wait, is that... Let's check. I knew it! This is a numbered door! But we can't do anything with only the two of us. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Wait, what's this? Is this the map for E-Deck? I should take it with me. Huh, so you guys found door one. 
So now we've located two new doors. The six door and the one door. You know, it is interesting that EDEC wasn't flooded. Well, we don't really know if all of EDEC is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Yeah, even so, it's still very interesting. You said the six door was there, right? Yes. And that means Zero planned all this out. Even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. That's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah, I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Yes, it does make sense. Hmm. 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 <laughs> um. Yeah? Um, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? Just kidding. All right, let's go. Hey! Where the hell did you guys go? Seven? Hmm. Um. What's wrong? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Snake was... Snake is... Snake is dead. He died just as the ninth man did. Oh my god, that's not true, is it? We should make sure. Yeah, right. We should. Wait, not that way. What? I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so we can go in that way. Uh, where is uh... the shower room? On the left side of the hallway. I put a broom in there too to keep the door open. That means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah, that's right. Then let's go. This wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's keep going. Oh, it smells horrible. Oh, yeah, this is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, no. Hmm. Where is he? Where's Snake? There. June, you should stay here. But... Please, just do me a favor, okay? All right? <sighs> I'm going in. <sighs> uh. <laughs> just like Ace said, just like the ninth man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Oh, God. The, the bone is coming out of his left arm. It's definitely an open fracture. Oh, the face. It's horrible. Yeah, can't even tell who it is. Uh, but the clothes are... No mistake about it. It's Snake. Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it and waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake. But he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Snake was the only one who went through the door. And then, 81 seconds after he was shoved in, that happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Yeah, that means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Red. Right after that was when we noticed he was- Then that means none of us have alibis. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those parts. Yeah, that means anybody could be a killer. W wait a minute. What are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? You're implying that one of us is a killer. Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know? What Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner. And those who don't 
are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Yes, that is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes, almost certainly Zero himself. If there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Hmm, good question. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. Was Zero still on the ship with them? Of course. But I don't... Where could Zero be hiding? I think... I think Zero is one of us. Was he one of them? Well, that's possible. Hmm. Well, that's possible. Huh? Like Clover said, Zero might be one of us. What are you saying, Jumpy? Didn't you hear what Ace said? Exactly. I said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason. No reason? I've got a great reason. And what's that? The bracelets. Why are the bombs in our bodies connected to the bracelets? You're all thinking Zero's hiding somewhere watching us, right? If he's doing that, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something they weren't supposed to. It would be a lot more precise and a lot easier. But, if that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator in the bracelet? Huh. You got a point. I'm not done. Try applying the same ideas to the Nonary game. All of the puzzles here run all by themselves. In other words, Zero doesn't have to be controlling them for the game to move forward. Why is that? Why would Zero bother to do something like that? So let's say you and Clover are right. Zero's one of us. If that's the case, then it'd be really hard for him to keep track of all of us or control anything remotely. That's why all the puzzles run by themselves. That's what you're getting at. Yeah. Seven, when we were talking earlier, you said any one of us could be Snake's killer, right? Yeah, something like that. All right, then. I've got a question for you, Ace. You said something like Zero must be the one who killed Snake, right? Yes, something like that. I can't think of any other explanation. So what do we get if we combine those? They fit together pretty well, I think. Something like this. Whoever killed Snake is Zero. Hence, Zero is one of us. Seven and Ace's theories aren't mutually exclusive. They actually complement each other pretty well. At least they do if Zero is one of us. What were his motives? His motives? Yes, isn't that pretty important? Why would Zero want to hide as one of us? Oh, well, that's because I don't know. Well, so much for making a persuasive argument, Junpei. In other words, you only had circumstantial evidence. I don't really think that's enough to go on, you know? Ah. What is it? Two o'clock? Three o'clock. Three hours left. It's three in the morning. That means we have three hours left. Then we need to move now, Seven, Clover, Junpei. I know how you feel. But you do understand that right now, it's important we trust one another, don't you? You're right, but... We must go. We have very little time left. Our next destination is Mercury. But maybe you and June should check it out first and then report back to us. All right. Let's go, June. Right. Here it is. The Mercury card? We're using the card Seven gave us, right? Yeah. And I found it when we were checking out the shower room. I think Seven said something like that. Anyway, let's see what happens. I guess the elevator works now. Jumpy, I know it's only the two of us, but let's do our best. What's with you all of a sudden? Well, I'm happy we were put together. Uh, you know it's just for searching E-Deck, right? Even so, I'm glad I'm with you. Oh, first we need to find out if the elevator comes up full of water. Just like we did before. Oh, Four hours. here it is. I knew it. It's not wet at all. Let's go. Yes. Look! Nearly all of the buttons are destroyed. Yeah, only the seat and bottom button can be pushed. We're on C deck right now, so the only one we can choose is bottom. Yeah. Well, let's try it out. Oh, 
So this is the bottom deck. Hey, over there. This is a numbered door. This is the eighth one we found. There were two numbered doors on B deck near the central staircase. They were doors four and five. Three more in the large hospital room. Doors three, seven, and eight. And the door we found on E deck, and the door Lotus and Santa found on A deck. It was a six on the door on E deck, and a one on the door on A deck. That means... Do you think the next door we find? Yeah, I think so. The next one's gonna be door nine. Finally! Yeah. You don't look very happy about it, though. It's not that. I just hope nothing goes wrong. You're right. We should keep our fingers crossed. Let's head back. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Just double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? Yes, just like you told us earlier. <sighs> Can't believe we're voting here. We need to make the whole thing fair, blah de blah. This is a complicated plan, you know. Hurry it up, Mr. I have a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. All right, let's open these up. The first one says, Ace requests door one. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? No, we don't have time for that. Sorry, let's keep going. Next is Santa. He wants door six. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the Elephant Man. No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. But... Just give it up, Lotus. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. Barely. So, last I checked, that's not a crime. Maybe. But what about common decency? Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. Oh, I'm gonna kill you! Oh, not good. Let go! Let go of me! I'm killing him! Junpei, read the rest. Uh, right. June wants door sick. Yes. I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. So this was everyone's vote. Ace and Clover requested door one. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. Then the door I should choose is... Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through... Let's go through doors... I don't know. Door one? My choice is door one. Wait a minute there. You cheat cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what doors we wanted. How could I do that? I wrote it down on the paper earlier. Let me see that. Sure. I had three pieces of paper ready, and I put the one with door six on it into the pot. I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. Well, what does it say? <laughs> you got lucky. Very well. We've decided who will go through door one. It will be Clover, Junpei, and myself. Our only problem is the two remaining teams. June and I want door six. Lotus and I want door two. That's not good. We can't open either of those doors with only two people. <clears throat> Aw. Fine. Seven, we'll go through door six. Sure thing. I didn't really want to go through door two anyway. Besides, if we've got a younger girl with us, it'll lower the average age. Right, June? Well, I... I, am. Um... Pig. You just wait and see. Calling me old. This is why men are such a pain in the ass. They're about as subtle as a brick. And they're at it again. I'll see you later, June. Jumpy. Don't make that face. It'll be like what Seven said. We aren't gonna, gonna be, be split, split up, up permanently till we find door, door nine. nine. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. That's how the notary game works. It'll be fine. I'll see you soon. All right. See you later. Here's a deck. It was the door on the left, right? 
That should be it, yes. Then here we go. It's just as Santa and Lotus said. A numbered door. There's the red. I'll go first. Now the two of you, if you would. <laughs> now. Are you ready? Shall I pull it? Yeah, anytime. <laughs> Very well, then. Let's go. Three, two, one. And it's open! Move it! I want to check something really quick. But there's two endings here. Where? Where is it? Uh, there it is! Over there! Yes, it did. Ooh. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. <laughs> I agree. Now then. There's another door. Let's try opening it. So, this is the wheelhouse? Ace, you investigate the wheelhouse next door. Very well. Clover, you're in charge of this room. Uh, Say something. Okay, I will. All right then, let's get started. Seek a way out. The light looks like kind of a, like a little, little bit of flower. Stack of nautical charts. This one has like that Morse code BS. So nautical chart is flying on it here. It's in line, blah, blah, blah. There are these dots all over the map. Oh, those are probably port boats for a boat stop. Boat stop at. Looks like the lines connect the dots. World map with the Atlantic Ocean in the center. There are a number of red pins in several locations. Let's see, red pins mean. Well, now the charts are picked up early. I have a map like this one. You want to match it up to the pins or something? Let's see. What would you know? Looks like this one's a match to the pins. Okay, so we got seven locations connected by straight lines. And each one has a word next to it. That's probably the speed. New material has been added to the file screen. Awesome. Wooden box, maybe a case for letters. Hey, Clover, you ever write letters? Nothing. Fill the line with books. Let's see what's in this blue one. There's something written on it. Ship log. Huh. Ship log, huh? Pocket watch. Oh, pocket watch. Might I take a look at it? Hey, man. What are you doing over in this room? Oh, I just thought I'd come check up on the two of you. Is there a problem? Yeah, there yeah, is. Yeah, there is. You checked on us. Now get out of here. We split this stuff up for a reason, all right? That's a lie. We didn't have to split up the work. I just want to talk to Clover alone. That's why I sent Ace to the wheelhouse. There's something I want to ask her, and I don't want anyone to overhear us. I'm pretty sure Clover won't talk if there's anyone else around. That's why when Ace showed up again, I got a little desperate. I had to make him leave. Oh, I see, of course. I apologize for the intrusion. Well, best of luck. <sighs> what was that about? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, uh, no, 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 it's not like that. What's it like then? I just wanted to hear the rest of that story. I didn't get a chance to ask you about it until now. What story? About the experiment, remember? The one you started to tell me in the operating room? You said something about an experiment that happened here nine years ago. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about that right now. I'm just not in the mood, okay? Uh... You understand, right? I'm just... I keep thinking about my brother. I... I can't stop. I mean, who would do something like that? To my brother? <sighs> I can't forgive them. I'm not gonna let them get away with it. They're gonna pay for it. I promise. So, 
Junpei. Who do you think did it? Well, if what Seven said was right, then there would have to be at least two of them. You need at least three people to open the numbered doors. And if you subtract Snake, that means there were at least two other people. You're right. So, what does that mean? Well, if we just look at the bracelet numbers, we should be able to figure it out. Who could have opened door three with Snake? Well, really, who and who, or who, who, and who? You mean it could have been four people? Well, technically, it's possible. Um, I don't know. That doesn't seem very likely. Why? Um, I'll tell you later. Why don't we just assume it was only two other people for now? Okay, uh, got it. Let's do that then. Then who do you think it could be? Wish you place the numbers at 3 to 2, we can really go to 3. Oh, math. So we got Santa's 3, Ace 1, so 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. Nope. 1 plus 7 plus 7. Nope. Well, 6 equals 7, plus 2 equals 9, nope. 1 plus 7, 8 plus 2 equals 1, nope. 3 plus 6, 9 plus 2 equals 11. Pretty sure that's the one. 3 plus 10, nope. 3 plus 8, 11 plus 2, 14, nope. Would it be Santa and June? The digital root for Snake, Santa, and June is 2. Nope, they couldn't open door 3. And besides, there's no way in hell June is a murderer. <sighs> what am I doing? Let's try this again. <clears throat> So we got to cross out June, so we got Santa 7 and Lotus, 7 plus 8, 15, plus 2, 17, so that equals 8, nope. 1 plus 8 equals 9, plus 2 equals 9. Would it be Ace and Lotus? The digital root for Snake, Ace, and Lotus is 2. That's definitely not 3. They wouldn't be able to open the door. Oh, 3. Which uh, 2 could? I am so stupid. So we got Santa and Lotus. Would it be Santa and Lotus? The digital root for Snake, Santa, and Lotus is four. Nope, they couldn't open door. Oh. Then, Santa seven. Would it be Santa? The digital root for Snake, Santa, and seven is three. Wait, hold on. Are Santa and seven the killers? Huh. <sighs> What's wrong? Well, I thought about it. That's what I thought. Santa and Seven. If it was two people, then that's the only combination that works. Hey, wait a minute there. Don't you think it's a little too early to be jumping to conclusions? Well, all I said is that those two would have been able to open door three with your brother. There might be other possibilities. Well, what other possibilities? Uh... Are you saying you think that it was three or four people? I really don't think that's likely. Why not? Can I borrow your pen and paper? Yeah, here. <coughs> what is this? These are the combinations for three or four people. These eight combinations are the only possible ones. Oh, I see. Junpei? Yeah? I... I can trust you, right? Of course. Why would you need to ask that? Really? Yeah. So then I should get rid of B, D, G, and H, right? Of course. Uh, just cross them out. And you should take off yours, too. The ones with four. So, what does that leave? A and E. Wait, it can't be A. Why? Because June's in that one. There's no way in hell she'd do something like that. Are you sure? I bet my life on it. Okay then. I can cross off A too, right? Yeah. Well... E. Do you know what this means? Everyone besides me, you, and June would be working together. Do you think that's likely? Hmm. If there were four people working together, they wouldn't be very cautious. I don't think they'd try that hard to hide what they were doing if they outnumbered us, right? Well, 
You do have a point. And besides, if Ace and Seven are working together, they could have easily gotten rid of me when I went to the shower room with them. But they didn't. They didn't even try anything. If they were killers, why wouldn't they? Oh, I see. Anyway, I understand now. It seems pretty unlikely that it was as many as three or four people. Yeah. Then that means there's a good chance it was Santa and Seven. That's how it looks. But why would they do it? Their motive. Have I interrupted something? Uh, uh, what is it? There was something I wanted to speak with you about, Junpei. Could you come with me for a moment? Go ahead. Okay. What did you want to talk about? There was something I wanted to check. Yeah? What's that? If you'll excuse me. Hey, what, what the hell are you doing? I'm just checking. No, 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 stop! I, uh, <coughs> just as I thought. What exactly are these pieces of paper hiding in your pocket? Uh, you switched them, didn't you, when we voted? Um. Uh, well, I can't say that I care. I managed to get through the numbered door I wanted, despite your mischief. Then, why did you... Oh, simple curiosity. I hope you won't think ill of me for it. Uh, uh damn. This isn't good. So many drawers with nothing inside of them. Another room on the other side of the window. Compass appears to be broken, however. See, the glass cover has been smashed to pieces. The helm. Well, steering wheel might be a more appropriate term. But in board, there's a hole in it. An engine order telegraph. They use this on old ships to adjust the speed of the ship. Like the gear shift in a car? Well, it's a little different. This device doesn't connect directly to the engine. Short, it's a transmitter. The navigation officer uses it to set the speed of the ship, and it sends a signal to the engine. There's a handle on top of it, which can be moved back and forth to... Hold on, huh? There's no handle. Oh, you're right, there isn't. Looks as though it was delivery removed. Steering wheel, let's see. Whoa, looks like the steering wheel moves. So it seem. You know something else as well, with that. Well, when you move this wheel, the compass also moves. What do you mean? The ship, it's moving. Ah, tricked you, didn't I? The only compass must be connected to one another somehow. Hmm, you think that's important? Well, let's try turning it again. Oh, uh, I'll come back to this. Bolted to the wall here. Jinpei, are you trying to open that door? Forget it. It's pointless. I tried it earlier. It won't open. Alright, some sort of lock. Uh, weird shape in paper, huh? This shape, maybe. Looks like a pocket watch could fit here. Nothing. I imagine pocket watch is intended to go in there. However, we need to do something with the watch first. Was this some kind of display? It's like an electronic scoreboard. I didn't was added recently. Ugh, I have to check my files. Ships logs. Blah blah blah. So. Well, I guess I gotta finally use this. So, we got the... Port, we had it, uh, let me move this game over. So port, headed south, south and west, so that's southwest. Or 
or the south west southwest north west port east north uk okay so that is our note does it not show up on my little thing should oh I guess it's uh, my stream is lagging oh my goodness so let's see we have another one So, south, west, southwest, northwest, east, north, and straight. There it is. Uh, full, half, slow, full, half. Dead. Stop. All right. So let's see, we want to go south, west, southwest, northwest. Uh, east north what the the handle came off <laughs> stooping so low are you zero all right excuse me I don't need to mess with this thing anymore oh my goodness let me leave Oh my gosh. Alright, we'll put it here. So, sure, I hope this handle fits. Yes, it fits. Excellent. Now let's operate the engine order. Telegraph. Let's give it a shot. So, now it's going to be full, half, slow, full, half, dead. Huh? That's weird. I thought I put it in the right speed. Did I mess up? No, I don't think so. Look, something's happened on the back wall of the wheelhouse. Yeah, you're right. Let's check it out. There's something on the wall that looks kind of like an arrival board. There are a whole bunch of words on the left side of this way. What the hell is this? The names of ports across the world. Imagine it's showing us the ship's route. You know, just like the ones you might see at an airport. Parting XX carrier, XX flights, XX at XX o'clock. Like that. Oh, I get it. It does like those. It does look like those are names of older ports along the ship's route. 
looks like the only one of those has a time on it though. Time on the last line, right? Ten seconds past three o'clock. <coughs> Perhaps that's the arrival time. Uh, what's up there? Hello. But oh yeah, um, let me grab my item. Cancel. It doesn't look like here. The hands have stopped at five minutes thirty-nine seconds past ten o'clock. Turn the knob does nothing. Yeah, it's probably broken. Looks like so you can move the hands, however. Oh. Or something on the name. Whoa, whoa, it's not, this must be the last minute time. Hmm, oh, perhaps. Whoa, what's he doing? Excuse me, Jinpei. Hey, you just took my pocket watch. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Just trust me. Should be fine now. Thanks for giving me the pocket watch back, but you don't need to look so smug about it. See what he oh he moved the hands. Ten seconds past zero o'clock. Oh, so he changed it to match the final arrival time. He found it slowly. You know what to do next, right? Give it a shot. It's the only exit. Looks like some sort of locks got a weird shape and then blah blah blah. Let's try putting this thing in here. Yes, it says open. Now work. Seems you were successful. All done, Jinpei. Hey, over. But, look, we can unlock the door. Now we can get out of this room. Oh, well, let's go then. Over. Found it. Oh, I actually got to use this. It's so oh, annoying. A hallway? It's far too narrow to be called one. This seems to be the only route. Yeah, let's go. How? Well, these machines are weird. I I've never seen any of them before. Uh, huh? Wait, this one is... Ah, yes. A telegraph key. These were used to transmit Morse code a long time ago. This must be the communication office. And that door? Captain's quarters. Huh. That's what it says. Then, do you think... Well, we won't know if we don't open it. <sighs> Not again. Damn. No, we didn't check his pulse yet. Maybe he's still alive. No pulse. Well, he's dead. Damn. If only we knew how it happened. These wounds. I wonder what killed him. It must have been this. These clothes. A captain. Does that mean this guy was zero? Bracelet zero. <sighs> Junpei. It may be wise to find a way out of here first. Yeah, you're right. Blood on the chair. You think this was the dead guy? Yeah, probably. A camcorder. Looks like it's pointing at the door. Well, power's on. Who would someone want to videotape a door? There's a plaque on the door, but it doesn't say anything. It's a lamp, but it doesn't turn on. I don't think there's anything special about it. A bed. There's nothing in it. Look like batteries. There's cable running from them to the monitor. Chair. Steel disc. Some kind of code. There are four rows of numbers and letters. Start with zero and end with eight F N R V respectively. Maybe this has something to do with the number bases. Oh my God, no! Don't do this to me. This one shows staircase on C deck. I'll recognize the room on this one. Hospital. Hallway. Blah blah blah. There are buttons on here. Probably switch between you. So do you know how to work this thing? Uh, why don't we just press one of these? Like this one. Well, I guess it does change though. What the hell is this? Nothing on the monitor. 
the static. Okay, is that the door on the screen on the right behind us? You're right. So whatever that camera sees is sent to the screen in real time. I wonder if that means something, you know? Hmm. Zero. Huh. Z-E-R-O, huh? It's like he's making fun of us. What do you think? Nothing. What about him? Do you think that's really Zero? There's no way that's him. Didn't I tell you already? Zero is one of us. Yeah. Right. Well, even if he wasn't one of us, there's no way that man could be Zero. Uh-huh. Don't you get it? The letters that spell Zero on the TV screen, the captain's clothes he's got on, and of course, the bracelet with a Zero on it. It's too obvious. Look, look, this is Zero right here. This dead body is Zero. Isn't that kind of fishy? You're right. Only an idiot wouldn't see through something like that. No, th that's not the point. So I'm not trying to make fun of them for thinking a trick like this would work. I'm sure they didn't think it would work. Which makes me wonder... Why did they do it? I think this is a challenge. A challenge from the person who's really behind all of this. He's making fun of us. Uh? Don't you get it? If whoever killed this guy really wanted us to think this corpse was Zero, they'd never have put a bracelet on him. Walking around with a Zero bracelet would be like hanging a sign around your neck that said, I did it! Anyone with a brain would be able to see that this guy is supposed to look like everything Zero is supposed to be. Just like we did. Uh. The killer must have known we wouldn't think he was Zero and put the bracelet on him anyway. Do you know why? Why? Like I said, he's mocking us. Too bad, suckers. This isn't Zero. Where's the real me then? See if you can catch me. It's the same bad joke a lot of criminals like to play. They'll just sit back and watch people run in circles. That's really twisted. But it almost seems kind of childish. Yeah, you're right. It's really childish. It's like it's just a game to whoever this person is. That's what seems funny to me. All right, let's get back to the point. Who killed this man? I don't know. And what's this guy's deal? Who is he? How would I know that? If I knew anything, I would have told you. You have no idea who he is. Why would I? Hmm. We should check and see if he's got anything on him that might tell us who he is. Give me a hand here, Clover. Huh? We gotta flip him over. How else are we gonna search his pockets? <laughs> okay, uh, fine. Guess I'll do it. Here we go. Huh? Hey, it's the... Lastly, let us discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero in the... In other words, find the ship or... On zero, shut down all the Oh, God. This man... He's dead, isn't he? Huh? No, it's just... I... I guess I didn't really think about it until right now. If his bracelet's off, that means he's dead. Well, it's pretty obvious that he's dead. You don't really need to look at his bracelet to figure out that he's dead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess you're right. It is pretty obvious. Well, uh, he looks a lot better than the other bodies we've seen, though. <laughs> you know? I mean, if, if there wasn't all this blood, he'd almost look like he was still alive. <laughs> I mean, I, I know it's kind of a messed up thing to say, but... He Kind of have dying from a bomb going off inside of you. Some of Snake's bones went. I, I think the explosion must have. There was a broken bone Shut just sticking up. out of his left arm. And uh, what did you just say? Oh man, uh, I am. I, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. I, I really don't know what I was thinking. I mean. No, that's not what I'm talking about. What did you say about his arm? A uh, arm? Yes, his left arm. You said it, didn't you? Well, yeah, I did. But I mean. I, didn't, didn't you see it too? Of course not. I could barely look at him. There's no way I was going to see the details. Are you sure it was his left arm? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was. And he had a broken bone, right? What the hell are you getting at here? Just shut up and answer me. Yeah, he did. Uh, it was pretty bad too. The bone was sticking out of the arm. <laughs> Clover? <sighs> What's wrong? Uh, look, I'm sorry if I said anything. Thank you. Huh? What are you? Thank you so much, Junbei. Going into detail proves that she will say it, I guess. But hey, uh, what's going on with you? I'm sorry. It's just I'm so happy. Why? The body in the shower room. It, it isn't his. It isn't my brother. Huh? 
It's not Snake. Why on earth would you think that? Because his left arm is... I'm sorry. I really shouldn't be talking about this. Uh... But he's still alive. I'm... I'm so happy. I'm so glad. Uh-huh. Junpei, you were right. Uh huh No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. You have to remember what's most important. And that's to have faith and to have love. If you can remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. Uh, that's... I, I only made it here because you gave me this. I was suspicious of everybody. I was angry and miserable. But because I had this four-leaf clover, because of what you said to me, I... Yeah. Thank you so much, Junpei. Oh, uh, if you really want to thank somebody, you, you, you should be thanking Santa. Santa? Why? Well, he was the one who gave me that thing. And the words for each leaf, I got that from him too. Oh. Um. Uh. Uh. uh huh? Did. Did Santa really tell you those things? Yeah, he, he did. Did I uh, say something wrong? Oh, no. Not at all. In fact. This could be really good news, I think. You think? Santa knew about the words and the clover. The only people who should know about that are the other subjects. Subject? The other people who were in the experiment nine years ago, with my brother and me. Uh-huh. But he's blind, and I was part of the Nevada test group, so neither of us would be able to recognize the faces of the people who were on this boat. Whoa, 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 okay, time out. Let's just calm down for a second, okay? Start from the top. Don't start with the end and then jump to the middle. You, you, you gotta start with one and then move to two and three and four and so on. If you don't tell me stuff in the right order, I'm never gonna be able to figure it out. Okay. All right. Let's start with this experiment. What happened on this boat nine years ago? Do you know about morphogenetic fields? Yes. <sighs> Shut up. I am sick of these morphogenetic fields. Morphogenetic fields. All right, how about, how about this? this? Theory, Theory of the, of the telepathic, telepathic mechanism. mechanism. I think Lotus mentioned something like that. Hmm, telepathy, huh? Well, that's not really it, but I suppose it's similar. So they were testing telepathy on this ship? Yeah, I guess so. So, what exactly did they have you guys do? The same thing that we're doing now. Exactly the same thing. What? The Nonary Gang. Nine people were put on this boat, and nine others were put in the building in Nevada, and the game started. Look, I'm sorry, but I, I don't get it. What do the nonary game and some telepathy experiment have to do with each other? Am I missing something here? The ability to access a morphogenetic field is affected by a couple of things. The first is epiphany, and the other is danger. You know how sometimes when you're up against a really tough problem, and then the answer just kind of pops in your head? That's an epiphany, and what you learn from the epiphany can be transmitted with telepathy. When you add danger to that equation, then it gets easier to transmit that information over telepathy. So you're saying the nonary game was supposed to introduce that element of danger? Yeah, but it couldn't be just any old danger. It had to be life and death. And someone did actually die. A girl. Huh. She was on the boat with my brother. I was in Nevada. I never met her, but I did hear her name. Uh -huh. Her name was... <sighs> oh, my apologies. I seem to have disturbed you. Ace. You two must have strong stomachs. I can't imagine how you could stay in this room for so long. At any rate, Junpei, 
Would you be so kind as to come and help me with something? I'm having a little trouble, and I could really use your assistance. Uh... Come on. It'll only take a moment. I don't want Ace to hear us. We can talk about this later. Huh? Hey, wait! Junpei? What are you doing in there? Hurry up! <sighs> uh. Have you heard about morphogenetic fields? Ah! <laughs> Looks as though the door is the only thing that's locked. I don't see a keyhole though. Electric lock, perhaps? Let's look at the left side of the drawer. There's the cables over there. That must mean. It's a really long cable. Should have just hooked on, onto on the desk drawer. There are headphones on the desk. An early telecommunications device. Looks like it used to transmit a radio signal of some sort. I experimented earlier, but to no avail. I imagine it's broken. Oh, no, all the hands aren't moving. No surprise, time is wrong then, I suppose. And there's nothing on the back. Small screwdrivers. Can I combine? Awesome. Uh, I guess I'll put the ink on the cylinder. Awesome. The drawer anymore. All telegraph screen. I'll be honest, I have no idea how it works. All telegraph, blah blah blah. Ace, look! There's a big ass rat trap over here. I told you, that's a telegraph key. Device to print messages through Morse code. But, I tell you, it would never make it easy. So, you think it's broken? No, it works. I'm just not sure it would actually transmit anything outside of the ship. Hmm. What do I put my cylinder thing? Hey, look, follow the steam train. How on earth did you arrive to that conclusion? Hey, look, it's a monkey with glasses. How on earth did you arrive at that conclusion? Oh, there we go. Hey, what is this? Like, there's nothing written on it. Combine this. Yeah. Awesome. So, do 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 all right, I got the worst code I'm supposed to enter. Something will happen, I hope. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, dang it. That's the last one, and yes! Excellent work, Jinpei. Good job. You seem to have figured it out. You can lock the drawer. <gasps> Looks like there's something on the cover. A L L I C E. All ice, Alice. Oh my god. All ice, Alice. Does this mean. What the hell is this? They are hieroglyphs. A form of writing used in ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt? That's right. Can you read them? Of course. I can't. What would make you think I could? What the hell? Whoa, the, the whole thing's like that. Huh? What's this? Oh, a, a key card. Uranus. That's the Uranus symbol. Something's written on the bottom. Bottom deck library. This must be the key to the library, then. So it would seem. Bottom deck. Oh. Seven said something like. Alice, Alice sleeps, sleeps in a small, small chamber, chamber past the forest, forest of knowledge, knowledge beneath the navel of the gigantic. Could beneath the navel mean the bottom deck? And the forest of knowledge is the library? Then could Alice be in a room somewhere beyond the library? What's wrong? Something on your mind? Um, yeah. I just remembered something. Is that so? What about? Well, don't laugh, okay? The Egyptian Priestess and Ice Nine. Interesting. 
And the woman who wouldn't melt, who was recovered from the Titanic disaster, they called her All Ice, which eventually turned into Alice, and she was purchased by an English millionaire who called himself Lord Gordain. According to Seven, this ship is where he hid Alice. And you think that he hid her in a small room, beyond the library on the bottom deck? Yeah. W well, I mean, it is just a theory. Hmm. A game theory. Junpei, have you ever heard of the term CAS? CAS? It stands for Cells Alive System. It is an advanced technology for freezing and preserving organic matter. Put simply, it is a technique that allows one to freeze things without the formation of ice crystals. Normally, if you freeze something fresh, water within its cells expands as it crystallizes, damaging the cell membrane. CAS, however, works differently. The object to be frozen is supercooled using magnetic fields, and then frozen instantly and uniformly, giving ice crystals no time to form. It was originally developed for the preservation of food, as an alternative to the normal freezing process. Now, however, there are rumors that it can be used for other things. What do you mean, other things? Well, there are obvious medical uses, but perhaps also space travel. Space travel? Are you serious? Surely you've heard of suspended animation, cryogenic freezing. It's a fairly common idea in science fiction books and films. People are sometimes frozen for especially lengthy journeys through space. Whoa, 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 wait a minute there. Are you saying that Alice was frozen using that cast thing? Well, I'm sure the possibility is quite low, but it is a possibility. If this special ice you call Ice-9 does indeed exist, and casts were used to freeze her into that sort of ice instantaneously... You think she could be alive? Well, I can't say for sure, of course. I'm only talking about possibilities. The melting point for Ice-9 is 96 degrees, right? If she were put somewhere where she could reach that temperature... <laughs> That's nuts! Are you really saying she could have defrosted and started walking about? You're quite right. It does sound unbelievable. But if she had, then we would have an explanation for the man we found dead on the floor. You mean the guy dressed like a captain? Yes. He was dead when we found him. Clearly, he was murdered. But if he was murdered, then by whom? It couldn't have been one of us. That would be impossible. In order to enter the captain's quarters, one must first open door one. That door that requires the earth key prevented us from accessing door one. Who was it that opened that door? Santa and Lotus. Right. Clearly, the two of them could not have opened door one, or any other door for that matter. Who else then could have done so? Nobody. After Santa and Lotus used the Earth Key, they turned back and met up with me and June. Then we returned to the large hospital room and found Ace, Seven, and Clover. While we'd gone into the shower room, Ace, Seven, and Clover had stayed behind. But it's impossible for those three to open door one. Hmm, but what about when June and I took the elevator to door two? No, still won't work. We were only... Oh, I... Why, why doesn't, like, voice acting go through to the captain's quarter? Kill that guy and there run back that fast. It would be impossible for any of us to be the murderer. That being the case, who could have killed him? Wouldn't it make sense if his killer was someone who had been in the ship for some time? <sighs> A person like that would know the ship well. They would know the locations of all the hidden passages and secret doors. The numbered door would mean nothing to someone like that. It would be a simple thing for them to enter the captain's quarters. Then you're saying the killer was Alice? Well, this is all only one possible theory. All ice. Alice, is she really somewhere on the ship? Maybe this card will give me access to the forest of knowledge and the big mystery. What could be there beyond the forest of knowledge? Anyway, whatever. It's gonna have to wait. I can't do anything right now. I'll come back to this later. Here has been added to the file screen. Uh, let's grab this too. Unique key. Chair. 
This chair, this chair, this chair, this chair. Alright. Oh, what else am I supposed to do here? Okay, what are you doing? Search the wheelhouse on top of all, there's no reason to go back. Back. Okay, okay, let's go back. That's it. Got a short lifeline, Junpei. Hey, mind your own business. Looks like uh, Geo the Mount Medici I got earlier. Awesome. Just put it now, it's on. Hey, look, there's a minus sign on the screen. There's eight of them. That probably means we got to put in eight digits. You can figure it out. Um, what was 26? Eight digits, huh? Alright, let's see if I can just guess it. 26, so A, B, C, D, E, 0, 5, R, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, so I think that's 18. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, 15. Huh? What's passcode? Pretty sure I searched everywhere. Uh, whatever. Let's check my thing. Files. Numeral system chart. That's not the one I need. Bring the Alice. No, that's not the one I need. There's a Z on this one. Spell zero. Wonder why there's only one letter per monitor. Wonder why? Hmm, maybe there's a reason why the letters are displayed individually? It's not really C C E R O. C R O D R O D R O D R O D R O Did I do this wrong? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z so, I'm pretty sure it's the letter of the alphabet this time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, what 18? T U V W X Y Z. How is this not right? No, oh, what's the passcode? Pretty sure I searched everywhere in this room by now. Let's see what it works. The searcher is nothing. That doesn't work anymore.
CRO. I put it in right, right? Twenty Why can't I click it now? Twenty six zero five eighteen fifteen. Why is this wrong? Wrong again. Hey Jinpei, can I list of numbers and letters? Don't you think that might be blue, huh? Where, where's my list of numbers and letters? Is this the one? You you gotta be kidding me. That's it. So ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, three, twenty four. What am I doing? It's just like plus nine. So twenty six plus nine, thirty five. Oh, come on. 35 and then 14 18 plus 9 27 uh, 15 plus 9 24 oh my God. Uh, stupid I'm so stupid that's <laughs> it works good job Jinpei excellent seems to have unlocked it good work Jinpei all right let's go miserable Hey, I found the way out. A 
All right, let's go. That's the next door. Wait, a piece of paper. This is... Map of the ship's interior for ADEC. <laughs> What's wrong? I found a map for this floor. I see. Well, that was anticlimactic. I should keep this, though. Hey, uh, where's Clover? Damn it. What the hell is she up to? Clover! Huh? Huh? What the hell are you doing? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? What the hell is that? What? You've got something in your pocket. What is it? Oh, this? Uh, um, this is a note. A note? Yeah. I found it in the pocket of the guy with the captain's clothes. It said something about the darkness of the sinister hand or something. What the hell? Uh, let me see it. Uh, no, not right. Hey, Junpei, Clover. What are you two doing? Hurry up! He's getting mad. I'll show it to you later, all right? Come on, we gotta hurry. Uh, from the look of that pocket, it doesn't particularly look like just a note. Jeez, what are you thinking? Uh, for crying out loud. The big stairs. Huh, so this is where it ends up, just like it says on the map. Ace, did he head down? Oh, there he is. Look, the four others are there too. Really? Let's join them. <coughs> Jumpy, Clover. What's up? We found it. Found what? We found it. What did you find? The last door. We found door nine. Awesome sauce. Come on, just follow us. We'll explain on the way. Okay. Well, if that's the case. Wait for me. We should get going as well. Jumpy. We finally made it! Yeah, it's finally time. We've reached the end. But something's bothering me. Only three to five people can go through the numbered door. Seven of us are on our way to door nine. That means that, best case scenario, there will be two of us who have to stay behind. Two people. Is there a way? 4.30. We've only got 90 minutes left. I've got no time to wonder about it now. Hey! Junpei! June! What the hell are you two doing? Hurry it up! Let's go, Jumpy! Yeah. I know I told you I'd explain it earlier, but honestly, there ain't much to explain. After we split off from you guys, the four of us got into the elevator on the left, and that took us to the other side of the grate. After that, we headed down another hallway. It took us toward the bow and eventually to the number six that you two found earlier. We opened it and kept going. There was another locked door behind it, like usual. But this time, we had to complete two different areas before we could unlock it. Once we were through that door, there was another hallway that went the other direction. Toward so, on your way, you found the elevator. That's right. So, in other words, you kind of did a lap, huh? You came from that side to this side. Yeah. So, where's the number nine door? Over here. Uh. By the way, you know, it's because of Santa that we're all here right now. Huh? What the? Oh, so the mouse wheel does the history. That all seven of us are going to door nine. What? You don't get it? Santa, seven, and Lotus, what's their digital route? Nine. It's nine. That's right. They could have just left me behind and kept going if they'd wanted to. But they didn't. Yes. Because Santa wouldn't let them. He said, we can't leave June and the others behind. That's why we went looking for you guys. And then you got on the elevator and went back to the central staircase. That's right. Hmm. Well, uh, I wouldn't have called that one. Uh, that Santa would be the one to stick up for you, I mean. Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't mean that Seven and Lotus said they wanted to leave me behind. We were just talking about it, and Santa objected to it first. Is that so? We're here. So, is this... Yeah. There's no other place for us to go. Nope. Just look around. There's a big old iron wall at the end of the hallway. The other hallways on the left and right are blocked by metal grates. I see. All right. Let's get moving. <sighs> oh. No way. <laughs> we made it. First end. The nine door. We're finally here. No doubt about it. This is door nine. 
<laughs> oh, finally! This is the last... Junpei, look behind you. Behind? What? W why? A door... and a nine. There's another one? Hey, w what the hell? What the hell is going on here? There's a red there, too! That means... And of course it won't open. But why? Why the hell are there two doors? Do you think perhaps one is the right door and the other is the wrong one? I don't know about that. It seems unlikely. What makes you say so? Well, think about all the rooms we've been through so far. They're full of puzzles, but there are always hints about how to solve them. I'm pretty sure there... Pretty sure there aren't any rooms that we just had to go with our best guess and leave it to instinct to solve the puzzle. Do you really think... Oh my god. Do you really think that at the end, very end of the game, Zero is going to suddenly throw in something that depends entirely on luck? Then you're saying there's some sort of hint in this room. No, I don't think there's a hint anywhere in here. I searched it very well when I was in here before. I didn't find anything that might have been a hint, though. Hmm. Well then, that means... Yeah, both of these are the right door. I mean, if you think about it, Zero never actually said there was only one door with a nine on it. It is hidden. It's hidden. But an exit, exit can, can be, be found. found. Seek, Seek a way, way out. out. Seek, Seek a, door a door that carries, carries a nine. nine. So if there are two number nine doors, if we split it up, right? That's not gonna work. You've got a notebook and a pen, right? Can I borrow them? Yeah, here. Look at this. You get it? The numbers on the top are all the combinations with digital roots of nine. The numbers on the bottom are the people who don't fit. There's only eight possibilities if we split up into two groups of three or four people. So... If three people go through the door, then four are left behind. If four go through, then three are left behind. Right? Yeah. No way. <laughs> <sighs> hmm. <sighs> Come to think of it. What is this room? It looks like it's set up for some kind of ceremony, but what kind? Is that an altar? A coffin? No, it, it couldn't possibly be. Okay, I give up. I give up. I figured if we sat around here long enough, someone would volunteer. But I guess nobody's got the guts to do it. What are you talking about? What? You guys didn't figure it out yet? <sighs> fine, fine. Let me enlighten you. Clover was mostly right with her little explanation earlier, but she missed something. She wasn't really wrong. She just... Ah, screw it. Let me just write it out. If you're trying to leave with a group of three and a group of four and get everybody out, Clover's right. But there's another way. Only one combination, though. If you split us up into groups of three, three, and one, you can make this combination. Wait, this means... Don't get me wrong here. I'm not trying to copy Ace or anything like that. Even if he hadn't been the hero back in the big hospital room, I'd still be saying the same thing. The same thing? Are you saying... Yeah, I am. I'll stay behind. Uh... Uh... <laughs> uh... uh. Why are you acting so heroic all of a sudden? Are you some kind of idiot? No, I am completely against this. I'll be goddamned if I'm gonna have to owe you for getting out of here. I'm against it too. I didn't want to leave Ace behind, and I don't want to leave you either. I don't like that idea. There's gotta be other options. I disagree as well. I can't say I care much for you being the hero. Well, there you go, Seven. Proposal denied. Clover's right. There's gotta be a better way than this. Hmm. Doesn't make any sense. Whoa, hold on a minute. I haven't said anything yet. Are you... agreeing? You want to leave him here? Nah, I'm against it. I don't want to leave Seven here alone. Then I don't see how it matters. I said alone. Huh? I said I don't want to leave Seven alone. W what the hell are you... What? You don't get it? I can't leave just one person. I need two more. Three people, including Seven. I'll be leaving behind three people. That's my proposal. No. Those are my orders. What do you mean, orders? What the hell makes you think you can order us around? Who the hell's gonna listen to you? You all will. In three seconds, you won't have a choice. What? Three, two, one. Ah! 
Merry See? Christmas. I told you. Huh? What? Why? What the hell is that? The gun's from the other room. What room? One of the rooms behind door six. I should have known he was gonna do this. I should have taken the gun. <laughs> well, it's too late now, fat ass. Damn it. <laughs> now, time for you to start following my orders. Ace, Lotus, congratulations. I've chosen you to come with me. Put your hands in the red. Hey, you deaf? I gave you an order. <sighs> right, fine. I didn't want to waste any bullets, but you guys just don't get it. Ha! Huh. He really shot it? But why? Santa, why are you... Santa? I thought... I thought you were one of us. I thought we were friends. What? You knew about the leaf words and the four-leaf clover. What the hell is that shit? I've got no idea. You're lying! Shut up! Just shut up! You stupid bitch! You want me to put a bullet in your fucking head? Santa... All right, assholes. What are you still standing there for? Get over here and scan those bracelets. I don't have all day. Oh, what's the matter? Your hearing's starting to go? Going senile, maybe? Uh. <sighs> <sighs> That's it. It's the only way. Please, go. Huh? No way. Jumpy, what are you saying? If you stay here, you're going to be stuck, Jumpy. And so will Clover and Seven. I know, but you don't need to worry about us. We'll figure something out. Right, Seven? Uh, right. You just leave it to us. It's gonna piss me off to do what Santa says, but... Don't worry about me, either. There's still something I have to take care of. No, no! You can't! Ace, Lotus, don't come over! Don't worry about me! Please! <laughs> Please. Uh. <sighs> Go. Oh, all right. Fine. All right. Now let's get those hands in the scanner panel. <sighs> <sighs> What's the holdup? What? You think I'm fucking around here? I don't give a shit about this girl. The red doesn't need a person, you know? All I need is the bracelet. You get it? Good. Now put your fucking hands on the scanner. I'm not gonna say it again. Fine. <sighs> Good job. Now, Lotus, pull that lever. As soon as the door opens, you get your ass in there. Try anything stupid, and you know what happens. Right? Damn it. Good. Go. Later. What do you want to do, Junpei? What do you mean, what do I want to do? What can we do? What the hell is that? Shh, quiet! Where is it coming from? Could it be? Uh, hey, I think it's coming from this coffin. You're right. Let's open it. But how? What are those muscles for? For show? You're telling me to force it open? Just shut up and... <sighs> Damn it! <sighs> it won't even budge. Not another one? Yeah, looks like it. Do you think we have to put in the right password or it won't open? I think so. Whoever or whatever's inside this thing wants out. And now. I know that. But how? Without a passcode, I, I don't think there's much we can do. Isn't there a hint somewhere? Well, let's look for one. Ugh, there's nothing here. Not making this easy, are they? <sighs> What's the passcode? What am I supposed to do? 
How can we figure it out? I need something. I could end it here, but I sort of want to keep playing. Unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. Actually, I'm Santa. Hey, I, I didn't get to this area yet. Now it is time. Let our game begin. Reach one ending. This game has multiple endings. Are to experience all the endings. You play through the game multiple times. Blah, 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 blah. blah. So this is like the true end route. So let's do this one now from here. I thought we were finished with that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. How do I do the fast? Oh skip? my god, enough! All we're doing is talking. There you go. Hey, wait. I want to go through door five, too. What? What are you saying, Jumpy? If you're going through that door, then I'm going with you. No. No, you can't. I, I can't take you with me. Why? We're... Well, you know what's in there, don't you? Are you sure you want to see that? Well... Please, let me go into door five. Man, now we're right back where we started, you know that? Junpei's bracelet is number five, right? If we are going to add Junpei, then we must subtract five from the rest of us. Ace, please, take good care of Clover. Oh, all right. That's, that's fine. Don't go away! You need to listen to me, Clover. Go to door four with the others. No! Don't be so selfish. Why? You'll be fine. Just relax. Hmm. Huh. What did he tell her? Okay. I understand. Hmm. Let's make sure we've got this straight. Those going to door five are me, seven, and snake. Seven plus two plus five equals 14. And the digital root of 14, one plus four, is five. And those going to door four are Lotus, Santa, June, Ace, and Clover. Eight plus three plus six plus one plus four is 22. And the digital root of 22 is two plus two, four. We're okay with this. No problems here. Yes. Let's do it. All right, then. The lever's all that's left. Okay. All right, then. Let's go. Okay. Please be careful. We will. And it's open. Oh. That's messed up. That... that was the ninth man. Oh. How can you... Well, do you intend to kill me? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Uh, sorry. Let's go! Uh, damn it! The countdown started! Shit! The door! There's no turning back now, and if we don't manage to find the deactivation device... Hey, where is the dead? How the hell should I know? Stay calm. Look around you. Okay, okay, uh, I get it. Ah, oh, found it. Right here! Uh, <sighs> well, it looks like it stopped. Goddamn thing's gonna give me a heart attack. Jumpy, are you alright? Are you guys 
okay? Yeah, we're fine. The detonators have been deactivated. All right, we're moving on. Be careful, okay? Okay. Sure thing. Oh, we are so unhelpful. And they're gone now. Doesn't look like we can go any further this way. Maybe this wall can be moved or not. <sighs> it's not budging. Hey, there's a door over there. A first class cabin, huh? Well, it seems like it. Let's have a look then, shall we? All right then, let's go. Yeah. Oh. I don't want to look, but oh, it's so horrible. I, I can't even tell what's what. He'd been wearing these. The bracelet's off. Oh, wait. Zero did say. Lastly, Blair discusses how to remove the bracelet. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, more likely, would be zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the convoy of the ship, or the backside of the Mary's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. The bracelet comes off when you're dead. Oh, but what the hell's the point of getting it off when you end up like this? Oh, just imagining how it must have happened. This was a human. Oh, oh God. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Huh, huh. Wait, where did they... Through here? Ooh. Hmm. What's up? Check this out. We found this thing here on the door. The red light's on. Uh, does that mean it's locked? So I would assume. Is there any other way out? We looked around a little. Other than this door, we didn't find anything. So you're telling me that unless we can open this door? Yes. We won't be going anywhere. This looks like a bedroom. Then the other room is probably a living room. Or the closest you can get to one on a ship. All right, let's find a way to open this door. Come on, guys. True, you don't see too many these days. I can't see the details, obviously, but I imagine it's one of those princess beds. Clover is so fond of. Clover wants one of these? Yes. She wants a princess bed? Can I say that? You think it doesn't suit her? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. Huh, Jinpei, judge her by appearances, will you? No, you should not. Mm. What's wrong? You got weird all of a sudden. I heard something strange. Something strange? Ah, oh, well. Never mind. It doesn't seem to be anything suspicious. I don't wish to toot my own horn, but my auditory senses are considerably more advanced than those of most humans. I notice even the slightest of noises. Right. Are you going to tell me you can hear a needle drop from a mile away? <laughs> no. Such a thing would be impossible. However, by listening to the sound of footsteps and breathing, as well as sound echoing off the environment, I can locate most objects. Oh yeah, that's right. When Clover fell on the big staircase a little while ago, you were at her side immediately. So that was... Yes, I could hear it happening. In fact, I can run quite fast. Certainly as fast as you. And should someone attempt to start a fight with me, I am quite confident that I could defeat them. Oh, really? You don't believe me, do you? Care to give it a try? I must warn you. You'll no doubt regret it. Uh... Well... I suppose that's enough playing around. Let's resume our search, okay, shall we? Kicked by a blind guy. Like that, still kind of fancy. Final chair. Let's look. Blah blah blah. Oh, we got a table with a mirror. Ah, oh, yes. You know that sort of thing is known as a vanity. Are you aware of that, Jinpei? Of course. Vanity also refers to self-love, conceit, and narcissism. As such, you could say that every day when a woman looks into one of these, she's staring at her own conceit and narcissism. Doesn't that strike you as terribly sad? Yep, totally empty. This. This isn't a score. It's just a map of the ship. A map? There's a map of the ship here? Yeah. I imagine it would prove very helpful. You guys hold on to it, Jinpei. Okay. 
the match screen. Can you guys see anything else? Wait, can you? Yeah, no, there's something missing with the keys. You mean it's out tune or something? No, no, not that. It's probably tune just. Well, the sounds are clearly purposely different. C key doesn't yield a C, but rather a different note entirely. Then you go to the D keys. They play some other note. Huh? Why do you think it's like that? Can it change the ob? Zero modified in some way. The piano, you see, is part of one of the puzzles Zero has set for us. Press we key to play the keys in the correct order. Something will happen. In other words, we need to play a song on the piano. I believe so. Hmm. Clean, clean. Any water? Nothing coming out. I had the faucet on all the way, but I can't hear anything. Lights, huh? Nope, doesn't look like there's anything hidden there. That just full of water. Is there ash or something in this water? It looks kind of gray. Let's just pull the plug. No, hold on. Maybe you can, I don't know, use it for something? Use it for something. Some sort of antique desk. Makes sense though, I guess this whole room is full of antiques. Could get a nice handful of cash for all this stuff in here. Every piece of paper that's been pulled in half has score printed on the front of it. Score. It's got a musical score. That's true. Where we just found was probably in here. At least at some point. Put lights on the wall here. Uh, this was what I want. Huh, there's something in the back. Let's see if I can reach it. It's a little... God damn, that's hot. You aren't real smart, are you? Come on, of course it's gonna be hot. It's fire. Even Monkey knows shouldn't stick his hand in fire. Fireplace, huh? Don't see one of those too often. A lot of people these days with real fireplaces and real fires? The iron gate in front of the fireplace. Something behind it. Passwords big enough for three people. Perfect for me. What? Perfect for an elegant gentleman like myself. That's looks a lot more elegant. Hey, there's something you aren't seeing. Uh, never mind. Uh, I get it. You're gonna use this base, right? That's pretty clever, Junpei. Just gotta fill this thing with water. The suitcase made a letter. The color of rich mahogany. Well, shoot. Looks like there's something in it. It's okay, there ain't nothing in there. Okay, you just found a You think you could use it for something? Alright, I'm gonna make sure I just put the base up. Toilet. Doesn't seem to be anything in the toilet or the tank. Just some toilet paper on the wall here. Nothing looks suspicious. The safe is locked. So one of those dial locks doesn't have a key. So I can just get the dials in the right place and it'll open. Why anything seven? Oh, how about you, Snake? I also found nothing. Other suitcase. There's nothing inside. It's held by a weight and it makes no sense when shaken. Our base is filled with water. It's heavy. You can't just throw it at the grate though. Gotta pour the water onto the fire itself. Uh, what do I do? Fireplace. Mind your own business. Alright, I'll pass that, so add the class to the room. It's a chair. I've been misclicking? You gotta be kidding me. About time, buddy. Let's do it. Here you go. Hahaha, <laughs> <laughs> good job. Another success. That fire didn't stand a chance. Alright, I'll just pull this out now. Don't want to get burned, so let's pull down the sleeves. Oh. 
Hey, Seven, what the hell was that? Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I just felt a little dizzy, that's all. What the hell is wrong with me? There's memory loss, now I'm getting dizzy for no reason. <sighs> memory loss? Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't tell you, huh? I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. Didn't realize I hadn't told you. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You're talking about amnesia, right? Yeah. And I can... Well, why are you an amnesiac? What happened to you? If I knew that, I wouldn't really be one, would I? Oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I guess that's true. Are you telling the truth? Huh? Well, you look pretty calm for somebody who doesn't remember anything. If you've really got amnesia, shouldn't you be, like, upset or confused or something? Well, sure. I mean, I was pretty confused when I woke up down on D-Deck, but that was a while ago. I've had some time to get used to it. After a while, I figured it wasn't worth the trouble of worrying about it. After all, why worry about something I can't change? Well, people usually don't stay amnesiacs forever. I figure it'll work itself out eventually. But that's... That's it? That's it. Uh, uh, All right, that's enough talking for now. Let's get back to work. How are you fine with something like that? All right, let's go back. All right, why don't we just drain this water? Yeah, good plan. All right, where is that thing? Good tub. Huh? Can I flush it? This music thing seems a good place. Hey, put this music on. Just gotta put the ceramic plate on the bottom and then stack the glass plates on top of it. Alright, good. Now we can play the music. Yippee, would you be so kind to play the piano? I am unable to, you see. I'm trying to even tell you, but these on this piano are not what you might expect them to be. C won't be C, D won't be D, and so forth. Here, please, to her, which keeps strikes. Do you understand? Yeah, alright, let's get this shot. Music sound like Forte. Wait, what was that noise? Jinpei, you did it. Looks like it worked. It took me a while to write exit. Let's go. Good plan. And bow, be seated. Well, I guess he hasn't forgotten that. At least Snake thinks it's funny. <laughs> yes, I suppose that was the classroom bell, wasn't it? I don't imagine that's what Zero was thinking of, however. No, no. Zero was certainly meant to suggest Westminster. Not middle school. Westminster? The palace in London, a place opposed these days to the House of Parliament. You heard of Big Ben, the famous clock tower, yes? Big Ben plays that very reflection of notes on the hour. London, the capital of England, huh? At any rate, the door is now unlocked. I'll we'll leave this place immediately. Uh, okay, but before that, I wanna check here. Safe. It's a safe. Safe, huh? Safe is open. Strange that we didn't need to open this to achieve our goal. Pretty important? I wonder what's in there. Hmm. Be able to open it until we know what the right number is. Let's go to see what else now and move on. Oh, I messed up! Another hallway? Hmm? That should do it. What's he up to? I was just putting one of those plates in there. It ought to keep the door from locking again. Now we can come back here anytime we want, right? Ah, why would you want to come back here? I might like to play a little piano. Piano? Come on, let's get moving. We aren't out of this yet. Well then? Hmm. 
Can't say I could ever imagine Seven playing the piano. He couldn't use the piano in there anyway. The keyboard's a mess. But why would he want to leave the door unlocked then? <sighs> I have no clue. Hey, wait for me! Whoa, a, a metal grate? Why is this thing... Figures. Are those elevators over there? No way to know if they're working or not. Oh, uh, there's a door just to the left of this grate. Sounds like it's locked. Yep. Stairs leading down. They're blocked by the grate, though. Oh, uh, let me check my flow. Okay. But this here seems accessible, so we can open it? Nah, I think it's locked too. What's this mark? The female symbol? Ah, the Venus symbol, I imagine. Do you recall the similar symbols near the large central stairway? They reference many of the solar bodies. Oh, th that's right. The Sun, Saturn, and Earth. So, as you can see, that one is likely not the woman symbol, but a Venus symbol. So I assume. Hmm. Hold on. Where's Seven? Ah, there he is. Down that hallway. This way, Snake. Follow me. Hmm. I wonder if this door will... How about that? It opens. Oh, is this some kind of casino? Sure looks like one. Well, this is troubling. It seems we are once again locked in. Even if that door was open, it's not like we had anywhere to go that way. So we must find another exit then. All right, guys, let's split up and search this room. Come on, no dawdling, let's go. Quickly now. the way out let's do the thing hey Jim is that a card sitting on the table there this feeling seems to be a playing card oh. Oh. Five. it's not on the table anymore hey Jim Pei spawned this on the shelf huh a playing card something on the counter looks like a card a playing card that smells doesn't look like there's anything else back here though. So we look at that. It's almost a lot of booze here. Don't mind if I do. Look, look, look. Ah. Ooh, that hits the spot. Feels like my throat's burning. Dang it, he really drank it. We don't even know how long it's been there. Look at that stained glass. How beautiful. What? Huh? Stained glass is colored pieces of glass is placed together in a frame. As I've said many times before, I need only touch it to know. I can at least discern the basic structure. Square table. Looks like a mahjong table. Do you play mahjong seven? Uh, maybe. I don't remember exactly, but I do remember a couple of hands and some of the rules, so I figured I must have played it at some point. Excellent. Once you've vacated this vessel, I should like to play a game with you. Can you, uh, play? So long as you tell me which tiles I am eliminating, yes, I will have at least enough skill to defeat an amateur. However, I must ask you to remove the red tiles when we play. Oh, you can't feel them. There's one to play. Coin slot. I got diamonds here. Alright, yeah, it looks like the cover's hiding something. It looks up. Probably does. Okay, so seven. I do not have the card for this. Alright, I guess let's go start solving stuff. Oh, something here. Why was this my place? Hmm? Didn't think I'd find a card here. Of Diamond Heart. Wait, those, those, I heard something from the bottom of the fireplace. What was that? I heard something down there. Yay! So, Club 
Diamond Heart, I think that's what it was. No. 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 Oh, whatever. Seems to be the slot machine. Try to reach up there. Okay, that's fine there. What happened? I heard a loud noise. Uh, what to be honest, I don't know. Press on this fax machine once or twice and nothing happened. Oh, looks like the coins got stuck. Oh dear. The real one because the coins are stuck. Alright, let's try this one. Why, little bastards? I don't need one of you. Okay, club, diamond. Club, diamond, heart. Seven, 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 yes, seven, seven, seven. And I think I heard something unlocking there. Present Jinpei. Good to be unlocked now. There's something akin to a drawer in the bottom part of this machine, yes? That is a pickup drawer for dividends. I would unlock for the drawer to unlock. Please open it if you would. The something inside. Uh, let me grab it. Oh my god. What is it? Is there something in there? Yeah, a playing card. And this, a key with Venus symbol on it. Excellent, Jinpei. I'll be able to go open the gate. We just need to figure out how to get out of this room. Correct. Come on, Jinpei, hurry up. He's off. A playing card and a Venus key. But I better put the key in my pocket earlier. I put a card. Alright. Ah, uh, Baccarat. You ever played Jupei? No. Alright then. How about I explain the rules to you a bit? See, Baccarat is kind of an unusual game. You've got the banker and the player. The whole point is that you guess which one's gonna win. And whether the banker or the player wins, it all depends on their hands. The way each hand works is different from other games too. You see, you take the number from the ones place after you add up the value of all your cards. Whoever gets the number closest to nine wins. If your number is smaller than your opponent's, you lose. And that's it. That's the explanation. Well, actually, there's a lot more to it. Strategy, detail, that sort of stuff. But what I just told you sums up the core of the game pretty well. The single digit of the sum of all the cards you have. The strongest hand is a 9, and the weakest hand is a 0. You just ignore the number in the 10 spot. Do you get it? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, maybe half of it. <laughs> Enough. I got a chance at winning the game if I played now. However, we have no way of knowing if the puzzle in the Baccarat table makes use of those rules. And if it does, in what manner? Then I guess we try everything. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Alright, so we do. So am I really supposed to play Baccarat? It's a Baccarat table, what the hell else do we do? Hmm. Uh, stop worrying about it, it's real simple. It's an opponent's hand. Well, there's an 8 in that case. Alright, then that's your opponent's number. That's the case. What three cards do we need to get that number? Three cards. There are a couple of indentations with hands around them, right? That doesn't mean we can put down, we got down three cards. So, I just beat the opponent's 8. That's what I gotta do, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Something tells me those aren't the only rules. Alright, let's give it a shot. Before I start, I better make sure I got the rules straight. Three indentations. Just gotta pick a card and play it. If I put him in the right spot, something ought to happen. Alright, let's give it a shot. So. Two. Four. Three. Alright, everybody just put down the. Yes, open to me. Great, you did it, Jinpei. Think it's telling us to take the eight card? Come on, let's grab it. Let's take this card. Those stuck down. They won't be going anywhere anytime soon. First thought looks like we need to put a playing card in here. Alright, let's give it a shot. And in you go. Alright. Good open up. Seems we have another device to contend with, yes? There are three slots in this one. See, three slots for three cards, and there's a nine right below them. So that probably means you gotta make a nine of three cards to be put in the slots, right? We did over at the Baccarat table. Alright, let's give it a shot. Seven plus six, thirteen. Oh, that's probably the digital root thing. Alright, 
if I put all the cards gathered into the left slot, what happens now? That yes, I did hear something from the exit. Excellent work, Junpei. Wonderful. Who's the exit? It's unlocked. Let's go. Junpei, where are you going? Is the exit unlocked now? Hunter, you're gonna drink that booze on the counter? I'm not gonna let you beat me to it. One, you're way too young to drink liquor. I turned 21 a while ago. <sighs> Just leave my medicine alone, alright? Junpei, you must leave before Seven goes insane. I think it's a little late for that. Alright, let's go. That was fast. Found it. This way. The keyhole with the Venus symbol. The Venus key should work here. It sounds like it did. All right, let's get this thing open. No problem. Let me help with this one. It sounds as though you have opened it. We should be able to reach C deck now, I imagine. Snake, uh, are you going to be all right? I mean, the stairs. Please. Hey, do not, uh, do not uh, do yourself the embarrassment of underestimating me. I would be unlikely to trip even if I were running backwards. Good to hear. Let's move. Everything looks okay here. We should check the next deck down, just in case. Just what I thought. D deck is completely underwater. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. I'm just glad the water level hasn't changed much. Back to the C deck then. Now, how about we check out what's here? There are two elevators over there, which means it's probably the same upstairs. There's a card reader between them, and another weird mark. Hey, uh, check it out. <laughs> it's the symbol for Lotus. What? See? <laughs> it's got the woman symbol, and then it's got the devil horns, right? <laughs> yeah, I see it. No two ways about it. That was a pretty good one, kid. Oh, oh, would you watch it, man? Whoa, that hurts. You're gonna break my neck. What are you talking about? The human body ain't that weak. Maybe this will toughen you up, huh? <laughs> if we were looking for a devil, we've got one right here. This is a Mercury symbol. The marks you mistook for horns are a stylized version of the wings and staff of Hermes. Wings and a staff? So then, she beats you with the staff until you die and go to heaven. Sounds like Lotus, all right. <laughs> Seven. Oh, that's too much. Oh, my head. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Unless we can activate this device, I doubt the elevator will function. In other words, we gotta find a key card with a mercury symbol on it. So I would assume. Let's forget the elevators for right now. How about that hallway to the left? Whoa, there's a bunch of doors. Ah, shit. We're not gonna have enough time to check all these, are we? Maybe we can come back here later. We should check out the other side. Let's head back. To the right this time. Uh, there are doors here, too. Uh, well, I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them up, starting with the closest one there. Okay, I'm on it. Huh, it isn't locked. I'm going to open it. What? <laughs> hey, what... What is this place? It's so huge and empty. Oh, there are beds everywhere. Is this a hospital? The harsh scent in the air is reminiscent of antiseptic solution. I think so. There are shelves in the center of the room with medicine and surgical tools. Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Hey, why is that door between three and seven blank? Does that mean anything? No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Yeah, good idea. <sighs> yep, locked. Just like I thought. Naturally. After all, there are rules to the nonary game. And to allow these doors to open easily would violate those rules. Unless we can authenticate ourselves with the red, the numbered doors will... Whoa, whoa, check this out. Look at the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you remember the red back at the main staircase? If there wasn't anyone in it, it said vacant on the little screen, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But this one... There's nothing. Right? 
Think it's broken? Only one way to find out. No, nothing. How about the red on door seven? And door three? I didn't think all of them would be malfunctioning. What does it mean? They've got to be broken. Man, that bastard. I didn't think Zero was the kind of guy who'd screw around with something like this. Whoa, whoa. Zero's been prepared for everything so far, and you're saying he's going to make a mistake now? Well, that's the only thing I could think of. This thing ain't working at all. Hmm. It seems as if some of the internal hardware has been removed. Internal hardware? That is what I said. Take a look at the underside of this red. If you please. The bottom? Huh. There's a thin slot here. I think it's a slot or something. Uh, probably electronic. The other two reds are the same. Something's been removed from all three of them. I get it. So the reds aren't working because somebody pulled out their guts. So I assume. But why? And who? I, I mean, it really doesn't make sense. I have no idea. Why on earth would I know something like that? Oh, what now? Get June! Together. Ace! Santa! Clover! A and Lotus! I guess everyone's here. What are you guys doing? Why are you... That's my line? Perhaps we should exchange information. And that's what we know. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. What about that big hallway? Maybe there's somewhere in there we might be able to go. No, there's nothing there. The five of us had a quick look. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. You mean all those doors are for hospital rooms? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. It had one of those solar system mark things on it. It was the Jupiter symbol. Jupiter. I wonder what it means. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the Gigantic. Can we skip here? Nope. Oh. The Gigantic? What is this Gigantic? The Gigantic. She was a sister ship to the Titanic. Built Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships, and they looked exactly the same. They intended to make her a passenger line. The British Navy took her at some point during the she ran aground. What happened to her? One theory goes, seemed like he'd been at trauma. Soon enough, it got, which was him, but the gigantic. So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought? Yeah, at least. That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a. Pipe down, just pay attention. What, that's it? What Proof? Proof that this ship is... Well, this ship's got stuff that's like... Oh, for goodness. No, I... Like? Well, I don't know. I guess your memory isn't back yet. Yeah. Sorry about that. I uh, already heard that bit. Hmm. A bell. It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. 10, 11, 12. Huh. It's midnight. Then we've still got six hours left, right? Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room, but we haven't found anything. Right. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well... Uh-huh. Uh, wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Well, you already checked some of them out before you... We each checked a single room, so... All right, then. That's five rooms we don't have to search. <sighs> we just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms... There are 48. Uh... <sighs> All right, so everyone knows which... Yeah. Yes! We'll all meet up when the clock goes... Yeah. Sounds straightforward. I'll shout if I find any... I hope we can find them within the... If we can't, then... Right. Then let's do this. I was like, most of this game, should I be able to skip that? It's one. I better... Huh? There we go.
Oh, what about the first class cap? Okay. Maybe we should. Yes. <sighs> we really need to. So, uh, where do you think? How about the casino? Let's go take a. Hey. Isn't it on? I'm just not. Really? I don't. Oh, I've got a proposal for you two. No, that's all. Let's go, June. Was that okay? You don't. No, uh, I, I've got a pretty good idea what her proposal would have been. We should be looking for Snake. Huh. Well, where should we go next? Let's go back downstairs. Oh, it's eight. Hey, Snake, answer me. Why don't we just leave this area to Ace? I don't mind, but where? Well, uh. Let's go take a look. Okay. Hmm. Let's try somewhere else. Hey, why don't we go? Sure. But... Hey, wait. Santa? I doubt we'd learn any. Jumpy? No, uh, nothing. Let's go have a look. I'll go wherever you... Oh, nobody's here. Let's look somewhere else. But where? Let's go check out the... Okay. Nah, no one's here. Maybe we'll have more luck, but where? How about the casino? Let's go take... Hmm. Let's try somewhere else. Let's go take a look. Nah, no one's here. Maybe we'll have more... But where? Hey, uh, why don't we... We can take... Okay. Oh, nobody... Let's look somewhere... But where? Let's go take a look. Okay. Hmm. Let's try some. Hey. Sure. I don't think any... Hmm. Let's go take... Okay. Hmm. Let's try some... Let's go back. Oh, nobody's here. Let's look... But where? Why don't we go... Okay. I don't think... Hmm. Why don't we go check? All right. Nah, no one's here. Maybe we'll have more. But where? Let's head back. All right. I don't think anyone is here. Wait a minute. Hmm? Two people get left behind if we split into five and two, and one person is left behind if we split into three, three, and one. I got that part. You can't go through the numbered doors with any less than three people. But if we split into four and three, then why do three people have to be left behind? Just run the number. Let's say we go through door seven with one, four, five, six. Who's left over? That would be three, seven, eight. And what's the digital root for that? Three plus seven plus eight is 18, so add one and eight. Nine. Exactly. But door nine isn't here, right? That means three, seven, eight won't be going anywhere. That was just an example of There are a lot of different combinations. It doesn't matter which four it is. The three that are left over can't go through any of the doors. Go ahead and calculate it if you have the time. You'll see. <coughs> anyway, that's how it is. Now, if we can get back to my proposal, we only have to sacrifice one person if we split into three, three, and one. Then, you're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind. Let's go door three. I want to go through door number three. Nope, you can't. What? Huh? Why? Because it's impossible. If we split ourselves into three and three, then we give up on going through door three. Why? The bracelet numbers for the six of us are three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are two combinations that can go through door three with three people. 
three, four, five, or six, seven, eight. That's it. Of course, two teams can't go through the same door. I see. That means one team would get left behind. That's right. If that doesn't happen, if we go through door seven or eight, no, they're fine. We've got three options. Option A, have three, five, and eight go through door seven, and four, six, seven go through door eight. Option B, four, five, and seven go through seven, and three, six, and eight go through eight. Options three, six, and seven go through seven, and four, five, and eight get eight. Those are the only three options. That's it. At least if we want to get all six of us out of here. Wait. But that means five and six can never be on the same team. If we want all six of us to go through a door, then June and I can't go into the same one. Huh. Have you molded over enough, or do you need more time? Anyway, that's the deal. You've got two choices. You can't choose three. If you choose three, you're gonna be leaving three people behind to die. So what are you gonna do? Seven or eight? Time to choose. Uh, screw Sorry, you, Santa. Santa. But I still want to go through door three. What? That's nuts! You've got to be crazy! Why the hell are you so obsessed with that door? I'm just... I'm just curious about door three. That's all. That doesn't explain shit! I've got a reason. I'd be happy to explain it to you if you'll just come with me. I'm curious about the red. Seven, would, would you mind authenticating for me? What? Why? Please, just do it. Happy? Yeah, thanks. The number seven has been entered into the red. Next is June. Uh, please touch the red just like Seven did. Jumpy, what are you trying to figure out? Ah, yep. I, I think I might have found another way out. What? What? Really? Now please, June. Oh, okay. All right. The only people who haven't authenticated now are Santa, Clover, and Lotus. So, what's your point? You don't get it. Uh, think about it. Huh? What's the sum of your number and Clover's? Twelve. And what's the digital root of that? Three. Which is Santa's number. By the way, Lotus, uh, what's the number that's currently in the red? Seven plus six plus five equals 18. It would be nine, right? Yes. And what will the digital root be if you add three to that? Three. The door's number. There you go. Hey, wait a minute. What the hell are you up to? I'm not up to anything. I'm just waiting. Waiting for what? I'm waiting for the balance to shift. Santa or Lotus and Clover. Once one of you moves, the others won't have a choice. So I'm waiting. You son of a bitch! You tricked us! And all that stuff you were going on about is all bullshit! Bullshit? Huh. I don't think so. Didn't I tell you I'd figured out another way to get out of here? This is it. Why the hell would you do something like this? Jumpy. You did this just so you could go through the same door as June. That's it? So, who's it going to be? Santa or Lotus and Clover? Shit! <laughs> Let's go, Clover. <laughs> uh, no, wait! <laughs> this is insane! This isn't right! Yeah, well, you may be right, but... We will find out later, but Santa has to be the go. one to go. <sighs> no! <laughs> you son of a bitch, Junpei! This isn't fair! Do you realize what you just did? You leave them out there, and they can't... Shut it! That's enough! We gotta find the dead or none of this is gonna matter! We got less than a minute left! No time for screwing around! Get moving! Damn it! You and I are not done yet, bastard! Where? Where the hell is it? Over there! It's gotta be behind the door! Damn! It's pitch dark inside! Can't see a thing! No, wait! I found it! The dead's right over here! Ugh. What? The floor's slippery. Hey! What the hell are you doing? There's something... Get over there! Quick! Get to the dead! There it is! <sighs> it... Stopped. It stopped. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get used to doing this. What the... What the hell is this smell? This is vile. I'm gonna puke. Oh, you're right. Oh, this is 
Let's get the lights on first. There's a switch over here. Okay, guys, I'm flipping it on. <gasps> what? Hey. Oh, this is... Looks like an explosion. Just like the ninth man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gun. Oh, God. The, the bone is coming out of his left arm. His left arm. It's definitely an open fracture. The face is the worst. Yeah, you can't even tell who it is. Uh, but the... Is that... Snape? Oh, my God. Why did this happen? No! 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 Stop! Calm down. <sighs> hey! Please! Get me out of here! You have to let me out of here! Why are you doing these horrible things to us? What did we do to deserve this? June. June, calm down. No, get off of me! Let me go! Let me go! <laughs> Please, calm down. <sighs> We're gonna be fine. It's gonna be alright, June. It's going to be okay, Connie. I'll be here with you, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much, Jumpy. Do you feel better? Yes. But I'd like to stay here for a little while, at least. Jumpy's body is so warm. Uh. <sighs> <sighs> we better get to it. Seek a way out. L R L L L R. No, that's impossible. It's not a body. You aren't doing anything after something like that happens to you. Then this is the way the blood's dried. Tells you it's real old. Whoever's blood this is, it ain't snake. Then you're saying this blood was put here a long time ago? Yeah. Pretty keen. Guess it's not locked, but there ain't really any point. All that's out there is a number door. Can't go back through the number door even if we wanted to. Stalls on the other side of this wall. No, I don't want to think about that. <coughs> See if anything happens. Nope, nothing. Not even a drop. It's just pipe closet. There's a piece of paper tied to this pipe of wire. Drainage valve operation. Please do not flush the water in these pipes. Doing so may cause the drain to overflow. Alright, what else do we have? Uh, hurry, check the old three toilets, you know. Nothing unusual there. Looks like a card, like a key card. I wonder if we can get to something. Don't think so. It's too deep. I can't reach. What do you think this is? It looks like tar. It's kind of sticky. I don't think we can just wipe it off. I'll just pour some water on it. It's going to help much either. What about hot water? Hot water. If you had some really hot water, like boiling hot, maybe that would wash it off. Water for a toilet. I've seen a lot of OC guys try and hide a piece in something like this, usually for 187 or something, because they think it's clever. I don't know when they'll figure out everyone else thinks it's clever too. Huh? I mean, I know a piece, but what's OC? Organized crime? What is that? Some kind of police slang? Huh? Uh, probably. Huh? What'd I say? Why does he look so sad now? Not real important right now, guys. Just check it out, alright? Well, he's not wasting any time. Nice. Screwdriver. Oh, it sank. Damn it. We just can't flush it. Kind of hard to flush. I'm talking about water. Clean the toilet? If it was, that would be gross. There might be something tanking, though. Let's open that shit up. Key card. The rabbit hutch. Huh? Oh, 
You just reminded me of it. The rabbit hatching. How did I remind you of something like that? Jumpy and the broom. You're always playing around with the broom in front of the rabbit hutch. I was. Don't you remember? You mean, you don't remember that summer either? Of course I remember. How could I forget something like that? It was terrible. Backstory. They were in the sixth grade. Junpei and Jun had been assigned to take care of the classroom touch, the rabbit. Their chief duty was to clean the clutches every morning. On the final day of school, before summer vacation began, Junpei overslept. He rushed to his school and found Jun standing in front of the rabbit hutches. No sooner had Junpei arrived than Jun began to cry. He had no idea why until he looked behind her into the rabbit hutch. The first thing he saw was blood. The hutch was filled with the dead bodies of the rabbits. Even after their teachers and friends came to see what the commotion was, Jun couldn't stop crying. I just kept crying and crying until you came over. You held my hand and you looked very serious and you said, don't cry. I'm going to catch the person who did this. After you told me that, I finally stopped crying. Well, the real fun started after you quit crying. You told me we were going to catch the killer together. <laughs> June smiled and a little of the flush of life returned to her Then cheeks. we decided that we'd ambush them. Yeah, I remember. The school also kept roosters and guinea pigs. Junpei and June had decided to murder would likely return to finish off the rest of the animals. They would ambush the killer at night. Junpei and June hid behind a hutch at dusk and waited. It was a warm summer night. The quiet sound of crickets whispered through the air. As the sun went down, the stars began to wink at them from the sky. June's iconic Trotsky's face. Oh my god, name reveal. Oh, we already know that though. That night was something Jinpei knew he would never forget as long as he lived. But the murderer never showed up. <laughs> we waited for them all summer vacation and they never showed up. Yeah, but the animals didn't get attacked either. I think all that work amounted to something, you know? He felt the same way, but it was good to hear her say Although, it. you know, if you think about it, we were probably taking on a lot more than we could handle. Hmm. What do you mean? She looked up at him, oh, confused. Come on, we were just kids. If whoever killed the rabbits had actually showed up, they probably would have had a knife or something. I mean, you must have been pretty worried. I, I wasn't worried because you were... because you were there with me. She blushed fiercely. Well, you know, <laughs> no one else wanted to take care of the animals. Clearly embarrassed, she tried desperately to change the subject. I was the only one who asked to do it at first. Yeah, well, boys don't really want to bother with taking care of animals, you know. Well, yeah, but you asked to do it after I did, didn't you? Eh, if it wasn't the rabbits, they were going to make me do something else. You know how that school was. I figured it'd be better if I was working with somebody who wasn't too much of a loudmouth, right? Somebody who wasn't going to tell on me if I felt like blowing it off. Really? That's why you volunteered? Yeah, yeah, it is. He nodded quickly and much too earnestly and then quickly looked away at something very Really? Important. Of course. That hadn't been the reason, of course. He had asked to take care of the rabbit so that he could be near June, but it had been so long ago he couldn't bring himself to tell her how he felt back then. It would be embarrassing. He took a quick breath to clear his head, tossed the broom up, and then snatched it out of the air. Well, uh, we don't really have time to be walking down memory lane like this, you know? We've got to figure out a way out of this room. Otherwise? Yes. I'm gonna look over there. Do not curtly, then turn and walk away. I should get back to it myself. Ah! That's right. The pool of blood. And they turned around and looked at the room, at Snake's body. The chunks of flesh and organs still lay on the floor. Uh, going on and on about old times right next to a corpse? What were we doing? Well, maybe it was because we're in this mess. Despite such a situation, or perhaps because of it, her mind turned to the farthest thing from death that it could find. Still, Junpei couldn't help but feel a twinge of guilt at wanting so desperately to live when Snake lay dead before him. I have to survive, no matter the cost. I need to make sure she gets out too. As he stared at the clumps of black and flesh, all Junpei could think of was how he wanted to live. Alright, flashback over. Oh, something in here. I don't know. Toilet paper. Wait, you don't really think we're supposed to use Mono here, do you? Yeah, it does seem kind of weird to use it here. Maybe I should try it just in case. Oh, what's next? 
L L R L R L. Uh, I guess let's uh, look around. Uh. Oh, did I use it up? Based on kind of the thing, Cypress? Kind of. Paper on a stick, and then write several cent signs so that the whole paper's a thin yarn wrap. You can't tell the original. Oh, so that works more or less. Then to the cypher, you gotta have a stick that's the same diameter as the original one. Same diameter as the original, huh? Yeah, you can just wrap the paper. Stick, and you can read the code. Alright, let's combine it with the stick. Hmm, what if I wrap the broom? Broom wrapped in toilet paper. So you wrap the toilet paper on the broom, huh? That looks like the symbols line up perfectly. It says 634 plus. Alright. Huh? Looks like there's something down there on that gate. Looks like I think it's a card. Yeah, it's a blue card. Can't reach it though. Too deep. Oh. Uh, what was it? L L R L R L. L. Your size. Looks like. L L R L R L. Well, I did what it said on the wall. Whether it actually did anything. Hey, this strange acting out. What the hell did you do? I just went to the valve below. Nothing big. So there's a fight right now. And let's grab that. So key card. How it works. The car coming out of the shower. Let's see if. Shit, that's hot. Really hot. Man, that water must be about boiling. Alright. He used the shower here to fill the bucket with hot water. Hey, son, could you turn on the shower? I'm gonna put the bucket under the head. Oh, okay, sure thing. Alright, let's go to the toilet. Something that looks like a car inside the toilet bowl. If I flush that hot water from the bucket, then that should clean it up. Oh. Oh my god. Dang. Looks like you filled it. Now you should be able to flush it, right? Probably a handle somewhere on the thing. You pull it. You think so? Seriously, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Dude, pull the handle. There it goes. Looks like the toilet should work. 185. So that looks like, this my number, see? 25 equal, what is this? Not me, this looks like a number. So we have 64 plus 185, so that's a 9. 3 plus 8, it's 11, zero to 1. So uh, 1, 9, right, and then 6 plus 1, 7, 8, 8, 1, 9. Where's the red card? He means enter, he means clear, so I have to blah blah blah. Yeah, right now, this. Alright. Zero eight one nine. What? Let me see this again. No, that's the wrong one. Sixty four plus one eight five. So that's nine eleven. Uh, 
Yeah, 819. Oh, am I missing a number? Thermometer. Can you get it off? No, it's screwed onto the wall. Okay. Oh my goodness, my arm. Hey, Junpei, you know why thermometers only go up to 107 degrees Fahrenheit? No, I, I can't say I ever thought about that. At one. At 107 degrees, the cells in the human body start to die, and the organs begin to shut down. Proteins in your cells start to harden. It's like when you hard boil an egg. Even if you cool it down afterwards, it won't go back to being a raw egg. In other words, it's dead. That's why thermometers don't go past 107. Oh yeah? But it's pretty rare for a fever to get that high. Even viruses and stuff don't usually drive the body temperature up to 107. Of course, there are other external things that could. Like what? Well, let's see. Something like getting locked in a sauna or getting thrown into an incinerator and burnt to death. <laughs> yeah, I guess that would get a little hotter than 107 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, I got it. Huh? What's up? Uh, nothing. What was that all about? Thermometer, search it. Come on out. It says open at the bottom of the gauge. That means maybe when it gets hot, something will open. Yeah, if I can get this hot water on the road, then maybe. Alright, tomorrow, let's get this party started. Nope, looks like that's doing the trick. There goes the gate, and now it's at the open mark. Hmm? Huh, it opened. What's this? Looks like there's a piece of paper in here. Okay, what was it now? We had 819 plus 957. Uh, 9 plus 7, 6. So, then. Two seven seventy six seventeen seventy six. Oh, that's the was a what was a Declaration of Independence or something. I should know it. I'm an American. There's a large iron door at the end. Let's take a look. Huh? What are you doing, Seven? Well, I figure maybe we might want to come back here sometime. So, I stuck the broom in there to keep the door from shutting. All right, let's go. Jumpy, look! What's up? What's that on the wall there? Oh, I, I think it's... A map of the ships in... It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor, then. We'll have time to study it later. Let's keep going for now. Ready? I'm gonna open it. What the? You're shitting me. We are back. Clover! Lotus! And Ace! I'm glad you're all okay. Uh, Lotus? What are you... How could you do this to us? Yeah. Knock it off. We got bigger shit to worry about right now. What? Go have a look. Um. I stuck the screwdriver in the door. That door over there, the one without a number. As long as the screwdriver's there, it can't shut. So you can get in there. There's a shower room past there. I stuck a broom at the door there, too. Anyway, go take a look. Th then you're saying we can go in there without passing through the numbered door? Yeah, it's about the size of it. Wait, what the hell is in there? You'll know when you see it. Um... Fine, let's go. My goodness, I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. Can I skip? Nope. I didn't think it would Should I go as well? Yeah. Very well. Oh. 
Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it. Alone. And waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake. But he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but... He probably ran into the shower room looking for... It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he... Unfortunately, the detonator is all snake, and then... Ooh, pretty much right this. That. I see. So that's what you meant by... You need at least three people, though. It wouldn't open for... Yeah, that means we're looking... Well, let's say you're right. When we all... Right after that... And that means not... We were all off. Yeah, that means anybody. W wait a minute. How can you say that? To... You're implying that one of... Well, not just one of us. Why don't you calm down a bit? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? What? Exactly. Any game. Whoever made Zero. Then you're saying that Zero... Yeah, that is why. We have to trust one. Otherwise, we'll... Then does that mean that the per... Yes. If there's anyone, he mastermind... Doesn't it seem reasonable that he... Hmm. Is Zero killed... <laughs> I wasn't sure. Uh... Hmm? Well... And what's that? How can you be so sure that... Really, Junpei? Isn't it all... Wait. This shit. Huh? Zero said. If he weren't here, he wouldn't say this ship, would he? He'd be saying something like, that ship, or the ship. Oh, yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. If Zero's on the ship. I think, I think it's one of us. Can I skip now? Oh, I can. Awesome. That's crazy. That's crazy. Isn't this ship going to... If Zero was here with... Why the hell would he... There's no motive. Ew. <laughs> uh-huh. Clover, right? Clover. But you have to... The more we distrust one another, the further we fall into our true foe's trap. Zero was the one who did those horrible things to your brother. Do you want to let yourself be manipulated by someone who would do such a horrible thing? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a bad ending. I don't it's three in the morning. Then we need to move. Now. Seven. I know how you feel, but you do understand that right now it's important we trust one another, don't you? We must go. We have very little time left. Our next destination is Mercury. Here we go. Uh. Oh, that's the... Yeah, I found it in the shower room. Oh, I see. It's got the Mercury symbol. Now we can... Looks like there's only two floor buttons working. C and bottom. Time to head down then. I want to check my flow chart. This is a numbered door. Save as well while I'm at it. Yeah, it's door two. So who should go through the door this time? We don't need to be discussing who we're leaving behind this time, right? Right. It's set up so we'll be able to meet up again once we get through the numbered doors. Then there's no need for arguments at this point. Hmm. We should figure out who's going in first. Very well. Would anyone like to volunteer? I'll do it. I'll go too. Then I suppose I need to go too, then. All right. We're taking off. Okay, please be careful. Jesus. You two are acting like you're married, you know that? Oh. Uh... <laughs> Don't be silly. Cut it out. All right, let's go. Yeah. Let's do this. Where the hell is it this time? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It's right there.
<sighs> it stopped. <sighs> yeah, it stopped. <sighs> Man, I'll never get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. <laughs> All right. This hallway's pretty short, but it's got five doors. Three on the left, and only one on the right. Don't forget the last one at the end of the hall. Uh, but it's got a metal plate over it, so I doubt we're going to get anywhere that way. All right, let's get started. I think we'd probably better split up. Would you okay with that? Yes, no problem. Sure thing. Then I'll take this first one. I'll try the one next to it. Well, I guess I'd better get started too. Let's take a way out. What the hell is this supposed to be? Like a drawing of a whirlpool or something? Well, if I had to guess, I'd say it's trying to look like water. Oh, looks like the water doesn't work. Doesn't matter how much someone touches the thing, no water coming out. Has the water been shut off from somewhere else? There's a dirty blanket on the bed. Man, this is a mess. It's not even a bed anymore. Can't say I want to sleep there. Symbol on the toilet, lid, huh? Seems a little fishy to me. Sun symbol, but doesn't look like the ones on the doors. Toilet paper too, huh? Seriously, don't want to use this for anything. Hey, this candle's pretty loose. Loose? You think it will come off if you pull it on it? Fell off. Huh, look at that. Metal didn't really fit on the string. Maybe it wasn't meant to be attached to it. Hmm. Take the handle off, the string's just hanging there. Alright. Huh, what the hell? It's not opening. There's something that looks like this drawer. I don't trust it. Spare screw is screwed into it, right on top of the drawer. It doesn't matter how old it is, we don't have to tough time to just try to break it open. Probably gonna be a pain, but I think we need to figure out a way to get those screws off. Alright, uh, welcome to a different room. Somebody made some wavy blue lines on this mirror with blue paint. Is this a drawing of a blue scarf? No, maybe wait, not. There's no knob on this faucet. There's no way you can get the water out like this. Find a knob or something that will work on this one. Then we should be able to get some water to come out of this thing. Towel. The bed looks even sadder without the pillow. So it's still a terrible bed. I never sleep on a bed like that. That looks old. Pretty sure you freeze to death in the winter. No kidding. If I try to sleep here, my skin would dry out in no time. Well, it's not like you're that young anymore. It shouldn't really matter. I'm not I, Junpei. Aren't you lucky? Seems you'll die before you have a chance to grow old and hideous. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're right. Dry skin is the women's worst enemy. You ever seem to be pretty old. Ew. How could you... T how the hell can you touch that? It's, it's horrible. It's not like I've really got a choice. Do I? It's not like I want to. Hanging from the wall. Well, we're pulling the string, then there must be a toilet that flushes. String, if you pull it, you flush the toilet. That is disgusting. You don't expect me to touch that thing, do you? If you want to, then I'll do it, alright? Moon? What a filthy, disgusting moon. Yeah, it's pretty filthy, but it's a pressure scent. It's remembered, alright? There's nothing in the drawer. Yeah, something's not right though. The handle on the drawer doesn't really fit, you know, it just looks messy. Why don't you take it out? Oh. Well, I want to talk. I could find a place that'd be sweet. Okay, I still need to look for the thing. Sink, but there's no light shining on it. Hard to be sure because it's so dark here, but I don't think there's anything going on in this thing. Plus, it's too hard to turn. Mirror seems really high. In fact, so high, it's kind of hard to see your reflection in it. It's very nice to see by. I feel like I want to see a ghost here or something. Like it. Not a really great one, but still. Should be able to see a mirror for the light coming through the ceiling. 
Sure, be nice when mirrors will lower down. It looks like the same height as the mirror on the right. I wonder if that means anything. 14 equals E. Baby paper is still white enough for me to know what it is, even in the dark. There's nothing out of the ordinary about it. I can barely make out the screen for the toilet if I can get a hold of it. Damn it. I can tell I can't I can see, but I can't touch it. What is this? 14 equals E? Probably means the 14 somewhere represents E, but I don't know what the 14 means. So was it A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, 14 equals E, so it's a hexadecimal. Epic. Ah, damn it, no matter how hard I pull on this thing. It won't budge. Guess I won't be opening in time. This one looks like it's got a keyhole. There doesn't seem to be anything stopping it. How am I supposed to open it? Emergence. A bunch of tiles on the door to spell out emergence. Emergence. Maybe it means we need to emerge out of here. Do we need to do something with the tiles to open it? Huh. Swing at the bottom of the river. Yeah, I guess I can see that. Are we talking about the tile you saw it? Yeah, I guess it does look like a little thing that's on the mirror. The spring on the tile has got to be indicating the picture of the mirror and this mirror is in the sink, right? But the picture it looks like a spring of water and the sink is all dried out. Alright, can I take this off? I'm coming on top, you need to turn the knob. But where is the screwdriver? <laughs> Sun symbol. The rest, in fact, doesn't even look like part of this thing. It's probably able to say, maybe I give it a couple turns. Here we go. There is my screwdriver. There are screws holding the drawer in place. Sweet, got the screws off. Now we can open the drawer. There's nothing in here. Well, maybe this drawer is what we need. Drawer, huh? Alright, let's yank that thing out. That's drawer. Sweet, the handle I got off. This drawer fits onto the faucet perfectly. Now I can turn the water on. Jimmy, what are you doing? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? I'm running the water. I can see that. I'm asking why you're just letting it run like that. Think about it, Lotus. The faucet didn't have a knob when we found it, right? What do you mean? Just watch. Any time now. Hey, the water's rolling up. Doesn't that just mean the pipes are clogged? Whoops, let's turn it off for now. So did anything change? Water stopped flowing. Thank you, Mr. Obvious. Uh, simply, I'm leaving this one to you, alright? Looks like the turn sinks filling up water. Um, oh. Running over the sink, alright. Uh, what the? Hey, what's going on? Are you okay, man? Uh, You're sweating like crazy. Are you alright? Uh, 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 yeah, I'm fine. Just got a little dizzy, that's all. That's definitely more than just a little dizzy. Are you sure? You don't look so good. <clears throat> what am... What am I doing here? Huh? What are you talking about? We opened the number two door and walked in here. Don't tell me you forgot. No, no, that's... It ain't much, but I think some of my memories came back. I, uh, I, I think I've been here before. 
Uh, huh? I said I've been in this room before. You were here? When? Why? Aoi. Light. Nona. What the hell was that? It's... It's right there. I feel like I'm this close to remembering everything, but I just can't. That's right, an experiment. There was some kind of experiment going on on this ship. An experiment? What? What, what sort of experiment? They were... They were trying to control people. Or... Or something like that. What, what the hell are you talking about? Aoi, Light, and Nona. Those were their names. Well, some of them. The kids that were in the experiment, I mean. I think there were four or five more. But I don't remember all their names. <sighs> yeah, that's right. That's why I'm here. Huh. Experiment. Cradle pharmaceuticals. Those kidnapped kids. Was I working that case? Huh? Wait, under this bed. The home's gone? No, maybe it was a different room. There's got to be a ton of rooms on this boat that look just like this one. Hey, uh, what exactly do you remember? Maybe you could stop talking like a crazy person and tell me what's going on here. Well, it's not like I really remember everything. I've only got bits and pieces, and they're scattered and don't make much sense. I don't care. Tell me the bits and pieces, then. Okay. From what I can remember, I think I was a cop. A cop? Yeah. I was looking for that group of kids that got kidnapped nine years ago. You remember that, right? It was all over the news. Yeah, uh, I was still in school. I don't remember all the details, but I do remember some of it. I think it was a bunch of kids right around my age. They all just disappeared. Nobody knew why. It was all over TV and the newspapers every day. So you're saying you were investigating it? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I guess I found something. There was this medical company called Cradle Pharmaceuticals that had something to do with those kids. After I figured that out, I managed to get some information out of somebody who worked for them. I think it was... Tonight, a ship, a ship is set, set to take the, the children, children to a large, large passenger, passenger liner docked, docked offshore. offshore. Yeah, that had been it. That's why I went to the wharf. From the shadows, I searched the harbor until I found the ship he was talking about. There was a bunch of movement near it. Men in black suits, many of them, were carrying large bags. The bags... There was something about the way they moved as they were carried, no doubt about it. There were human beings in those bags. I moved before I realized it. I came out of hiding with my gun already in my hand. Don't move. I felt metal touch the back of my head. Drop the gun. I kept digging the cold metal thing into my skull. <sighs> there was nothing I could do. I did what he said and laid my gun on the ground. Then suddenly, there was a sharp pain in my neck. A needle. A drug? That was my last thought. My face hit cold concrete. I was out like a light after that. <sighs> I woke up on a hard floor. Damn it. Shit, my head hurts. Where am I? A small, shabby bed, a dirty sink, a toilet with no privacy. I'd seen it countless times as a cop. I'm in a cell, huh? Facing the toilet was a door set into the wall. I was still pretty woozy, but I made my way over to it. I pushed and pulled on it, but... <clears throat> it won't open. <laughs> Not like I expected much else. Would be dumb enough to put me in a cell and leave it unlocked. Threw myself against the door a few times, but it wouldn't budge. I knew it. I gave up and made my way back to the bed and sat down. I sat there for a very, very long time. <laughs> Who knows how long. Then, I heard a faint voice. The voice was far away. I couldn't understand what it was saying, but I could hear one. It was pretty high. Probably a little kid. Huh? No, it was several. Hmm. I hear five. Or six, maybe more. Where? Where are they coming from? I pressed my ear to the wall and tried to listen through it. No, that's not it. Left. It's coming from under the bed? I hauled on the metal frame and flipped the thing over. There it was. The bed had hidden an air vent under it. The hole in the wall was covered by a metal grate. I dropped flat on the floor and peered through the grate. I couldn't see shit, but I knew it in my gut. This was where those voices were coming from. Hold up. Why are there kids here? But then what my inside man told me popped into my head. Tonight, a ship is set to take the children to a large passenger liner docked offshore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I on that ship? <sighs> didn't matter. 
All I knew was I had to get to those kids. I checked out the metal grate. <laughs> Could I fit? I stuck my fingers in and grabbed it. And then... <sighs> yeah! How do you like that, you son of a bitch? I finally got the damn thing off. Sweat was dripping down my face. So I wiped it off and crawled inside. Hey, what happened after that? I don't... I don't remember what happens after that. I think I found some kind of door out of the duct. And I think I found some kids, too. <sighs> Not good. Why can't I remember what happened next? Oh, man, what happened to the kids, Seven? Did you save them? I don't know. I don't know if it was me. I just... I've got this feeling. I think one of the kids died. A girl, I think. Huh? Oh, we heard that from Clover as well. <sighs> anyway, just please don't ask me anymore, okay? I really don't remember anything else. It's fine. Don't push yourself. Going by what he said, the children who had been kidnapped nine years before, apparently a company called Cradle Pharmaceuticals had been behind it all. They'd taken the children to the same ship we're on now. They'd been brought here for an experiment. Seven said it had something to do with controlling human beings. The 16 children who had been kidnapped were the subjects. Seven had said three of their names were Aoi, Light, and Nona. I think that's all I got. Oh, and, and Seven is, or was at some point, a cop. I can't really use any of this information anyway. I didn't learn anything about the Nonary game or Zero. Why were we brought to the same ship where they'd done those experiments nine years ago? And just what the heck is this about controlling human beings? That's nuts. Did they really conduct an experiment like that? I don't have time to just stand here thinking. I need to get moving. Alright, so now what? What was that? I heard it too. Let's open the door. Awesome. I think it's probably filled with water. But the sink filling with water. Alright. Open under this is a part of a puzzle. Name of the same height as the one on the right. River and spring went together to solve the puzzle. Does that mean the there might be a similar puzzle in the mirror? Well, there's nothing else apart from the mirror. Maybe we just need to pair something with this mirror. I also found that tiles here are the same size. The tiles on the door, I felt something weird. Huh? Well, I can move these tiles. And that means maybe you swap the tiles you got with the tiles on the wall and see what happens. I suppose now we just need to figure out what the strange designs of these tiles mean. Hmm. At any rate, we should look for all the tiles that are the same size. You're right. Let's be back here after we've done this thorough search. 
Hmm, I haven't been checked yet. Alright. There it goes. I thought of that and tried a couple things. Yeah, same result. Guess I haven't really been able to do anything. Oh well. the sun mean Sun, moon, 14E. I am stuck again. Yes, now I can pull on it. Huh? But how many times pull it? This one flush. I kind of feel like an idiot. I want to flush time because I was determined to flush the toilet. I one flash when you pull on the string. Oh yeah, we can probably use this mirror to reflect the light. Now I just gotta figure out where to reflect the light. Maybe I like, go somewhere that's a little easier to shine on. Shine this light on the mirror in the back. I get it. Shine a light on the mirror symbol to appear. The left side of the sun and the right side of the moon. But I'm gonna remember this. The left sun, right moon. I don't know, we're four seven. Oh, four times seven. All right, let's go do that. Here is the string, chance are they read the puzzle so someone would trade life it. One, second pole, third pole, fourth one. Did you just hear something? I did, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, I wonder what the sound was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's that sound again. I have to remember I pulled the string a couple of times. Junpei, did you hear something from the other room? Or you mean the dark room? This is old and rusty. Awesome. Is it easily enough? Okay. Well, it looks like we've investigated all the rooms. The only mystery left is that door. All right, let's scratch that mystery then. Got four tiles, and there are a bunch of tiles that are the same size about a wall here. So we place four of the tiles on the wall with the ones we got that should open the door. Well, there's only one way to find out. Oh, 14. They all say 14 on them. Hey, did you just hear something lock? Tell me you got it right. That's what like we did. 14 hidden on the tile, if you convert that to hexadecimal, it's neat. Basically, the E's and emergence are the 14th in the tiles. If you replace it, that gives us the answer. Do you really care why it works? Just get out of here. Yes, let's go. Found it. Oh, what 
the hell is this place? Ugh, this room is really creepy. I think we ought to get the hell out of here now. Figures. It's locked, isn't it? Yep. Don't know why I thought this would be any different. So, what is this room for, anyway? Um... Well, there's a chair in the center of the room. Oh, looks uncomfortable, to say the least. I'd rather not sit in it if I can avoid it. Looks like it's placed over some kind of glass panel. Too dark to look through it, though. This isn't dried blood on the tablecloth, is it? Oh, what the hell is this? What are these tools for? Mm, that's not something I even want to think about. No doubt about it. This room's dangerous. Let's make our search quick so we can solve the puzzle and get the hell out of here. Come on. Really creepy chair. The, mon the monocles make me think it was used to torture people. I can't open these monocles without the key. Hmm, some sort of weird symbol on them. Any symbol? Well, I got this right. It's, I think it's some symbol. Something on the screen. Twice the subjective experiment. Once the experiment has completed, throw in the lock. First, it's just the switches to match the blocks in the sample above. Huh, I don't know what this thing is, but we gotta figure out this puzzle. Right next to the torture chair. Whatever it is, I don't think it's good. Anyway, you can just adjust the switches to match the blocks up on top, right? You adjust the switches shown at the four corners of the screen, then press the check button. Junpei, you don't know what this thing does. You can always come back to it later. There are a lot of other things you do. Maybe turn on one, which is more blocks for one screen. I figure out which buttons you have to press in order to get this screen to match the diagram. It was hard to figure out what the button does what. If you want to see how many blocks each switch adds, just turn on one switch. Off, there aren't any blocks, right? Then you can see how many each switch adds. Oh yeah, I get it. Wait, but where's the diagram? Red, yellow, you think the colors mean something? No idea. I mean, red looks more dangerous, but other than that, all of this one looks covered with rust. I don't think it moved at all. Here's the A to F on them. Let's switch some of them. There we go. So let's press again. Back to come. Press D to switch. Okay. A to zero. There's a way to explain those. Right, you're a little blurry from the dust, that's about it. So this is another version where I'm creating all the darn tough in this experiment. Well, let's do that then. That is a hole here, but I guess it's got a cover over it. I'm gonna be able to get that off. Bolted on there pretty good. Maybe there's something around here we can use to get that thing off of there. Can you see anything? Maybe, you can't see anything. I don't know if you need to bother trying to open it. It's too dark to see anything, huh? Okay, I see something shining there. Ceiling, is there puzzle there? At least, I hope not. I can't even reach them. Yeah, now we're on some tools and instruments here. Let's see, you got an adze and a hammer, a pair of forceps, and these other things are too old and broken. I have no idea what they are. Yeah, doesn't Trent look too new to be here with all this other stuff? Yes, it does. I didn't know so before you mentioned it, but it's not rusty at all. Alright, let's first tool. Hold 
that was pretty good. Try it. We'll just got low. Hey, it's open. The hole's too small. You can't see in it. You can look at the rock. Well, you can't see in, but I think there's enough room to stick your arm in. Are you sure you want to do that? There could be something dangerous in there. Okay, I'm it. Excuse me a little bit. Do we need to see if there's anything useful in there? Alright, here we go. Arm into the hole. Hey, I think I can feel something. Small, cold, and hard. I doesn't feel like there's anything else in there. Alright, let's see what this thing is. Sun key. Should we do a key on that? I don't know. Alright, sun key in you go. And yes. Great, they're open. I don't think we're gonna need a sunkey again to get up. That seems unlikely. Alright, sunkey, you've done your job. Into my pocket with you. Put it open. What are you gonna do now? Just look around some more. I've got a feeling something will happen. Right. Should try and figure out what the device over the floor is. Right. Alright. So what's my hint? Oh. Since completed, now proceeding to execution phase. Complete the experiment, data to be collected from subject. Once preparation is finished, place subject in the chair. Whoa, whoa, I thought we saw the probe already. What does it mean by preparation? I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. I think this means one of us has got us in the chair. Well, Cyrus never gonna fit in that thing. Either you or me, Jinpei. Collect some data. I wonder if it's going to be to run electricity to the subject. The human head on the screen. Maybe it's gonna zap the brain with a little electricity. This really doesn't feel sound safe. I mean, we still gotta prepare. We can talk about this after we figured out what it means by preparation, alright? Well, it wants us to prepare, so maybe we ought to ask it what we need to do. Here, this little tank is low. Please fill the tank with water. What tank? Oh man, don't tell me we gotta do something with a water tank. There's probably something around here to open the tank or whatever. It's asking us to do. It looks like the only controls are in this room. Oh, of course they would. All they can do is turn something on or off. What's important is what they turn on or off. I'd say the floor is turned some open. Might as well try. Let's give it a shot. Nope, no dice. This thing isn't going anywhere. Oh, give me that. You're just ain't man enough. Sure, pal. You get a shot. See how much more of a man you are. <clears throat> hey, you didn't break it. Man, that thing ain't going anywhere. D, C, D, E, F. Oil or something down there at the base of the lever. Yeah, I feel like it's got some movement to it. Should be able to pull this one. All right, let's pull the lever. Is that water? What the hell? What's going on? We calm down. It's just water going somewhere. Thanks underneath us. That means people are. Oh, can okay, look? What's she? Oh damn! I can see through the glass now. E D V F. There are a couple of letters in the color of blood written in shark belly. It's dead. Looks like the letter EDB, yeah, that. Or at least should be somewhere. Okay. What? There's a strange noise coming from the chair. Looks like it's been turned on. I guess the puzzle here was that the power had to be sent in a specific way. Restraining device in lock. Please see subject well, device. Well, like we thought, it's not going to work unless someone sits in it. How ironic that this would be the situation in which this slim, beautiful body is useful. Lotus, are you sure? I can sit in it and you can solve. Junpei's right. If we screw it up. Uh. I'll be fine. Even if I fall in, the shark is already dead. But... No one likes an indecisive man, Junpei. I can still give you advice from the chair too, you know. I just don't want to stay in this room any longer than we have to. Go over to that screen and let's get this over with. Uh, uh, look, do you think you could do me one last favor? Uh, don't say last. You're making me nervous. Just, if something happens to me, I want you to tell my daughters. Tell them that I loved them very much. No, tell them that I will always love them. Daughters? You, you got kids? Yes, I do. I suppose they're about your age, Junpei. They're twins. I had them when I was young after well, some things happened. Their names are Nona and... Wait, Nona? Aoi, Light, and Nona, those, those were their were names. names. Well, well, some of them. them. The kids that the kids were that in the experiment. experiment. But what the hell? What's wrong with you? Oh, no way. It, it couldn't. Lotus, is your last name Kashiwabara? How do you know that? You 
you serious? What the hell is this? There's no way you're that kid's mom. That kid? Wait, what do you mean that kid? Why are you acting like you've met her? I have. What? Yeah, I, I met one of your kids. When? Nine years ago. Where? On this ship. Why were you... It's not a short story. Look, I don't care how long it is. Tell me, please, what happened here? Fine, I'll tell you. I'm... but... And then, that was when. From there, it looked like... Just as if, finally... <sighs> That's all I remember from nine years ago. Oh my god, everything I've been looking for. For the last nine years, the person who had all the answers was right here. Looking for? Yes, that's right. Nine years ago, my daughters disappeared. Then nine days later, they came back. You never told me what happened to them over those nine days. I took them to the doctor, but I was told they hadn't been hurt in any way. Still, I was sure that they had been through something terrible. So I couldn't bring myself to force them to talk about it. If I did, then I'd force them to relive whatever horrors they'd been through. I didn't have any choice. I had to try and ignore it and move on. Oh. Hmm. A few months passed. Gradually, they started to act like they always had before they disappeared. They smiled and made jokes and did all the silly things kids do. It got harder and harder for me to ask them about what happened. How could I ask them to remember that? Eventually, I knew there was no way I could do it. Hmm. Huh. But I'm still a mother. I couldn't simply forget that something terrible had happened to my children. So I decided I would investigate what happened on my own. I would find out what happened during those nine missing days. What did you find out? Nothing. The police pretended to be concerned, but they didn't do anything. Once the 16 children who'd gone missing came back, things were just... Even the media didn't talk about what had happened. I figured someone was probably paying or threatening them to keep their mouths shut. Cradle pharmaceuticals. No, probably something even bigger than that. Cradle pharmaceuticals. Have you heard of them before? No. It's the first time I've ever heard that name. Seven, how did you find out that Cradle Pharmaceuticals was connected to the kidnappings in the first place? I figured finding out whatever the victims had in common would lead me to the culprit. That's what any good cop does. What did they have in common? Every single one of the kids who disappeared had gone to this one hospital at some point. The hospital was one of a bunch that were under the control of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. After that, it was just about connecting the dots. The hospital. The hospital. And for a while, I was trying to get some kind of information out of the kids at the hospital. One of them told a weird story. What was it? Have you heard about the Gansfeld experiment? I guess all these kids had to go through it while they were at the hospital. I think it was passed off as some sort of counsel. What did you call it again? Oh, the Gansfeld experiment. And this is how it's set up. First, subjects Q and A are put into separate rooms, far away from one another. Then a series of video images are shown to subject Q who is told to send the images to Subject A by thinking of them. Subject A, on the other hand, is put in a large reclining chair and given a blindfold. With their senses cut off, A is asked to guess what images Q is looking at. Oh, yes, I've heard of that. It's a famous telepathy experiment, isn't it? Hmm, telepathy. That's how the experiment on this ship was supposed to work. The experiment to control people, right? Yeah, I don't know if any of the telepathy stuff real, but maybe someone from Cradle Pharmaceuticals bought into it. <laughs> Even if that is the case, I still don't get how that has anything to do with any of this. The notary game, Zero, why we were kidnapped. What does any of that have to do with telepathy? I know I brought all this up, but I have no idea. Maybe none of this stuff is connected after all. <sighs> no subject has been detected. Unless a subject is detected within 60 seconds, all power will be shut down. System recovery is estimated to take one hour. If you wish to proceed with the experiment, please see the subject in the restraining device. Whoa, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Uh, oh, no, that's not what we... Just hurry up and get it over with. Junpei, I'm counting on you. R right. Lotus, please, tell me right away if you feel anything weird. You worry too much. Now get on with it and be a man, or June's gonna leave you. Lotus, okay, let's do this.
here. Put me here. Right click one here. Three here. There's two here. There's one here. There's two here. there all right gonna write this down This is when if one occurs. Two. So one up there, four there, put one here, should put like five more here. here okay so one adds two subtracts that's not the one I want okay
Okay, finally got it. That was hard. I, uh, experiment has concluded. Door now unlocked. You can hear the door unlocking. And now we found a new message. Subject from the restraining device. Who is that? Are you alright? Yes, I am. I had nothing bad happen, but I do think my life just felt a little shorter. Hold on, I'll get you out right away. Shouldn't take long for a seven and me to get her out of here. Let's get out of here now. Being a guinea pig is not for me. Damn straight, I don't ever want to see this thing again. Oh, found a way out. The hallway goes to the left. Yeah, but I don't see any doors. Yes, we just need to keep going. Right, let's go. An elevator. Just what we need. Let's take this to C deck. Huh? No one's here. Where did they go? I have no idea. Hmm. Hey, Junpei! We should follow him. I know where we need to go. The door behind the central staircase. There was a sun symbol on the keyhole of that door. And I happen to have the sun key in my pocket right now. This should open that door. <sighs> All right, time to open this. Hold on a sec there. Huh? We don't have the key for this one yet. That's... Oh, it's the Jupiter symbol. Then we can't open this door. Unfortunately, no, we can't. Jeez, the sun door's got to be just on the other side of this, you know? We can't just stop... Hey, it, it opened. What? Yeah, the others must have found the Jupiter key. Well, what are we waiting for? <sighs> oh my god. Why? <sighs> what the hell? What the hell happened? Clover. Nothing. She's dead. Uh, hey, what are you doing? The key. Get me the sun key. Why? Why do you think we have to get out of here before the murderer comes back? The, the murderer? Santa, Clover, and Ace. Three people, three dead bodies. That means that the person who had killed them... Huh. No. No, it can't be true. Give it to me! Let's go! <sighs> Open! Why? What happened? Oh, nothing. Nothing happened. I didn't feel it unlock. Oh, no. Is it the wrong key? I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> it's open. What the hell is this? Wait, you mean the door was already unlocked? Why? How would I know that? <sighs> Whatever, let's just go. Uh. <sighs> What the hell is this door? I can't see anything that looks like a doorknob or switch or lever or card reader or, or anything. How the fuck are we supposed to open this? We don't have a choice. We're gonna have to go back. No, no, I'm not going back there. There is a murderer back there. But I don't see any other doors. No way. It opened by itself. It's an automatic door? Look, guys, I've got a really bad feeling about all this. The other doors were already unlocked, and this one's automatic. We haven't seen anything like this before. Bad feeling. <laughs> We've hit bottom. This can't get any worse. Shit! Hey, Junpei! I can't take this anymore. No one can. <laughs> No. It's a lie. It, it, it's gotta be. This can't be real. No, no. It, it's impossible. If it's a dream, just wake up already. Someone please tell me it's all just a joke. I, I, I'm imagining things. Yep, that's it. This is all obviously a lie. It's a big... It's a laboratory. An illusion or something. Or a gene that's made up. Ah! Connie! Oh my god. Connie! Connie, hang on. Uh. Connie. Jumpy? Oh, man. C 
Connie, there's so much blood. What the hell happened to you? How did this happen? Jopi, I'm sorry. I, uh, I might not make it. No, no way. No way I am going to let you die. I am going to save you. I promise. Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much oh, for everything. I was really happy to see you again, Jumpy. Really happy. Oh, don't give me that I was crap. You're going to see me again lots more times. You, you just got to hang on. All right, Connie? Uh, you, 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 oh, what can I do? Damn it! What's that? A submarine? What on earth is a submarine doing here? Th that's it! Hang on, all right? There's a submarine over there. I I I'm gonna go see if it works. No! Don't go! Please, don't go! Please, just stay with me, okay? I want to be close to you, Jumpy. When, when I... Connie... Jumpy, did you know you meant a lot to me when we were kids? I liked you for a long time, Junpei. A really long time. <laughs> Jumpy, do you remember how we hung out a lot when we were kids? We went to the pool and to the fair. Do you remember playing snowball at the school they're all memories i'll never forget all of those moments are treasures to me but i also wanted to go to a lot of other places with you a lot more but that won't happen now no i mean yes yes it will happen we'll go all sorts of places connie you hear me? I promise. We'll go wherever you want. Really? Yeah, really. I swear. That makes me happy. Really happy, Jumpy. I feel s s sleepy. No, Connie, don't fall asleep. Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much. Connie? Connie! Time passed. Junpei wept, curled around Connie's body. He cried and cried until he had no tears left. When the last tear fell, Junpei was no more. His body remained, but only as an empty shell. Somewhere he heard a bell ring. It was a clock at the central staircase. Three, four, five, five o'clock. Rang five times and faded. Five o'clock. Quietly, gently, softly, she set Connie down on the floor. Then slowly, Junpei stood. Only then did he realize that Seven Lotus had not followed him. Where had he gone? Slowly, he looked around the room. There was nothing. No sign that they had ever been there. Shotless, though, every part of Junpei's body was made of lead. Slowly, he made his way to the door he'd come to. As he approached it, it opened sliding apart with a sound like grinding stone. They passed through the gate and into the hallway. His heart rattled in his chest like an empty, lifeless thing. It had been so utterly broken that there was nothing left to feel. When he saw their bodies, he simply stared. It was a lake, a sea of blood, two bodies lay in it. There was no need to check. There was no breath left in them. His eyes lit on Lotus Swift. The bracelet. It was gone. He was scared. It meant nothing to him. He didn't care anymore. He couldn't care anymore. Junpei's body felt numb. Part of him knew that the lump of blood in his chest had once been a heart. He couldn't quite remember what it had been for. Tears poured from his eyes in great streams. He wasn't sure why. He gave up trying to make them flat. Turned around, the door opened again slowly, numbly. He walked through. He kept walking. Why stop? Not just set in motion, simply inertia carried him forward. Eventually he found himself in front of the submarine. 
the diamonds, reach for the hat. And then he was floating in the water. His eyes stared down into it, he couldn't see the bottom. His back was hot. Dimly, he felt the blade of a knife in it. Ooh. One dead body lay behind door number five. The body of the knife man. Another lay in the shower room, the body of Snake. At the central staircase were three more, Ace, Santa, and Clover. Just outside the door were two corpses, those of Snow and Lotus. And in this very room lay the body that had once been Tommy. And now Jinpei was joining them. Who then had killed them all? Who? Jinpei let out one last breath. Faintly, he felt the bubbles creep up the side of his face. His consciousness faded quickly, dissolving away into the cold, gentle lapping of the underwater. That's an awesome way to end the stream. Die. Everyone dies. Oh god, this is not the worst bad ending. Oh wow, Miyuki Sawashiro is in this. Uh, so is Rie Tanaka. Amy Okada, that's someone I recognize. But yeah, so we know Lotus's thing is gone, so it has to be seven. And then. Remain. It has. We can't have two because Snake is trapped. Oh, eight. So it could be A's, you know, A plus one plus. And then you can. Talk about Wendy Lee. Bosco, Valerie Aram, Frank Bo Dewin, second, Asuka Yamataki. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. I'll try to complete the rest of it some other time. Shouldn't take, should be sometime soon. It was fun playing this again. The end, or is it? You all die by a yellow submarine. Awesome. Alright, save. I didn't get the thing I wanted though, so that sucks. So, whatever gets to here will it just let me die. So, I do. What I want to do now is. I think I'll go down this path, these paths. I also want to hit this one again. Oh. Alright. Again, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye. Not seeing you.